Hey guys, Fear back again with another Twitch VOD. Surprise, surprise, what else do I upload? Uh, this one is from the 27th of February, 2022. Uh, we were doing some transmog hunting, as I usually do on a Sunday. It was great fun working way through ATT. If you'd like to catch us live, you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma. If you add forward slash schedule to the end of that, you can find out when I'm going live next, converted to your time zone and what we'll be doing, which is like, you know, the important bit. Um, if you're feeling generous and you'd like to throw me a follow on Instagram, I'm trying to improve my follow account over there. Uh, but also Twitter, TikTok, fa uh, Facebook. Yes, that's a, pl that's a platform. Um, all of those links are down in the description box if you expand that and scroll down just a touch. I hope you enjoy the VOD and hopefully we will see you next time in chat. Hello. Welcome back. I hope you didn't miss me too much yesterday. I'm so sorry for having you cancel yesterday, but good lord, I was fucked. Like, I was just totally, totally screwed. Um, but good news is I have antibiotics that are delicious and wonderful. They're terrible. They're so bad. So bad. And I've got a, a bacterial thing, a cream for thing that made the thing happen in the first place and I slept most of yesterday uh, and then woke up to a flooded Brisbane so that's great um <laughs> excuse me I hope that everyone is doing far far better than I am uh let's have a look here oh, yes and did we have the bots check oh moo thank you so much for the resub nine months do no nine months streak ten months total thank you so much for your support like I say, you're on the street with the family. Also getting pretty tired of all the rain around Brisbane too. Absolutely, yeah. It's getting it's getting a little bit scary. I've um, I've not been in Brisbane for a flood as yet. Uh, in the first year I was living here, there was a bit of a like a frightening time where it was flooding a little bit in other places. Um, but now Brisbane city is flooding as well. And this is new for me, and it's very scary. Um, other people, like, Jas is fine. He's lived through countless Brisbane floods, and he's been perfectly fine. So he's just like, nah, it'll be fine. I'm just going to do this and this and this, and everything will be okay. And I'm just like, okay, but do we do those now? Can we do them now? Do we have to do those now? Can we prepare, like, now? Do, what do I do? <laughs> and he's just looking at me funny. So, yeah, no, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. But, you know, it is what it is. Um... And we will, we will be fine and safe, I am sure. Uh, especially considering that I am, like, refreshing the Bureau of Meteorology site, like, a lot. So, <laughs> so it's fine. Um, right, where are we going? So, Zam with the bot check. The bot check, the bot is here. I made sure to start that up. I had it shut down the last couple of days, because, yep. Yeah, but, um, the bot is here. Dupe is here, wonderful. Welcome in. Hello, X. Well done on first. And with the boogie. Excuse me, well done, dupe, on the second, and of course all the hydrates from X, which I will need because um, my throat, as you can probably tell, is still not 100% okay. It's a hell of a lot better, like immeasurably better than it was yesterday. I kid you not, like I was surprised that I was not coughing up blood is how much it hurt. Um, it's still it's still a bit tender, obviously, um, but my voice is a lot better than it was, and I can swallow without dying, so that's good, especially considering I have to take pills. Uh, well done, Kay, on third. I feel you hope you're feeling better now. I am I am quite a bit better than I have been. Still not 100%, as you can probably hear, but I'm getting there. Definitely getting there. Um, I think the doctor that I saw had the right call on the antibiotics uh, because as like. Literally, the, this. so I took the first dose as soon as I got the script. I went and filled it and took the first dose. And then I took the second dose last night. And then this morning when I woke up, it was like not even 20% of the pain that I had when I woke up yesterday. Like miles, miles better. Obviously, I'm not stopping taking them until I've completed my course because that is what you do with antibiotics. Um, but yeah, and the the little spot, like the, the spot on my face that got infected as well, um, that is less icky and getting not not too much smaller <clears throat> not too much smaller yet but it's definitely a hell of a lot less like icky um so it's healing i know it's healing and i can feel that it's healing because it's itching like 
mad. You know when like when you have something that finally starts healing up and it just it gets really itchy, just at that like last scab phase kind of thing, and it's just crazy itchy. Yep, that's what it feels like at the moment, and I'm just trying to not touch it. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> Shiba with the Shiva, Zan with 69th, and Yori with last. Koala with Thurf. Stream closed captioner with reminding me to turn on the goddamn captions. Um, mm, drugs. No, these are terrible. These are these are terrible. They're um they're little they're capsules. They're not pills. They're capsules. And as soon as I cracked the first one out of the blister pack, I'm like, this is gonna be a bad time. It smells like farts. I kid you not. They smell like either sulfur or methane. I can't quite put my finger on it. They smell like farts. I have to take two of them, and they make me burp. And guess what my burps taste like? Strawberries. I'm kidding. They taste like farts. So, so it's really bad. It's really, 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 really bad. I hate them so much. Um, but I'm taking them because they're making me better and I will take the whole course so that I do not contribute to the next Mercer. Good. They're delicious. Your antibiotics may be M&Ms. I wish they were because they would taste a hell of a lot better. Uh, shouldn't have issues too with the flooding besides the car park. Yeah, well, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Um, drugs and farts. I know burping farts is so wonderful. So Hello. wonderful. What if your sickness is brought on by a birthday adventures going out to eat all that? You said yourself you haven't really left your apartment and going out to public spaces for a couple days. Yeah. Look, um, probably. I think the fact that I had so much packed into such a short amount of time as well, plus the streaming every day and not getting a whole lot of sleep, I think all of it just, you know, like a Katamari from hell. You know the Katamari game from like the it was a GameCube or something and you kind of, you were this thing and every time you touched something that was smaller than you, you picked it up and you just became, you rolled around and you became bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and it was really bright and colorful. It's like that except death. Yep. <laughs> just all the little things that I was doing all at the same time piled up and then just killed me. Yes. Crushed under the weight of my own ambition. Strawberries. It's an interesting time to join. Fart tasting burps. My antibiotics, they smell like either sulfur or methane. I can't figure it out. They just, they smell horrible. And so when I take them and then they make me burp. And so the burps smell like the pills. Yep, it's great. It's great. I'm surprised to see you up and about. Sicky Bear, very glad to see you. Let's see a lot better than Friday. I'm a lot, I am a lot better than Friday. Um, I'm a, f oh, good Lord. So much better than yesterday. So much better than yesterday. I still feel like crap. Um, but with with the flooding in and around Brisbane, uh, there is a very good chance that um, Jas won't be able to work this week, considering that they're not anticipating the water to go down for a few days. Um, his car is fine, like we're fine, everything is safe, um, but one of the locations he's been working out recently is next to a body of water. So we are not sure if he's gonna be able to work this week. Um, and I know, you know, I have the savings there for trying to pay for the dentistry and stuff like that. But um, uh, even even the teeny tiny little bit of ad revenue that I might get from streaming today is going to help soften the blow of whatever I have to pay out of my savings if he can't work. Because um, we're a team. We're in this together. Um, and if shit goes wrong with his work, you know, versus like if shit goes wrong with my work, then he helps out and, and vice versa. And yeah, so um, yeah, so that's uh, hello. Also, I didn't want to do too many cancel cancels because I feel bad about that shit. And it's chill anyway. It's ATT farming. We'll be fine. Um, but Alliance are controlling Top Rod, so I'm going to jump out of here and um, hop onto the Alliance Warriors because I'm working on Warriors for Varad and Hold as the oh, next the thing Alliance. on my list. Um, good to see you again. How are you feeling today? A hell of a lot better than I have been the last couple of days. Still not 100%, but a shitload better. I should look better. It was wet, very wet, so has mine. Looks like left door fought by any chance. No. Those are in the lounge room. I've been I've been on the in the cat on the couch in the lounge room, just kind of drifting in and out of consciousness. Um so all my pills and beds and stuff are in the lounge room. Um I don't that doesn't ring a bell though. Um but that might like it might be a version of that. You know how they have like the same exact thing under a bunch of different names sometimes, especially the generic stuff. Um, I feel like it probably would be something similar, but yeah, it smells like somewhere between sulfur and methane. It smells literally like farts, like the most heinous farts you've ever smelled. Yep. 
It's also common as in Planet Side 2. I've been playing a ton of Heaven's Vault. It's something I've been having. I've had my eye on it since it launched. It, it was launched over a year ago I'm now, I think. Grateful. And it just did the. Oh, Lander, thank you so much for the donation. Hopefully, here to soften the blow to your imminent possible emergency. That is so sweet of you. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Very kind. Um. What was I saying? Oh, Heaven's Vault. Um, it's a, it's like a, a walking simulator that has a. Oh, this one can't fly. Um, okay. Let's remove favorite, and let's just use ashes for today because it's pretty. Um, but yeah, it's it's like a, it's a bit of a walking simulator tied in with like a almost. It feels kind of like a point and click where you have to kind of search around and find the little clues here and there. And then as you go, you're learning a new language, not an actual language. Like it's not teaching me Japanese, um, but it's you're an archae you play as an archaeologist and you have to hunt around and find these little things. And all these little things you find have inscriptions on them. Um, and you don't know. You start off not knowing what any of the words mean and you just have to kind of guess. And then as you find multiple ones, with the same symbol, you go, hang on a second, that's the same across all of them. And it makes sense in that sentence. I'm pretty sure that's the right word. So it takes the question mark away and is like, yes, this means this, not this might mean this, this actually means this. And so you build out this whole language as you go along and the language gives you clues as to where to find more bits and pieces to build more of the language to presumably find an open heaven's vault. Uh, and it's, oh my God, oh my God, I'm enjoying it so much so much and it's full controller support so i've been curled up on the couch in a blanket with jas occasionally bringing me food and fluids and just and playing and then like passing out and then waking up with the control and go oh yeah okay it's yeah <laughs> it's been so much fun i really enjoyed it ah uh, i'm great glad to see you feeling a bit better thank you zaren thank you about the heavy rain as long as you guys stay safe yeah uh jas has had to move his uh, his car because uh, we have basement level parking and it's flooded. It's gone. Um, well, I mean, it's not gone. It's still there. It's just full of water. And uh, our lifts in the building have been completely disabled uh, because water. <laughs> um, and yeah, the the water is getting it's it's creeping up our road. It's maybe I'm really bad at distances. Um, but it, I don't think it'd be 200 meters down the road. It'd be less than that. Or maybe somewhere between 200 and 300 meters down the road is where like the waterfront is. Um, which is not where it's supposed to be. Uh, <laughs> so the, the banks of the river have broken. Um, they are, they, the water level is much higher than, um, where, where the river bank is supposed to be. Um, there are some like, uh, like, you know how they have like public gym machines and, and like barbecue areas and stuff like that in, in like public parks and things like that. There are a few of those down near the water and they're all completely underwater, 100%, like whoosh, gone. Um, I think the last thing that Bomb said was that the Brisbane River is 2.65 meters above where it should be. Um, Hi, the sun. So it's a bit, it's a bit dead. Thank you so much for the resub. Hope you're safe. I am, I am at the moment, yeah. And if, if anything became more dangerous than it already is, uh, we have evacuation plans and stuff like that. So we'll be okay. Uh, we'll be okay. Um, just kind of keep an eye on the places in case I need to cancel anything, but I should, should be fine. We don't foresee it becoming an issue, uh, but we should, we should be fine. But obviously we're not just kind of going, yeah, nah, she'll be right, and then ignoring it, because that would be very silly. Um, we are we are treating it with the with the seriousness that it deserves, um, and just keeping an eye on it. And uh, yeah, we were not able to get any food. Um, we we do have a little bit of food, but not a ton, uh, and we're not able to get any at the moment. Um, all the grocery stores around us closed multiple like really really early um because they obviously need to send their staff home because their staff need to be safe as well um so we didn't we weren't able to grab that uh we're hoping that they'll be open at least for a couple of hours tomorrow and we can grab some stuff but um we'll just we'll just have to see um right what am i doing let's go with everything 
That should be fine. <clears throat> um, no unknown bodies till tomorrow. Been on them since Thursday. Yeah, I've got a seven to ten day course. Um, so basically, I just take them till they run out. <laughs> um, everyone yeah, supporting each other. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I'm incredibly thankful. Incredibly thankful. Hopefully, now that it's needed, things dry up nice and soon to assist with everything. Really agreed. Agreed. Amox um, Clav and Keflex are the ones that maybe burpy stinky. Ugh. Yep. Gross. Heaven's Vault. Heaven's Vault. Cool story, bro. I'm glad you think so, Camry. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. <laughs> um, if it smells taste bad, it has to be healthy. I disagree vehemently. I disagree. Um, what am I doing? 25. And where are we in this? Uh, I've got no bad rules to live by. Stuff prescribed to you, at least. Yeah, pretty much. Just to read the trailer description. Spot on. Yeah, it's really awesome. I had a lot of fun playing it. I still haven't finished, um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'm having a lot, a lot of fun. Okie dokie. So let's give this a go. Um, let's keep you on Ash. Aw, oh, thank you, Sheila. Much appreciated. It sounds like even worries them to stay dry. Is it? Well, they're not broken. They've been turned off intentionally to prevent damage. Um, cause there was just too much water in the shaft. And so they're like, yeah, no, nah, we're not, we're not going to let that get any worse. So they just turned them off. Um, yeah. You're in a hundred bitcoins. I'm, I'm sure you do. Well done. Congratulations. Uh, I guess surely who summoned Leviathan. <laughs> oh dear. Um, on the dip. Oh, I'm, I'm not jealous. You're, you're right. You're fine. <laughs> what on earth is going on here? Something has gone. There we go. A little bit wonky. Uh, do we sure? Well, there. Thank you, Landa. I'm sure it'll be okay. We just gotta, you know, keep an eye on it, and uh, it'll be okay. Province County completely flooding out. Just main highway, main port. Hope y'all don't get nearly as bad. Flooding is scary. Yeah, there's um, Brisbane is is prone to flooding, um, but we'll just we'll just see how we go. We'll just see how we go. Appropriate level of respect and safety. Congre correct. Exactly. Exactly. Everyone is safe. I'm in Queensland. There are some people who are definitely not safe, um, but uh, all those who I know are currently okay. I've been. We've all been checking in on each other, uh, and we seem to be going okay. As long as Maccas is open, that's all you need. A lot of them have been flooded out, Camry. There's a lot of a lot of heavy rainfall. Um, it's dangerous shit. But, you know, I know you're trolling, so I hope you're having a, I hope you're having a, a fun time. Uh, office in the city will be closed tomorrow. Yeah, so, like, my, my day job's completely closed off as well. They're, um, they've told everyone to just stay home and work from home. Um, and if their net and stuff, you know, if, if they lose power or internet connection or anything like that, then they'll just deal with, like, leave and stuff like that. How I hate <clears throat> My captors may I hate adventurers. Oh, I was completely under two days ago. Most cars are already covered halfway with water. Jesus. Yeah, that's uh, that's not great. Yeah, when um, we got an email about some 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 water in the basement, some water in the basement. Uh huh. Um, and so Jas went to check on his car, and it was ankle deep. So he's like, "I'm out of here." So he got the car out and um, went and popped it elsewhere, a few blocks away. Um, at slightly higher ground, uh, so yeah, he'll, he'll his car will be fine. But he was when he was driving around looking for a park. There are a couple of streets near us that are entirely underwater up to the roof of a small car. Um, Cause yeah, they're just yep. And like I'm I'm talking like two or three blocks from us is um is that deep underwater? Cause some of the drains and stuff have have uh, gotten clogged and and messed up and stuff like that. So it's just uh, yeah, it's not. Not pleasant, not not ideal, but uh, look, it is what it is, and we just have to do deal with it the best we can. Uh, I'm perfectly fine, dandy, fantastic to hear. A couple of people clean out their cars, a few trees down in the roads, a couple of potholes here and there, and repaired by the community. Oh, that's good. That's so good to hear. I'm playing raft. Oh, I hope you've been having a blast, Yuri. You farm ATT and Nashitara <laughs> Oh my, no oh my lord, oh my lord. Okay, uh, so I'm taking this one out of here. Um, it says 51. Is that... 
it actually is for... It is 51, so it said 16, didn't it? Awesome source. Uh, so I think I have one more Alliance Warrior that I can run through there just... Just for... You know, do the best I can. Try to get that number as high as possible. There she is. Currently have River Vintage property. Really should not be able to see this body of water from my front porch. Oh, Kim. Oh, no. Please stay safe. I hope you're okay. People doing things to help others. Yes, love the community spirit. Absolutely. Agreed. Um, being a CS member on call has its perks. Trained to help and save people. Pretty happy what I've accomplished. Oh, that's wonderful, right? That's so good. So, so good. Queensland should send their rains down my way. It's a bit too dry here. If we could, I'm sure we would. If we could, I'm sure we would. The dam, I think someone was telling me earlier, the dams were at 160% capacity. Um, so they've had to, so, you know, during flooding where all these rivers have broken their banks, they have to open the dam because otherwise the dam will permanently break and that's not, like, you can't have that. Um, so they had to add dam water to the floodwaters and it's just, it's, oh, look. Yeah. There is such a thing as too much rain. Need to go some. I don't know what the definition of some is. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I was really hoping there was the same level of damage as it was all those years ago. Improvement. Yeah, me too. Me too. A couple lads from water plant thing up the road bought a couple water trucks. Been pumping water into the tanks, dropping the water off the tanks at the plant. Oh, that's awesome. That's super cool. Sort of amount, of course. I'm hoping for the best. Yeah, absolutely. Like, there's gonna be some damage. There's no. If so, buts about that, there's, there is going to be damage. I hope that, you know, the emergency services and stuff are able to limit that damage as much, much as possible and also limit injuries and fatalities as much as humanely possible. Uh, no, no Mount makeup today. I'm just feeling too shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought about it and then looked at my makeup pile and was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> I, um, like... In terms of pain and stuff, I'm feeling a whole lot better, but in terms of energy levels, oh god, no. Oh god, no. I'm- it's- it's in the tank. Like, it's just- oh, no. I, um, think my body is like, okay, cool. So we've killed off most of the infection. Now we have to repair the damages. We're gonna need all that energy for that. Oh, you- you need energy for other things? Nah, sorry, mate. And it's like, oh good. Thank you so much. I appreciate you deeply. But I played this game back in 2004 makes me feel super old. I can imagine. I can imagine. Ah, uh, this is horse. Invisible, indeed. Indeed. So you're not sick. Yeah, just my energy levels are absolutely crap. So I do apologize. I know it's been a little kind of all over the place with our regular stuff like that. <sighs> I'm just trying to get back on the horse. <laughs> uh, they're actually over 180% now. Fantastic. It's exactly what we need. A couple of friends just bought a house it's in a flood zone, sitting on call out support for them. Yeah, for sure. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, hopefully, I, I imagine that they would have bought the appropriate level of insurance. I mean, obviously, losing the house would still be a huge problem and a huge dent and all that kind of stuff. But uh, it was the first thing I asked Jas. I'm like, you do have car insurance for flood, right? <laughs> and he's like, yeah. Pretty sure I do, and I'm like, would you mind checking that maybe? Just just to be sure. Extreme weather things, dry, wet, cold, or concern. Absolutely. Absolutely. Energy in this economy? Bah. That's what we're here for, trying to limit the damage done. Yeah, I've been working for the last past 36 hours straight digging trenches. <gasps> oh right, just please also take care of yourself, yeah? I mean, like I'm sure that you wouldn't put yourself too far out or anything, but you know, you like can't help anyone if you yourself are dead. So just yeah, be be safe. Treat yourself kindly so that you you can't fill somebody else's cup if your cup is empty. So just make sure that you keep yourself fighting fit so you can help others. Because it's it's super important. Super, super important. Um so absolutely zonk too, absolutely. Does my makeup equals brilliant net cast of Phoenix. <laughs> Rather zonk yes, I can imagine. Saw so installed last week. Pretty sure it needs the sun though. Look. I, I would argue that that is probably what solar power would need, yes. Um, I would probably, yes, say that is accurate. Oh. Alright, 
after this run, the next lowest on my list is Seat of the Triumvirate for Demon... Nope, Death Knight. Death Knight. Um, so... Seat's a dungeon, right? It's a Legion dungeon? It is. Brilliant. Oh, yeah, that's the one all over the way in. Yep, cool. So, um... If you are a person who wants to do thing things like uh, Ludibrace challenges, I might just set us a timer for that dungeon and just have some fun with it. So, um... Figure out which character you'd like to take along with that. Make sure you've got uh, the add-ons installed and have me on your Battle.net friends list. And, uh... We'll start that once this run is done. Looking after myself as well. Good. I'm, I'm really glad to hear that. That's super, super important. Uh, for not change topic, running around on Goro to ATT quest to get. Had to strip the tune, take all weapons off to do a quest. I'm overgeared for can't complete a quest, so I look like a weirdo. That's hilarious. Yeah, the number of times I've done stuff like that is just... Yep. It's great. It's wonderful. So much fun. Hilarious. Oh dear. Hey. I also, I don't know if you guys are in Discord or not, but I uh, received a package to the P.O. box from Ali. Uh, and I've got it here still in its box. And so I'm hoping Ali might pop in today. Looked huge. It is quite long. It's light. Hey! It's really quite light, but it is quite long. So it's, um, and it kind of is shifting back and forth inside the box. So I'm not quite sure what it is. I feel like maybe they just didn't have a smaller box that would fit it, and so they had to put it in a big box, even though it didn't need a big box. But yes, hopefully. Ali will be around today and we can uh what's in the box that'd be awesome but we'll see we'll see it's this one's not from throne this one went to the PO box so I have no idea what it is no idea well I guess I'm saying on the quest we have to beat down those dudes are in the hot springs to a Maximilian to talk to that's really funny just like know what it is that's great some hydrates in me, I think. <laughs> you guys. Another hydrate. Several hydrate. I've got plenty in queue, trust me. There's plenty. It's tons. More! Oh. Ah, look, we're at 20 out of 51 now. That's wonderful news. Up to 39.22%. Alright, so I'm gonna shoot on back and I'm gonna switch to the Demon Hunter. Oh, for God's sake, X. Look, what? Why? Why? I don't, look. <laughs> Hydrate spam. Yeah, hey, Dan. That's welcome to X. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to X. Alright. <clears throat> Seat of the Triumvirate. You ready? We're gonna go do it on the demon. No. Oh, I keep saying the wrong. It's a death knight. Death knight. Um, Alright, so I have a posture check. Ooh, oh, making up for yesterday. <sighs> I actually had a lot of water yesterday, like a lot, a lot. I don't know how much because I kept falling asleep and waking up and I wasn't tracking it, but I had a lot of water yesterday because my throat was so sore, so I had a lot of really cold water trying to soothe my throat. So you'd be proud of me. Well, you should be, even if you're not. Um, yeah, Seeker, I gave you some. I'm still waiting on my ticket to get an answer from Streamlabs, but I gave you and Shiva some coins, because I know you've been here, so enjoy. 
figured out how to give you coins and did the thing. <laughs> just it's just a stopgap. Like I don't want to have to keep manually giving people coins, so I want the problem fixed, but I'm still waiting on a response. So um yeah. Um, that's the cutest thing. Learning how to cat from her, that's awesome. That's super good. Using his claws less on my string play, she's teaching the rights and wrongs. Oh yay, that's great news. That's so good. Ah oh, dear. <clears throat> oh. Alright, seat. I'm gonna head out there and then I'm gonna fire up the lack. <clears throat> Eight weeks now, very cute. Very cute. Tay V. Vi, V, Vi. One or the other, I can't remember. I'm. Um, look, I'm brain dead, it's fine. It's fine. My anchor took me around the house today. He weighs nothing. I cry when he's bigger and does it. Oh no. No. Okay. Ah, uh, no, I don't need that. <clears throat> I'm going with the Horde De Death Knight because she's the highest level one at 53, so I'm hoping that will help with the, um, because Legion content's only at 45, so it is still a little bit tricky, especially on Mythic, um, if you've got level 50s that are squishy or don't do very much damage because they're in crap gear, um, it can, it can be a little bit iffy. So I'm, uh, <clears throat> wait, I should just beat half each other. That's fine. Um, this one. It's weird. I don't feel uncomfortable having my tune running about. I feel exposed like a creeper. I've never been into Gabriel play. I've never felt that before. Oh, that's super strange. That's super strange. Felt oh, connection to the tune that way. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh dear. I just think it's ridiculous running around and still one-shotting things even when I'm wearing nothing. to do that massive quest chain first because I think I still need yep I need the quest armor Shit. that's the whole start Argus plot line thing isn't it oh you're very welcome I just kind of add anyone who sends me a friendship quest honestly as long as I've got room on my um, list at the time, of course. You otherwise, how did you are not and, oh. prepared. Hello, Maridi. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a lovely day. How was your stream? What were you up to? I'm a bit hopping since I played some. Wow, I might actually work a bit of main alliance. Need to sixty yards. Got switching off times. Thank you for the caustic command, Sheba. Much appreciated. Uh, make sure you place those units, guys. It is a skin chest. It is a tricky one, and it is like our first round for the day. Um, <clears throat> I need to do. I'm pretty sure I need to do the entire. Yeah. so that I can get the item to drop to do the thing. You guys remember, I'm sure. God damn. This is gonna, this is gonna suck. <clears throat> we had to, how far in did we have to get last time? I forgot. 
And I'll do like the hunches with you later date. Yes, absolutely. For sure. Change the room my towers now on the table. Fantastic. Great news. Some to <clears throat> raid achievement stuff. Oh, fantastic. Well done. Congrats on any achieves you got. Yes, hydration rate yesterday. Thank you, X. Okay. Hold your ground. Let's see we if we can get through this. Like, our lives. Decently quickly. I remember this taking a long while last time. Long. So let's hope. You have my thanks, outsider. <clears throat> this time and these are some of the Eridar's greatest warriors do not so for those you confused why I'm doing quests and not a dungeon it's because part of the dungeon is this ensemble the and there's an ensemble per armor type I've got the cloth the one because I did that on my main back when it was current I've got the male shade. one <clears throat> from last time I got Seed of Triumvirate pop up. I'm like, bloody hell, let's just get it off the list. Um, so, I can sense their power from this is a plate wearer, so I have plate and leather left to go, and in order to get the item to drop, you have to have done the campaign up to a certain point. So that's what we're doing. And last time it took me a while. However, that was on a like bang on level 50 tune, so this one being on 53 might make it a little quicker. And plus it's a D like a DK, so yeah, so maybe it'll be faster. <clears throat> oh, oh, thank you, Seeker. Thank you for the promotion. But yeah, definitely do the do the do the social media thing. Um because uh there are there are some potential Must there are some potential <clears throat> things coming up in the future in like I'm talking the near future things that I I know are on the horizon that I may or may not qualify for Those who based on my social media following and these would be the like massive like massive opportunities I, I want to tell you more because I, I feel like if I if I if you knew you would understand exactly how big an opportunity this is, but um I I, I don't think I can just yet. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um <clears throat> like some using stream clips there, yes. So many clips, they're fantastic. So many clips. Those who disobey. Facebook costs you nothing, they do. Costs you absolutely nothing. Immeasurably help they do. It's kind of silly just how much weight is on the number of people who have clicked a button that takes zero effort to click. You know, like it's it's kind of almost like it shouldn't be worth as much as it is, but it, but it is. And I'm like, you know, that's the way that it works. I'm not going to argue with it, but it's kind of hilarious. There are no guards this close to their weapon. Something is wrong. This is measure of connectivity. It is. Weapon. It is. But look, I get it. I get it. Right. Keep it to three, my stand together. I am grateful. Ah, oh, B. Thank you so much for the donation. Thanks for awesome stream. Aww. Thanks for being an awesome viewer. Thank you. It's almost to the thousand followers. Am I really? Has it gone up again? Whatever that thing was, I doubt that was the only one inside Garrus's arsenal. <clears throat> Soon the entire legion will descend upon us. We will hold our ground. I only pray there are survivors among the army of the light. 919. 
Not bad. Not bad at all. I just spent 100. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Another attack from one of <laughs> those creatures. Yeah. We must bolster our forces. Yeah, a thousand, like 1,000 followers on Instagram is a pretty big milestone in terms of like reach and stuff. Obviously, things like engagement rate and that are important too, but um, <clears throat> the follow number is the first thing that any of them look at. It's like a qualifier. Like, if you don't have this many followers, it doesn't matter what the rest of your stats are. So, you know, 50% engagement rate with three followers is still not as good as 1% of a thousand. Do you know? It's silly, but it, it is what it is. There's six people here and they're hitting that fear on Instagram, maybe. Potentially. Prepare yourself, champion. We are surrounded. Since this is in the stream. Hey Dean, how are you going? Show yourselves. It has been since September. Since close to the end of September. That's not too long. That's okay. Welcome back. Check out if you bump towards one kick, it would. It would indeed. At long last, you oh, return to the home you abandoned. That voice. Hatoon? How did you survive this hell for so long? Mm, enough with the blabby blab. There should be a skip. I've done this a million times. <laughs> we endured. Uh, hello, Nano. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. No wish to feeling better? I am definitely feeling better than I was yesterday. Um, still not like super awesome and great, but I'm getting there for sure. You turned your back on Battle plans? Absolutely. Absolutely, you can. There you go. Enjoy. Enjoy your luck, Jared. But your allies saved many of us from the Legion's grasp. Perhaps you have. Mm, exactly right, Nano. Exactly. Stay your weapons. The Prophet and his ally are not our foes. Mm. Nom indeed. We must stand together, all of us, if we are to have any chance of defeating the Legion. Hi, Exarch Terania. We meet at last. Will you Fatoon's people saved cause? me from the Xenodar's fall. Many others were not so fortunate. They hold the ground around the crash site, fighting for their lives. The army. When you are ready, we have much to discuss. For millennia, the army of mm. the light has waged war upon the Orgy burning. and wireless headset sounds fantastic, Nano. Skirmishes, sabotage. Wireless headsets are just so freeing, aren't they? Like, we were committed to no worrying course. about, like, axing yourself when you get up to leave the PC. Crusade. Like, none of that. It's just so, oh, so hours. freeing. When the creek wasn't flooded. Oh, okay. I'm very glad for you began. as well. We knew we might not survive. Oh, it's just so freaking nice. Yep, agreed. Mm-hmm. all hope was lost. The light I mean, for days. Praying until you forget your chain. You You're here. charging in day. Yeah. <laughs> no mm. What we do with that? I've been pretty good at plugging them in, like whenever they're not on my head. Occasionally I forget, but these ones have pretty good battery. So if I forget once or twice in a my row, it doesn't like it, they won't die. Stay low. We'll regroup shortly. Three days in a row. With as much as I use them, I start getting a little worried, but, um, overall I get pretty good. I have to say, like, a thick layer of butter on a hot cross bun has just felt so goddamn nice for my throat. <laughs> I don't know why, it just, it's almost like because it's soft and squishy and then the butter is like oily and just, oh, it's been really lovely. I said such a great guy, spam sack. That's what you AFK, yep, and I hear all of them. It makes me so happy, X. It makes me so happy. Okay, old housing place is built solid. Yep, absolutely. Oh, Magnetic USB yeah. cable is charging. Just gently disconnect if I forget I'm charging. Good. Wonderful. Hot buns. I love them so. Me too. Um, I've been getting from Woolworths. They have apple and cinnamon. 
apple and cinnamon luxury buns. They are fire. They are incredible. Uh, but these ones just picked up when I was sick yesterday. We went, um, or maybe the day before. Might have been Friday. Um, and they're just your standard fruitless from, um, from uh, Aldi. Because I'm pretty sure their fruit ones had peel in them and I cannot do peel. I cannot do, like, orange peel in anything. It's just nasty. Um, I would prefer fruitless to fruit with peel. Um, obviously I prefer, like, sultanas. But, um, if it, if it has to come with peel, then I'll go sultanaless. Um, Sado hot cross buns. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. I'm so happy to. Aww, that's so sweet of you. This one's finally nice some of those apple cinnamon ones. May have accidentally eaten them all. Yep. I've. I think I've had two. I want to say two packs, but I feel like it's probably closer to three packs now. They're only only coming to four pack, and I share them with Jas because I am a nice human. Try. This is what I was saying. Not too much obstacles, puddles, and fast-moving water streams. Yeah, where um our our basements are flooded. Uh, like the the basements are gone. Um, like parking for the apartment building, and our lifts are turned off intentionally. Not broken, but turned off so that they don't become broken. Um, and they probably will be for days, uh, just because um like they have to let them dry out, otherwise they'll they'll break. <laughs> uh. Excuse me, uh, Jas's car is a few blocks away, so it's fine, it's safe. And, um, yeah, we're, uh, the, the river has broken its banks, well and truly, uh, but we're, we're okay at the moment. Um, we're always out of, out of the way at the moment, um. But we're just, you know, cautiously keeping an eye on things because the moment you get complacent and think, oh yeah, she'll be right, you blink and the water's risen two meters. So, <laughs> so we're just keeping an eye on it for now. Um, the last update was at two o'clock. Last update was at two o'clock um, and it said uh, 2.65 meters up above the regular river level, which is, it's, it's a bit, it's a bit. The old gold ones last year, they were good. Ooh. Ooh. I do like chocolate hot cross buns. Especially like the ones that get really ooey gooey sticky when you put them in the in the microwave. Oh, they're so good. You have to lick your fingers clean. These are mocha ones. Ooh. I don't like mocha, but that sounds delicious for coffee lovers. Coffee infused hot cross buns. I imagine that'd be great. Yeah, I'm an item like sick one who as well collects a number of comfort foods. We call medicinal chocolate, medicinal hot cross buns. Exactly. It's soul food. You have the body food that keeps your body fueled and well and, and on the road to recovery. And then you have the soul food that keeps your morale up so that you can kick whatever's kicking your ass is ass. <laughs> the entire pack yesterday didn't share. Good. Good job. I'm proud of you, Kay. Over here, Jeremy isn't one for baked Keep goods. Sure. Is fear a nice human? Look, I try to be. I try to be. I'm not always. But I definitely try to be. Ready your weapon. Um, I hope you're starting to feel better. I am definitely on the men, Josh. Thank you so much for your concerns. I appreciate it. Um, I'm not I'm not there yet, but I'm I'm on the mend. I'm better than I was yesterday, and hopefully tomorrow I'll be better than I am today. I have um antibiotics that I'm taking. Uh, and this they are disgusting, and it's great. No one's secret as a question for let's head to our Brisbane on Reddit. Yeah. Oh, what is the banana slice? Everything needs more topsy turvy in the last few years. I feel like, like, if I'm not, to, to clarify, I'm not religious. Um, however, when I was growing up, uh, most of my family was practicing Catholic and so I have and I went to a, a Christian Brother school and all this kind of Christian. stuff so I have a fair bit of like religious knowledge in the noggin um, but I don't I'm not practicing or I don't I'm not sure if I believe any of it anyway but when if I arrived, were I would be calling this an extended presence. apocalypse just wave me. after wave it's it's like the um the we've spent apart. Was it in Egypt in the Bible? Couldn't you have reached out they had the us? waves of like the different, like there was plagues and there were like there were flies and frogs and the last one was like the firstborn son from every household, all that kind of stuff. Like those, it, it kind of feels like that's what we're 
go. Do you know what I mean? Like this is this is like biblical times. This is biblical bullshit. Um, different, and you're getting different pockets of it in different parts of the world as well. And it's just, oh, it's too much. It's too much. It's been really, really hard to stay positive and and like you know, on deck, if that makes sense. It's it's been really difficult to kind of keep everything going. Um, like I'm I'm so far behind on all of my to do stuff and things. Like I, you know, it's tomorrow is the last day of February, and have I scheduled anything for March? No. Do I know what I'm streaming on Wednesday? No. But <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I'm so far behind on literally everything because just everything has been taking its toll and I am, I'm just exhausted, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to take it bit by bit tomorrow when I get up, I'm going to do a task and I'm going to do another task and do it. If I, if I have a social media channel that doesn't post something for a day or two, it's not going to be the end of the world. Um, I just need to kind of get my shit back together, but we'll, we'll see how we go. It's been, it's been a time. Hi, how are you? It's been a time. You have a great day. Uh, I'm just in the first world finally experiencing a smidge of what everyone else in the world has already been experiencing. Very fair. Very fair. Checking my privilege, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Quick probe mending. I'm not beginning better. Hey, Jackie, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a hell of a lot better than I was yesterday, but I'm not, like... Not there yet, but I'm definitely doing better than I was, which is a good sign. Good sign. Plagues of Egypt. Yeah, yeah, all the plagues. It does kind of feel like that. Yeah, right? But, like, not each each individual person may not be experiencing all of them. But, like, yeah, it's just, it's a bit too much. I would like it to just fucking stop for a second. Hmm. <laughs> To be kind to yourself. Understandable that you as a sole trader business owner would feel even more of the pressure. Yeah, and it, yeah, it's, it's just My reminding myself that it's not the end of the world of if I don't tweet today. You know, like, it's that kind of thing. Um, I still feel guilty about it, but, um, I'm, I'm not invincible. Um, I've found a couple of my breaking points. Um, or at least close to breaking points. I don't want to get this sick again. Um, so next year, when I do when I do the runs, because I will do them next year, um, I will look at either not streaming every single run and just holding the boxes for the next day, or I will take some time off work, and I will tell my mother to visit me in March. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, it'll be a whole lot of those little things, just to tweak things here and there to make it less full-on, less stressful and stuff, but we'll see how we go. Um... Who knows? A lot can happen in a year. Look at this last year. Look at my, my, you know, sixth year of streaming has been full on. So much. My life is completely different to what it was a year ago. In, in so many ways. And a lot, most of them great ways. Like, most of them absolutely fantastic. You but still so are different. Not Axia! Thank you so much! Thank you for the raid. Welcome on in. How is your stream? How are you going? Thank you, Sheba, for the caster command. Oh, but yeah, it's um. So who knows what's gonna happen between now and next year's runs? But when we get there, I'm sure I'll figure out what's gonna work for me. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, life. Welcome on in. So, oh, you're learning what made you build this up. Exactly. Absolutely. Progressing at a rate of knots. Hopefully, there's a bunch of tricks you learn between now and then to make it easier on yourself. Yeah, absolutely. And there are a couple of things in the pipelines that might help with that, but I, I don't know because I've never done any of this before. This is all brand new territory to me. Um, but look, we'll, we'll figure it out as we go. And if I do something and it doesn't work, then we'll step back and not do that again. Etc. Hmm. So any guesses as to what's in the box from Ali? <clears throat> I have been told that it was supposed to arrive for my birthday and that because of shipping delays due to COVID and stuff like that, it's gotten there a bit late, which is totally okay. Um, and it is from Toys R Us, which is like a... Uh, like a kind of think a department store, but all toys. A 
box of farts. I really hope it's not a box of farts. Brain says lightsaber for no reason whatsoever. I was kind of thinking that it might have been related to the to the Grogu thing, but in a different way. I think it might be Lego. I was thinking it could possibly be Lego. I don't know. Morning, hello, Mask. How are you going? Probably a light thing of some sort. Money's on Lego. Afternoon, Jazz. How are you doing? <clears throat> it kind of, because it's, it's a big box, but it's also kind of light. So I think maybe it's just an interesting shaped box in that it wouldn't fit in one of their smaller boxes lengthwise. They had to put it in a bigger, longer box, but it's quite light. Like I can lift it one handed as long as I get purchase on the property. Like I can't grab it because it's too wide to just grab with one hand. But once I've picked it up, I can very easily hold it with just one hand. So I'm I'm definitely leaning towards Lego. Grease wild single lightsaber, yeah. Fair, very fair. I really want to open it, but at the same time, I feel like I should wait until Ali's here. Go destroy the Western Soul coffer. The lights keep going in and out, and it's really strange. We are 19% of the way through the Argus campaign guide. I don't I forget what percentage I had to get to for the mail wearers before it had dropped for them, but it was almost I'm pretty sure it was like one of the final steps. Like the very end of the campaign. I think we're going to be a while off. <clears throat> so I do decent damage. Imagine all the doggos stuck in apartments that can't go for walkies because of a Imagine all the poor pet owners whose animals are tearing up all of their shit because they can't go for walkies because of the floods. <clears throat> God. That would suck. It's like, I want to exercise you, but I can't. There's water, and water is dangerous. Though, knock on wood, I think the cloud may have moved over us. Still definitely there, but like I think it's really kind of lessened up a little. A couple of beds, like a lightsaber. That's what I was Yay! I was making my kid a bit hyper. I was doing some crazy zoomies earlier. I can't imagine what the pets can hear, right? Like, because we we hear rain, we hear thunder, we hear wind, etc., etc. But like, animals have such different senses of hearing, and I I wonder if they can hear what, like stuff that we can't, and it just Get you know. Get those batteries and start shooting down those bats. We're counting on you. It's <laughs> crazy, one. COVID. So crazy. Oh, good lord. In the house, there's no way to make a major mess. Like, they're so cute. Oh, no. No whip plus sick plus trapped in house. Oh, seeker. That sucks. How long have I been playing WoW, Dean? Uh, 15 years. Roughly. It was like end of January. Um, it was the start of the very start of Burning Crusade that I started playing. Which was the end of January, so yeah, pretty close to 15 years. Can be um, or like just, just over. Uh, hello fairy, welcome back. Did you see a bit healthy today? Yeah, a little bit. On my way there. On my way there. How about you, Dean? How long have you been playing for? I'm sleeping overnight, keeps running around and wanting to play. Oh dear. Oh, that, that must be super fun. Super duper fun.
Chrono Kai Christ. Someone, what a new buzz! I love that. I love that. Hey, we've all had to ask at some point. Everyone, like, except for the person who invented the word, every other person either assumed and assumed correctly or had to ask. Like, you know? See, oh, thank you, Lando. Tearing, yeah, absolutely. So luckily we're working from home tomorrow, work is a little quiet, so if they won't know if I nap. Brilliant. I have your Wonderful. coordinates, champion. It will take some time to calibrate the teleportation matrices. Oh, Keep it out of the Legion's hands until then. Should be it. Just activate the console one last time to complete the transfer. I will handle the rest. Skip that. Our time is now, hero. <clears throat> oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. So much work for a transmog set. The things we do for percentage of completion. Ah, uh, my colleagues with Funthor may have their own input expert. I see. Let us enter the Zenitar. Looks like at the moment, all that cargo, all this water. Yeah. It will not be a pretty sight, I would imagine. We stand mm, together. The transmog. Oh, look! In the central chamber. Uh, Thank the light. Not sure I agree entirely with that late. statement. I reckon mounts and are probably more then? important. I was locked in a cell. But but transmogs up there. Into the void transmog's against up there. her wishes. Will she make me a prisoner again, or worse? Zero <clears throat> will see that you risked your life to Someone save. Someone told me there was an incubus wall up pet. I'm leveling wall up for the first time. There is. I know it. Uh, I believe it's a glyph. So you've got a succubus wall up pet. And if you, I, th I think there's a glyph that you Zero, can use to change the succubus worry, model into an incubus. Come, yes. champion. You look it's just above your car. Then we can get out of here. I know, right? I know. I've changed so much. I blame Kuhn entirely, 100%. There was an amount of like, yeah, me too, me too. My faith is my shield. <clears throat> I think mounts are the one that I have the most the fun farming. Though we but its transmog numbers cargo. count up faster because there's the so many more of them the and it's so much easier to get them and so it's, you know what I mean? My location. The number goes up faster home. but the mounts are more of an oh my god kind of moment. Mm -hmm. At least for me. Obviously everyone's experience is going to be different and that's totally okay. Strange group last night. Ah oh, fantastic! Yeah, I was planning on doing that as part of the six year celebration yesterday, but I'm sick as hell. Um, so I couldn't do it, so we're postponing that till next week. Um, and that's probably what I'm gonna try to get through that as well. Hey, Izzy! The light <clears throat> you, Good Jeff. morning to you, hope you're well. We fight for this incubus thingy is a glyph and two items. Oh, well, there you go. I didn't know it was two, my bad. I thought it was just a glyph. Hi, welcome back, Jack. Welcome back. Cat! Oh, thank you so much for the prime sub. Feeling better? Definitely feeling better than yesterday. Still not quite there, but a hell of a lot better. We still have a world. You're actually gonna be interested in both ATT and Mount Get Brilliant. Influencer. You are right, Prophet. Not adding spells. Ah, oh, got you. So it gives you a second spell. That's super cool. That's awesome. I love that it gives you like such a flexible choice. That's really good. Our time is now. Her form has shattered. Her light has not. Except for what is better than the setback. Indeed, cat. Absolutely. 
This is the longest I've sat upright for the last kind of 48 hours. No, that's a lie. 48 hours ago I was still streaming. Um, but like all of yesterday. Um, yeah, this is, this is the longest I've sat upright and I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a bit woozy. Uh, but I'll get there. I'm doing alright. At least it's chill. It's just nice, chill transmog farming. Uh, congratulations to Black Knight, Draz, Seeker, Puma, and Meaty on your bonus shit. I hope at least someone got a skin out of that chest. Please let me know if you did. I'd love to know what you got. At least that's how it was on PTR. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Time for horizontal stream? God, if I could. It'd be really, really nice to be able to set up with, like, the couch and, like, curl up with a blanket and the controller and then, like, play from the couch and still stream, like, on those days that I was just feeling not super good. Um, I do not have that kind of setup, unfortunately, but hey, look, maybe, maybe when I'm a big famous cinema, I'll be able to do that. I'm not assuming I'm going to be big or famous, just putting it out there. Um, but no, that'd be, like the holy grail of, of stream setups, like being able to shift to the couch to play controller games. I stand my head starts with Rob. If you're on the woozy part, please take it easy after stream. Oh, I absolutely will. I absolutely will. Um, the last, like, yesterday and then most of today, before I started streaming, I, um, I've been lying on the couch playing Heaven's Vault, uh, which is like a puzzly sort of game. And I've been lying on the couch playing that on the TV. And yesterday I was kind of drifting in and out of consciousness. I kind of wake up with the controller in my hand and be like, all right, I'm Not playing a game. It was great. <laughs> Super good. My strength. Now look upon there, the beating heart of the Legion. Okay. Soon I shall tear it out. It's maybe this one? I don't know. So a bunch of cameras and a laptop start. And apparently it's Warlock Trainer and all gives you items which change your summon spell. They go. What you got a next vampire skin. Yay, Zam. You need one more battle plan? I can do that. This one. Go. Ta-da. Come, speak with me. The army of the light stands ready. We, must unite against we stand the together. Should do it. The I am adding the assembled a sizable force by those no. seeds. Sure so the the ah, awesome. Parts. Can't we complain. complain. Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh god, I would love a laptop though. I could do all my like my stream work, all my scheduling and editing and all that kind of stuff, I can do it from like wherever. Not have to stay home, I could get some fresh air, sit out in the open with a cup of chai from a cafe or something, like it just, oh. God, that'd be awesome. My hunt is eternal. <clears throat> the Legion but yeah, um, laptops are expensive. Because I feel like if I just got like a cheap laptop just to do that stuff with, um, I, I feel like I'd need something I could stream from to justify buying a second computer, you know? And those are expensive. That's okay. Focus on the dentistry first. Come at last. I will see. Mm, someone who sunlight hates. It's like a dream and a nightmare in one Lamau. I can sit under shelter, like under a shade cloth or something. Fresh air, nah, it's overrated. Uh, it, it honestly, like jokes aside, it does help. Uh, for me at least. Uh, if I, like, I can tell if I haven't been outside for a few days because I start getting really sluggish and stuff like that. And then if I just, even if I just go for a five minute walk, just having that influx of, of actual air that's fresh and not, you know, dirty. It's not dirty air, but you know what I mean. Um, really, honestly, wakes me up and invigorates me and gets me going again. But that is just me. Your experience may differ. Experiences may vary. I think the rain has started again. Yep. It's raining again. The storms whisper still in my people's hearts. It is when Azeroth's curious spirit speaks to me, we're the going 35%. Even when our message ain't exactly clear, Argus's soul ain't like that. He's tormented, broken. 
pretty much isn't stopped at my place today. Yeah, it's um. There, there have been a couple of moments where it's gotten really, really light, just like a light smattering of of water. Um, but for the most part, it's been pretty strong. Unfortunately. He, he needs us to force see. me outside at this rate. Fair. Even through like heavy SPF, I take it. It might not be the sunlight. It might be something else with the outside. The no but that's uh, that's super interesting. Bad. Very bad. I hope you don't have like allergic reactions to vitamin D supplements or anything, just to try to keep those levels somewhere. I've tried so many sunscreens. Oh, that's so strange. So strange. Basically, be demanding a dermatologist look at me at that point. Be like, "Oi, what the hell? Do the help thing. What is going on?" I'm stuck on something. I don't know what it is, but I'm stuck. There we go. <clears throat> What is a bet that after I do this, the next thing on my list is going to be we seat on a leather wearer? Fall. What is your favorite mount? Ashes, this one. It was the very first mount I ever properly farmed because it was my favorite and I'm like, that's the one I want, that's the one I'm gonna go get. And uh, so I went and got it. I agree. How about you, Dean? What's your favorite mount? Remember farming it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure anyone who has farmed it absolutely remembers farming it just because of the bloody, um... The... what's it called? All the RP. Just all the RP. <clears throat> New Spectral Tiger. Love so many, totally for... Absolutely reasonable. There are a lot of gorgeous mounts in this game. To turn brother against brother. Please, <clears throat> free them. So far, Skyblaze is my current favorite flavor of mount. Perfect. Another very awesome one. Some more time in flight form, though. Yeah, fair. Fair. Just so easy for the druids to shift in and out. And you're raven flight form. Ah, oh, brilliant. Yep. See, Ashes of the Holy Grail mounts. It was. It absolutely was. There were so few mounts in the game back then, too. That were actually like interesting, that weren't just like your standard Orgrimmar or Stormwind ones, you know?
What is it? Take caution. I never got what really was a big the black battle tank. Didn't even know what rating was back then, fair. Yeah. I will lead my people through any darkness. Yeah, 39%. Ugh, getting there. This does feel like it's going quicker than it did on the shaman, but still. But still. <laughs> Zam and his singular coin. Good. <clears throat> Chronikai Crystal A Titan. The Legion must have harnessed the power of its soul to regenerate <clears throat> its armies in the Nether. If we can destroy it, the infinite Taking army this hole will buy us valuable time to prepare for a full assault on Antorus. My faith is I my- I won't risk our forces on the spire without Come, that warframe back with me. Us. It will be will ready, Hyaxar. You have my word. The demons came farm. to our world. Column four in the console thingy. Yay! Now we will pray. Well, I should probably check mine actually. It is time we repay the favor. yesterday for obvious reasons but still getting along I think I will be I mean, <sighs> for your oh Seeker oh dear and Zam with that one lone coin I thought I could hear something really odd. I don't think I can actually hear it. I think it's just like in my head or in the background of the music in WoW or something. But it's definitely a whole array going on out there. Which I should have looked. I think he does. Oh my god, he does the whole butt smack animation. Of course! We must press Quality, baby. I 
always thought it was cracking a whip though, not butt smacking. To remember, even number of facets, no occlusion. Make the them suck. To be just so. Once the spires are out of the way, let us dismantle the spire of woe. Yeah, I'm at 44%. Does anyone remember what percentage I had to get to last time? Before it had let me get the drop? Minute. Okay. What are we waiting for? Okay, I guess I can do that. Oh. Oh, yes. Yeah, it was. Ugh. Yeah, he does a lot of voices in WoW. A lot. So sad that singing along hurts my throat. It's not fair. Seals dare set foot in the you sacred pools. So sure. Okay. Valorant, heart stone. Faster than running back. Ah oh dear. So what did you all end up getting up to yesterday? I'm sorry that I couldn't stream. But next weekend we'll have some fun. Hopefully I'll be fully recovered by then. We'll have an absolute blast. Wet. I know what you did, Jess. I'm aware. Ready workshop? Fantastic. Sounds like fun. Works in Asher goes, ah, yeah. yeah. He had a couple of, um, like, recurring voices and stuff as well. So, like, Greetings. ones that he'd voiced in the past who popped back up again. Our time is high, Exarch. Our warframe is fully operational. Kai, everyone. The time has come to take the central spire. Prepare for battle. It was also in Nazoth. We will advance on the citadel on the ground. While you clear the way ahead, expect heavy resistance. The Thraxis will not <clears throat> go down. He's no also fight. just awesome. Can we can we, we put it out there? In the central courtyard once he has fallen. Good luck. The enemy has breached the spire gates to arms. Mm. Insane account of just character. Ah, uh, neither, Mark. Neither. Um, so I'm just doing uh, Dungeons and Raids specifically up to and including Legion, uh, but on 12 characters and just um, uh, like 
what's the not like unique appearances i'm not collecting every single appearance of the shed like once i've got one of them all of them are fine if they all look the same does that make yeah so i'm i'm a little unwell and so my brain's not functioning as it should be um but yeah no i've just i've kind of construed my own set of restraints i'm not really playing by anybody else's rules if that makes sense i hope it makes sense uh, and i'm also like super duper beginner at this stuff it's a lot of fun though i'm having fun that's what matters right that's what matters um but yeah at the moment um the i've got a spreadsheet if you type in exclamation at dart as in all the dungeon and raid things yep exclamation at dart in chat you'll get my spreadsheet that i did up um and Jack, the amazing human, I presume he's human, um, did up a, a formula for me that pulls out the lowest percentage completion out of the whole sheet uh, and pulls it out for so I can see one little cell that tells me what my lowest is at the moment. Um, so yeah, I grab I, whatever's lowest, I go do. Uh, and Seat of the Triumvirate on Death Knight was my lowest. And it's because of the ensemble that you can get um, there's the quest item that drops from the trash that starts the quest chain that lets you unlock the thing that gets you a full ensemble and it has like nine appearances in it. Um, and I've got the cloth one and I've got the male one, but I don't have the plate or leather one. And so off I go. Take him down. <laughs> off I go. We will be upon the courtyard shortly to finish them off. For Azeroth! Yeah. I'm having fun. Here one he is. Not bad about the Warframe. It is pretty cool. Nothing you have done here matters more. It doesn't update itself, does it? No. No. We are Legion! I do myself. Um, I've got especially considering that I don't just have the 12 characters, I've got a full account of 50 characters that are all level 50 and up. Um, so Anytime I've got four of every class with an extra druid and an extra mage, because I'm main a mage um, and druids are useful. Uh, so anytime I do something on any of my mages or any of my druids or any of my etc etc, um, I it can't pull it from that character specifically. So yeah, it's um, all manual, all hand typed. Well, I mean I copy pasted the formulas, but did it myself. Nothing you have done here matters, mortal. I, I like spreadsheets. I like spreadsheets. Uh, good. Out we go. The day is ours. We await you outside, champion. Yeah, it was Nizoth in the Warbringers, Darren DePaul. Um, BFA was Gallywix and Monsters. I guess it, like added additional voices kind of deal. He's he is prolific. Uh, Gallywix, Jurgosh the Invoker, Shadow Lord, Slaghammer, dot dot dot. So there's a ton more. So what Mary okay. saw was true. A little automated in future if I can have my way. I mean, like, have fun. Oh, I'm gonna go and tell you not to. The Vindicar cannot withstand their assault. My scouts have spotted a prime target. Two arms. We are fifty-one percent, so we're just over halfway there. We Pretty sure the quest that I'm looking for is right at the end of the campaign, so it's gonna it's gonna take us a little longer to get there, but that's okay. Once it's done, I only ever have to do it one more time on a leather wearer, and then I'm done, finished, everything's over, never have to do it again. So 
That's a good feeling. We had <laughs> Azeroth will fall. Kill them all. Keep fighting. Do you have something to report? So again, not a problem at all, Dean. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time. Impossible! I refuse to believe she now leads the Horde. Not after all they did to our people during the war. Thank you. There is more. I lend I'm, you my strength. I'm not sure how to explain mm. the rest. Right, gotta... Or if this is Speech even the time or place. Time is to... now, hero. I we must will know endure. Reason. What fate befell our sisters? Once you've reached the Architrax, I will remain well. in contact. Gotcha. Awesome. High Inquisitor Ralgar was imprisoned hydrate. deep inside the Architrax. <laughs> I know, I've got the a few still in queue. I'm getting there, there, getting there. So be careful. Still got them in queue, X. What are you doing? The Legion has opened portals mm, to invade we deserve. the exactly. Shut them down before you find yourself outflanked. <clears throat> ah, the hero comes too late. With her, Our mistress before. will have freed the High Inquisitor by now. Zaraketh's void magic still lingers here. It is ours for the taking, sister! I am of Argus, the mighty world in all. Ah, uh, can I use the one and also not redeem one? Yeah, okay. That's fair. It's got the just too fun. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself, Jack. It is not worth our death <clears throat> to fight these <throat> sentinels. Keep it subdued until the High Inquisitor is free. No, it won't. I'm gonna kill you first. Seekers, cover <clears throat> the High Inquisitors. Your invasion of Argus will fail. High Inquisitors, to me. <laughs> Seems to be out of order again. The Legion is still only moments ahead of us. <clears throat> Take the portal back here, and I will figure out where the Inquisitor has gone. Ugh. 
the fridge. It feels weird building, uh, being able to put my hands on top of the chair again because there's no lights there anymore. Because, you know, Lovers in the Air is God, finished. Speak with me. Feels odd. What are we at? 55. Slowly but surely we're slogging there. We're getting there. On our way. <clears throat> Armaments from one of our past assaults litter the ridge on the eastern side. Congratulations to Litter, Seeker, Kledgy, and Draz on all your bonus shit. Well done. Onwards we go to the next one. Let's see this one. Enjoy your Lurksy! Enjoy. That's like, I thought I'd be able to jump through that. Clearly not. Oof. I'm feeling a bit woozy. I think I might, uh... Next time I get somewhere safe, I might take a quick break and grab another glass of water. And some painkillers. I don't think it's a headache. You know when you just, you kind of feel a bit fuzzy and you think maybe it's pain? Because it's kind of distracting, but you don't know what it... Yeah, that's what I'm kind of feeling at the moment. I'm thinking maybe some painkillers might help. Hey, a V, welcome back. How are you going? So close. You are not really mm. to stop me. We should you break out. Yeah, so that way storage calls him to me loudly. Maybe we may cave to let him out. Oh no. Oh no. So you know, that's right, V. I've I've been I'm a hell of a lot better than I was yesterday. That's for sure. I was extremely unwell yesterday. Oh, I need to death gate to Acherus, so I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna do some rune carving while I'm there, and I'm gonna grab a drink of water. So I'm gonna BRB. Run away, little girl! Run away!
I returned. Okay. Moda, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. How is your stream? I hope you're having a fantastic day. How are we doing? Yeah, not too bad. I'm uh, I'm quite sick. Um, better than I was yesterday, though, so that's a thing. And uh, I'm living in a place that's currently being flooded, so that's nice, too. But uh, that's... Ah! Axiom, thank you so much for the geo. Much appreciated. Uh, so, yeah, just everything everything's coming up for you at the moment. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. It is what it is, and we just we deal with life as it happens, don't we? All we can do. I hope you had a fantastic stream. Welcome on in. Thank you, V. With a high good. So it turns out we don't have any painkillers in the house. So that's good. Oh, right, okay. <clears throat> what am I doing? It's healing. Uh, I think. Sure, let's go with that. I don't actually know. I... <laughs> Make the icon go away, that's for sure. <clears throat> yeah, that you had... Blah. Sorry to hear you're sick, thank you. Yeah, I um, I was supposed to have my six year anniversary stream yesterday. Um, big 12 hour and I had no voice. I Every time I attempted to swallow, it felt like I was swallowing a razor blade. Um, ended up getting a doctor's appointment and uh, got some antibiotics. Yay! They taste like farts. And <laughs> yeah, so I'm I'm on the mend, but I'm just I'm not I'm not in a happy place. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I forgot you know the floods. I am I am in fact our uh, basement parking is gone. It's flooded, um, and our building elevators that lifts are shut off. Uh, because they were slowly but surely filling with water, so they decided to, to shut them off before any damage could be done. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's not great. It's not great. It's a little bit, a little bit scary. Uh, I've never, I I've not been living in Brisbane for super long, so having the the floods and stuff like I I haven't lived through floods in Brisbane before, uh, so it's yeah all a little kind of scary. Um, but that's okay. We deal with things as they pop up and just hope for the best and, you know, do what we can, you know. Do what we can. Decent stream. Lost Ark, fantastic. I hope you're enjoying I it. My strength. Enjoying it. Mm, farts, indeed. Mm-hmm. Delicious. I have given Night the worst bit is that they make me burp. And the burps stands, we will be also taste like farts. Yeah, definitely the anniversary some of the when It's about resting for now. Exactly, exactly. We're postponing it till next week, uh, next weekend. At this point um and i'll just kind of see how i'm going through the week oh good oh that's right remember when we were doing this on the on the shaman every time i poured it a certain way in the triangle of of vindicars it'd kick me out i forgot sorry to hear that i appreciate that i appreciate that yeah it is it's all a bit sucky at the moment but um uh just doing what i can so i'm you know miles behind on all my businessy related stuff and things on my back end stream stuff and stuff but uh look i'll do what i can and that's that's what i can do <laughs> i do everything i can and anything else just has to wait prioritize oh, i got close to me watching the flooding closely surprised you haven't lost power um honestly knock on wood me too uh, but I am I am very, very close to Brisbane. Like, I am practically in Brisbane City. Uh, and I'm okay at the moment. I know some people just north of Brisbane haven't got power at the moment. Uh, but my housemate and best mate, Jas, um, he also had moderated here. Um, he's just been told that he's not going to be working. To at least tomorrow, potentially more of this week. And because of the flooding and stuff. And he's casual. So, um... If I can, I'm gonna stream because even like I mean I have savings, so we'll, we'll be okay. But um, even like even if I can get just a little bit of ad revenue out of the stream, it'll it'll soften somewhat of the damage I'll do to my savings. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just every little bit counts. 
So yeah, it kind of sucks, but we're, you know, we do what we can. And as long as I've got power, I can just stream. And if the power goes out, then I will be stopping stream. Uh, I do have a charged phone, so uh, I can jump onto the Twitch app and jump in chat and let everyone know that, you know, power is gone, stream's not coming back. Have fun, see you next time sort of thing. But uh, we'll see how we go. See how we go. Yeah. I hope you're I hope you're staying safe, little panda. I really do. Just take care of yourself, yeah. I can still After about six years, quit just after the king. There you go. I hope you enjoyed your time in Azeroth. And I hope you found some amazing universes to keep you company. To call home since then. That's what it is. We go on indeed. And we hydrate, always hydrate. Time for all the things. It really, it really is. All the things. All the things. But yeah, look, we can't control everything, um, and so Not all just do the best we can with what we've got. So many were left behind. They linger, forced to relive their final moments over and over again. Perhaps the Fun only times. way to end their torment is to finish what I started so very long ago. We must let these oh. spirits finally realize their spine. Hey, Fane. Doing better? Yeah, I'm doing a little better. Um, definitely better than I was yesterday. Still nowhere near good. <laughs> like, health-wise. Uh, mental health wise I'm doing fine, but um, in terms of like physical health I'm, I'm still pretty trash, but uh, just sort of a lot better than I was yesterday. I can talk today. Yesterday I could not. So that tells you where I'm at. Hope you're doing well. Enjoy your Lexi. Time for the lunch for me. Enjoy. I hope it's delicious. Awesome and wonderful and all the things. See what I did there. Ha ha ha. <sighs> Alright, I need an Argonite Keystone. Let's go do this. So, um, I am doing a dungeon and raids transmog farm today. Unfortunately, I drew the Death Knight uh seat of the Triumvirate. And part of seat is a um wait while well, ATT loads. Part of seat is a, uh, a there's four transmog sets, one for each armor type, and um, there are. Uh, I don't have the plate one, which is why the number for the death knight is so low. The completion percentage is so low, so that's fun. So that's and before, so in order to get the ensemble, the the transmog set. Uh, it's the end of a quest chain, and the quest chain starts with an item that drops from trash in the dungeon, which is why it's part of the dungeon loot. Um, but in order to get it to be able to drop, you have to have done the Argus campaign, which I've not done on anything except for my main. So um, a few weeks back, I did it on my shaman for the male set. Uh, my main is a mage, so I've got the cloth set. This is for the plate set. And I am 62% of the way through the Argus campaign. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. The army of the light stands with you. Your help is most welcome for you. Not all who wander are lost. We seek the sigil of awakening. Our demand may have left Tips for newer streamers. Uh, consistency. I have just the person for the job. Cons consistency is is huge. Um, like going live at the same time each day if you can. I know not everyone can, and that's fine. But um, secure the area. If you can, going live at the same time each time that you do go live and having like, you know, know that you're going to go live at 5pm every Monday, etc, etc. Et it's like TV show, you know, back when we watched TV, like on TV rather than streaming. People knew when it was on and they would tune in when they knew it was going to be starting. Um, where am I going? Where am I going? 
Where? Up here. Um, playing what you enjoy, uh, and not just like whatever the flavor of the month is, because uh, if you play what the flavor of the month is and you don't really enjoy it, you're going to build up an audience that watches for the game, and then when you change to something you do enjoy, all those people will leave, and you'll have to start from scratch again anyway. Um, I mean, obviously a small handful of people will be there for you, uh, but not as many as you might think. Um, that, and that's, that goes for everyone, not just, um, like, it's, yeah. Um, uh, growing a social media presence. Uh, people can only find you on Twitch when you're live. Like, there is literally zero discoverability for offline channels. There just isn't any. Um, like, clips and VODs and stuff like that, they're great, but no one can find them unless you're online or unless you share them. So building a social media presence on every single social media platform that you feel comfortable using uh, is, is super important. Uh, and patience, like a metric fuckload of patience. A metric fuckload of patience. Uh, I, I've been streaming for six years. Six years. Years. It took me a long time. It was five and a half years before I made partner. Um, I was one of I was in the first batch of affiliates because when they released the affiliate program, I had already met the requirements. So I automatically got it as soon as they released the program. Uh, but it took me five and a half years to reach the requirements for partner. Um, and I got there when I when I kind of made the decision like I want to be a, a Twitch partner like this is what I want now let's let's focus on this let's do everything that I possibly can uh, to to make that goal a reality I started paying attention to my stats your your stats your dashboard is so so important if you're doing this for fun then by all means continue to do that if you want to make a business out of this uh, firstly it's going to take a long ass time before it gets there I still have a day job. Uh, I, I cannot pay my bills from Twitch. It's not possible. I do not earn enough. Um, and I spend the equivalent of a full-time job plus travel time. So let's say you have an hour and a half commute to work every day and you work eight hours. So you, you 45 minutes to, eight I hours at, 45 minutes work. home. That many hours a week, that's how much time I spend working on my stream. Every single week. Um, Back-end stuff is, you know, scheduling social media and, and trolling through clips and all that kind of stuff. All that kind of, that all of it counts. So this is a full-time job, and when I calculated out how much I make an hour, uh, it's like less than $2 Australian. Uh, so, per hour. So it's not, you know, this is not financially beneficial. <laughs> Um, it's a lot of work, and, uh, are not yeah, um, but paying attention to your stats, so, like, if you notice you, you play a different game, you have three stream days, and every single one, every single time you play this game on this day, it's your highest numbers consistently, then maybe look at streaming that game more often, if it's something you want to do. Of course, don't make changes you're not willing to do long term. That's why I play nothing but WoW, mostly. I do, I do have some, uh, variety nowadays. Um, but I when I was really pushing for partnership, I played nothing but World of Warcraft. Nothing but. Because I noticed that my highest stream days were when I played WoW. So I very slowly, I've, I've, over a couple of months, phased out the rest of my stream stuff. Every time I finished a story game, I'd make it WoW instead. Um, and then eventually it was all WoW. Uh, I noticed that there was uh, one day of the week that was significantly lower than the other days of my week. So I moved that day. Uh, I ended up cancelling one day of streams and took the hours, so I had the same number of hours per week, but over fewer days, so longer streams for fewer days, like, you know, yep. Uh, I tweaked my start and finish times, uh, and then gave it two months. You kind of, you really need like two months worth of stats to know if a change that you have made is working. Um, so, you know, you make the change and then you wait 60 days and you have a look at your 60 days prior and your 60 days after and see, has it gone up? And if it has, then great, so keep doing what you're doing. If it's gone down, go back to what you were doing before. I may not um, be able to assist yeah, you it's, mostly, it's but tricky, but it's... Interest. If you find it to be rewarding, putting in that much work for not much payback, then, yeah, it's a... Uh, yeah. Your thus far. Yeah. 
it consistent in a schedule isn't doable, consistent in communi communicating with the community when changes will be made. Yeah. Um, and doing things like not saying, okay, everyone, I'm going to be live in an hour. No, they need more more notice than an hour. People make plans myself. further out than that. Um, you, you need to give them, like, even if you can do a weekly schedule, uh, that'll do a hell of a lot better than, than telling people when you're going to go live, when you're going live. Um, yeah, if you just kind of go right, live randomly, you cannot expect people to rock up because they've got lives too. Um, but yeah, some kind of consistency uh, is is really useful. Even if you have like, even if you plan it out and you end up having to cancel a stream because you've been called into a shift and you can't, like, you really need the money and so you can't say no to that shift. That's okay, as long as you then communicate that to to everyone and say, hey, I'm not going to be able to come in. You don't have to tell them why. It's none of their fucking business. Um, but like letting people know that there no longer will be a stream at that time, and because if they if they're expecting a stream and they rock up and there isn't one and they don't know and you haven't told them anywhere, then yeah, it's uh. It is designed to kill you. Best of luck. Yeah, it's uh. Twitch is is one hell of a trip. I imagine it is quite painful. Twitch is is interesting. Get oh right oops. That's fickle. Audiences are, uh... None of them know what they want. You just gotta give them something, oh, and have fun, and if they like it, they'll stick around too. <laughs> there's no, there's no magic thingamajig. Uh, I found you on tic- No way! You found me on TikTok? Oh my god, I think you are the first person. Seeker, look! Someone found me on TikTok! <laughs> You are absolutely, I, you are the first person who has been in my bloody chat telling me you found me from TikTok. Good lord. See, there you go. Every bloody platform works. My lord. That's amazing. This trial is complete. TikTok confuses and bewilders me. I'm an old. I don't understand it. So I just put clips up and hope for the best. <laughs> there you go. Holy shit. There you go. Shit, the work you put in front. Oh, thank you, Kim. I appreciate you guys rocking up and all the moral support and everything. It's fantastic. Ah! Megan! Thank you so much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Fianati. Basically, it's paid in exposure. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Or in underpants. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, big tip is have at least one strong mod behind you. Yeah, have that friend will be in your chat with you talking with you. You can feel dead air. Yeah, learning how to just talk to yourself constantly is really useful. Um, learning to turn a, a two-word answer into a paragraph that contains several questions of your own is really... Because, like, you know, oh, what what's your main? Fire mage! Good, you've killed the conversation. Well done. High five. Um... Whereas if you know what's what's your what's your main? I play a fire mage. I've been playing a fire mage since I started playing, which was like fifteen years ago. I have played arcane occasionally, uh, especially when I was raiding, like back in the day, like hardcore raiding, because like sometimes arcane was meta, and I had to play the meta to be able to you know do my job in the raid and stuff. Um, but I do not like frost. The playstyle just does not work with me. Um, I just, I don't know, I can't, I've never really enjoyed it, and I, I don't know, it's just, so this kind of becomes a bit of a meme. Also, like, my name, Fiamma, is Italian for flame, because flame is, is the fire mage, yes. Uh, so what about you? What's your, what's your main? What do you play? Or if you've got a couple of them, what, what are they, and blah blah blah, and you know what I mean? So it's, like, turning, turning that two-word answer, which kills the conversation, into... Not just I'm something not a paladin. That, uh... Correct, I'm not a paladin. Um, into something that fills that air. It also means that um, uh, it'll open the conversation further because you're asking a question back or anything that you say during that paragraph could trigger someone to go, oh, I have something to say about that. And so they will, uh, which gives you more things to bounce off and more things to communicate about. Because, uh, like, every person who comes into a stream, I cannot step they're not going to be there for more than a couple seconds. But you they're, they're just not. It's it's like you, you click in, and if the person's sitting there just... They're gone. 
the new viewer has left and they're never coming back unless they accidentally manage to, but even then some people actually do make the effort to click in the thing and I'm not interested in the, in the recommended and stuff, you know? So like you've, you gotta keep going because every single three or four second window throughout your entire stream is a potential new viewer who will stick around, potentially. Obviously you're not gonna be able to please everybody. Not everyone is gonna like you. Not everyone is going to like the type of content you produce, not everyone is going to like the game you're playing. Usually they won't click in if they don't like the game you're playing, but some people are interesting like that. Um, but yeah, that's... Yeah, you, every every single passing moment of silence is a moment that you could be... You could have lost someone who's brand new to your channel. It's uh, terrifying and annoying, but it is what it is. Um, oh, I hope I can find a following that's my biggest fear. Tips and time. Yeah, no, you're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. Um, look, uh, that's my biggest fear. Don't, don't be afraid of it. Start. You got to do it for fun. You, it has to be fun. If you're not having fun, your audience knows, and they won't stick around. If you're not, if you're doing this and you're you're stressing constantly about more people and watching your view account and all that kind of, it's not going to be fun. And the people who jump into your chat will not have fun, and they will leave. It's it's just unfortunately fact. Um, it has to be for fun first, especially if you're a brand new streamer. Do not go into Twitch thinking this is going to be my new job and I'm going to pay my bill. No, it's not going to happen. And if you make it about the money, your viewers will know because they're not stupid. Uh, this one. They're, they're not idiots. Uh, some of them might be, but most of them won't be. Um, and you just, you have to do it for fun, for fun first. Uh, you have to. And if it goes somewhere, then fucking awesome. Bloody fantastic. But if it doesn't, you need to accept that. You need to be able to accept that as well. Um, like, again, six years. For, for four and a half of those years, I was stagnant, bouncing between 16 and 22 average viewers for four and a half years. I grew up to that point quite quick because I had a built-in, like I had a guild that I was reading with and stuff and a lot of them would tune in just because, you know, they hated me, but it was fine. Um, so, like, I, I had a bit of a built-in, so I jumped up into that kind of, that teen area quite quickly, but for four and a half years, I was bouncing between 16 and 22 average viewers. It'd go up, and then it'd go down, and then it'd go up, and then it'd go down, and go up a little bit, and then down a bit more, and then up a bit, and then down a little bit, and then back, and then just everywhere. But within, like, 16 to 22 for four and a half years. And then I started making changes to my stuff. Because I said, you know what, no, I do love this. Let's try to actually, like, try at this. And I did. And it worked, but sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes you're not able to make the changes that need to be made as well. So yeah, just have fun. It's a hobby. First and foremost, it has to be a hobby. If it becomes a business, fantastic. But it must be a hobby to start with. Because it's just too much otherwise. Um. How do you not get bored of having to do the same quests on different characters? Um, chat, basically. Uh, like, often it's to the point where, like, I haven't done it in a while, and so it doesn't feel like I've done it super duper. Like, I, it's not like I sit here and I do the same quest on all 50 characters and then I go and do another quest on all 50. It's not that, it's not as repetitive as it sounds. I mean, I did level 26 characters to 50 in a seven month period um, and I did all of them through Wards of Draenor, building the garrison and stuff like that through questing uh, but even then it was just kind of like oh I remember this bit yeah this bit comes next and that bit happens next and it was it was fine for me um, but again I did a lot of it with chat um, I need to be closer I can't get closer there we go um, so a lot of it I tend to just kind of stick myself on autopilot and spend more time interacting with chat the um, Legion's forces are unleashing. Nope. Um, dungeon and raid transmog farming. Uh, but I'm I drew Cedar Triumvirate, and so I'm trying to get the plate set. But I need to do the campaign for Argus before I can get the quest item to drop that'll start the chain to get the plate set. It's great. It's awesome. Um, gosh, you're feeling well enough to stream tonight. Me too, Thor. Me too. Hope you're well. Confirmed. Don't know what I want in general. 
Get extra time and can review me. I've never done that at all, ever. Sorry, I, I don't I wouldn't even know where to start with that kind of stuff. That is not a service I provide. Um I've yeah, I've never reviewed another streamer ever before. <laughs> I, I don't like no. Nah. <laughs> um Honestly, I don't feel like I'm in a position of enough success to be sitting there judging other people either. But I can tell you that there will probably be a ton of streamers who offer that kind of stuff on like maybe Patreon or uh, that kind of thing that you might be able to find. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, no, I would not feel comfortable doing that, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, underpants. Um, I don't know, give the two word answer. <laughs> Yeah, look, I, it's gotten to that point for me as well, Thor, like, in my everyday life that I just, I respond to everything with it, and I, like, I'm, as soon as someone asks me anything, it's like, blah, 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 and word vomit, and it's like, ah, uh, you wanted, like, a succinct answer, didn't you? Whoops. Ha! <laughs> Soz. My bad. Um, terrible elaboration, adding all the information, king of all word answers, only replying with relevant info. Yeah, I know. I know. It's, um... It is, it's, it's definitely a skill. Like it is, it is not, it's something that can, it can be learned and it, it needs to be practiced. Um, it's, yeah, it's not easy. Uh, Thor, Draz, Dunno, it's not easy when you're, um, when you're used to doing the opposite. Congrats on your bonus shit, guys. Well done. Uh, is that what we're up to or is that, yeah, good. <sighs> for local fear of my baby, it's not for fun. I feel like it's easier if you get chatty people in chat. Absolutely, it, it definitely does, but you can't rely on chat. Like, they're under no obligation to be there. And even if you have, like, a good section of community that's super chatty, what's going to happen that one day where they've all got something else to do that day? You're a form of entertainment. There, Nobody is under any obligation to watch you. Um, not even your mods. They're not paid, unless you pay them. If you pay them, then they need to be there because it's a job. Um, like it's, you know, paid, whatever, but, uh, like, yeah, no, you can't rely on, you've got to, you've got to rely on yourself to be the entertainment. My anxiety is an advantage, end up with verbal diarrhea, Lamau, always helpful. It can be, indeed. It can be. I do got to be careful with the verbal diarrhea, though, sometimes, just because, like, you want to talk in paragraphs, but sometimes you want to make sure that you are... For example, keeping your private life private and stuff like that. You don't want to do things like dox yourself uh, or give out too much personal information that will allow those people of the internet to be able to figure out who you are and where you live and what you do for work and etc. Like, do you know what I mean? You can't give out too, too much info because there are people out there who will figure that out. Um, and the more you grow, the more likely it is to start happening because it's it's a numbers game, right? If you if you've got ten viewers, but only one percent of the population is that kind of person, but then you hit one hundred viewers, so you got statistically speaking, you're likely to have one of those type of people. If you ever hit a thousand, you got ten of those type of people, etc. Like it's just you, yeah, you got to safety first, safety first. Um, so as long as you can learn how to put a filter on the verbal diarrhea, that can be really really helpful. Yeah. Yeah, being a chatterbox certainly helps. The teens nowadays. Yep, from that too. About 20 people when I joined. Yep. Yep. Definitely a thing. How many on average do you have now? Give me a second, Matt, and I can check my... What's it, Juva? Where's my dashboard? Channel analytics. 89. From January 29th to Feb 27, the 30 days, my average viewers is 89. Welcome on in, Matt. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, now what entertains me while she entertains us? Yeah, I mean, eventually you build up uh, a decent chunk of like regulars that you can sort of bounce stuff off them and and all that kind of thing. But again, like you, you can't rely on them being there. This is, you know, especially with everything that's going on in the world at the moment. You are. Uh, Anyone could be not in chat for whatever reason. Big tip, love your lurkers. Yeah, just a rule of Twitch, absolutely. Just because they're not chatting does not mean they are not supremely valuable. Like, um, we... 
actually. Jumping back to my channel, I'd like to do I have a thing there for chatters. Unique chatters. Oh no, that's over the whole month. Okay, that's not super useful. Um it's okay. Um But yeah, um, like, the vast majority of my viewers are lurkers. And I am totally okay with that. We have a small handful of people who are super active in chat, and we have a large group of people who are consistently in lurk mode, consistently watch almost every single stream start to finish, and they just never say anything. And that is totally okay. Those are the people, like, every single viewer counts, but without the lurkers, I would never have made partner. I do not, I've never had enough active chatters to have pushed me over that 75 average threshold. Um, it's, it's, yeah, without those lurkers, I would not have made partner. Obviously, like, you know, without the chatters, actually, without the chatters, I might still have made partner. But, <laughs> but no, it's, uh, like, yeah, super important. Uh, and, like, if people aren't talking, there's a reason for it. Don't, don't try to like. Oh my god, add-ons and 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 overlays and stuff like that. That or, or like you know that call people out when like a bot that recognizes a name that's lurking and calls them out in chat. They will leave. <laughs> they will leave. Um, some people don't like to be seen. They just want to sit there and and be chill, and that's okay. We we need to accept that. Um, we are fierce extroverts that entertains us as introverts. Oh dear. God, the stream is going up. Everybody might be the soul of wit. It's not the path to live entertainment. I'm not under contract. No, not as far as I'm aware. Unless someone else got you to sign a contract, in which case you have been scammed. <laughs> if you're interested in makeup stuff, I was doing archaeology, lurks are valuable commodity. They are, absolutely. Absolutely. Lurkers' lives matter, indeed, Grouchy. Absolutely. <laughs> we love our lurkers. Always have, always will. Um, lurking can be challenging. It can, Kaz. Hello, hello. But for some people, that's just that's how they they that's how they roll. They don't like interacting, um, and they just have it playing in the background or whatever, and that's okay too. That is like a hello, Dan. You can be if you would like. Do not perceive. Spend a lot of time technically lurking since I've streamed playing while I do. Ah, oh, still because in chat. Right, but my time is spent not chatting too much. Yeah, exactly, and that's totally okay. Totally okay. Falls to the burning legion. You've driven them back. Now press the attack. I was just the whole stream every time. Yeah, no, exactly. Why when I look, I'm not tabbed out. I'm AFK. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't look, but I'm probably the only person who's never looked, because yeah. Help with metrics. I appreciate that, Ice. Very much so. Interacting with people. I know. Much panic, Sam. Much panic. Much panic, indeed. Uh, I like when I'm playing something else. Twitch would be nothing without the locust, to be honest. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Who does that take with your locust with your No, because I'm not really, like... I guess I can hear what's going on. That makes sense. Yeah, maybe. Good luck. I will hold on to that for later. Meeting up on Discord is the Great Flood of 22 receding. No. No. It won't until at least midweek. Yeah, it won't for a while. Fortunately. Um, that's okay. We are at the moment where we are safe. Uh, and we're just kind of keeping an eye on the situation as it develops. Um, our basements are flooded, like basement car park is flooded. Uh, our lifts have been manually disabled um, because of the, all the water. Um, we still, obviously we still have power and still have internet, thankfully, uh, but there are some places that don't uh, have one or the other or either. Um, so yeah, just kind of being, being thankful at the moment. This one down the bottom. This one. Um, add a boat to wish list. I'm not sure the delivery vehicle would be able to get here. Nah, they're they're fine. Um, we should be okay. Um, if we're not, 
I will update you that streams have been cancelled and uh, we'll take care of ourselves first. That's great Flutter 22 <laughs> fixed it for you. Yeah, look. Look, it's a bit that way. It's a bit that way. Dinner and chicken bacon and spinach risotto. Oh, that sounds delicious, Kay. Enjoy. We are having nugs and chips tonight because uh, the grocery stores closed early so that they could send their staff home so they wouldn't be cut off by the, by the floods. And as a result, we got no food. So we have a few frozen bits and bobs. Oh, shit. Um, okay. Uh, of which includes nugs and chips. So that's what we're having. Delightful. Risk of enough floods, what's next? Uh, war. <laughs> that's the thing that's also happening. Um, yeah, it's fine. The world is totally not on fire at the moment. Like frogs. Yeah, it's like what I, I was saying earlier in stream. Um, it's almost like we're experiencing the, the, the biblical plagues, except that they're not all everywhere at once. Like different areas are getting different plagues. Like we've got flooding. The whole world's got COVID. We've got flooding. There's war over there. There's there's you know human right human rights violations over there. Like just everything's kind of the whole world's falling to shit, but just differently in different areas. The world on fire two years ago. Yeah, right before COVID hit, um, Australia was on fire. Like massively. So like bushfires everywhere. Worst bushfire season we'd seen like ever. Um, yeah. It's great, it's fine. It's great. Was plural? Yeah, look. <sighs> it's exhausting. Make sure, like, make sure you guys take care of yourselves. You know, like, there's a lot of, there is a lot of shit going on, and I know, you know, coping through humour is something I do a lot. Um, but it is okay to be worried. It's okay to not be okay. Uh, and it is okay to seek help, even if it's just, like, a professional person to talk to and talk about how fucked up the lie the world is at the moment like that's that's okay uh, and there are there are um things like that uh, like helplines and shit in every country out there um so yeah if you're if you're looking for some some support if you're feeling like you could use some kind of support it is okay that is totally reasonable doesn't make you any less than or, or silly or any of that kind of no that's that's it's fine it's totally okay there is a lot going on it is okay to be mildly overwhelmed it's okay to be completely overwhelmed um do we have space sure are we accessible not with these slot yeah basically don't forget the apparently new mosquitoes are spreading Japanese and Hawaii. I had not heard about that. Um, I'd be like, where are my mods? Yeah, exactly. Right? Like, who let this happen? What the hell? Hello, Barry. Welcome back. How are you, lovely? I've missed your face. I'm, I've been so sick. I'm so sick. <laughs> I have to take antibiotics and they taste like farts. And it's so bad. I'm so sad. Oh, I assume fear freezing is just me. Ooh, maybe? I seem to be okay at the moment. I have got 729 dropped frames, which consists of, which, which compromise, yep, 0.3% of my entire stream. So it might've just happened very recently, but we might've had like a flicker in the internet or something. I mean, we're flooded. It, it, may, it may happen. Um, them back. Now press the attack. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, just you? Okay, there's also that. It might just be you. Ah, uh, yeah, there's giant horse pills. No, not giant horse pills. Um, they're little, they're capsules. Like, half of them is green and half of them is yellow. And when you pop them out of the blister pack, they immediately smell like either sulfur or methane. I can't tell which. And they, and then I take them and I hold my nose so I can't taste them. But then they make me burp. And you guessed it, the burps taste like farts. The death hornets as well, was it 2020? The past few years are all a mush now. They are, you are correct. Who even knows anymore? It's right here, awesome, really my and fixed it. Oh, okay, brilliant. I mean, not brilliant, but like, good to know that uh, I'm not 
broken on my end. I mean, I am, but like a different kind. You know, it's fine. We're fine. It's about, yeah, it's, it's a time, but it's okay. It's okay. I have the ability to speak now, thanks to the fart pills, so I'll get there. But the I know, right, Panda? The burpee pills. They're terrible. But I, like, literally when I woke up yesterday morning, I couldn't swallow because I felt like I had a razor blade lodged in my throat. Like, it was, it was real bad. I was supposed to have a 12-hour stream yesterday celebrating my sixth anniversary on Twitch. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I was, I was wrecked. I was in pain. I was just not good in the slightest. So, like, the fact that I've taken three doses of antibiotic now and I'm this much better is great. I'm very thankful for that. Wish they tasted like candy instead. <sighs> but yeah, look, it's fine. It's fine. I'll survive. We will cleanse the universe in fire. It could be worse. Miserable yes. wretches, the hour of doom is at hand. <sighs> now is your chance. Finish this fight. Cold water is really nice against my throat. But I've got plenty of hydrates still in queue. I'll let you know when I run out. I can't give take too much and poison themselves. No. I don't. I don't think. Maybe? Maybe I'm giving too much credit to humanity. The problem is, because they're antibiotics, and the way antibiotics work, you have to take the full dose. Like, you have to take every pill they give you. Or you have a chance at creating the next MRSA, which is very, very bad. Um, so, like... I mean, I'll take it. Um, so, like... Because they taste so bad, people will take them till they feel better and then just get rid of the rest. And that's bad. <laughs> that's really bad. Ah, uh, oh, look at that. One moment, please. Let me report the person who is not a regular person, who is a, uh... That is a bot. In chat message. Spam malicious links on bot accounts. Sending malicious links. Attempting to advertise a website where one can purchase. Follows, views, and primes for Twitch. That is not how you spell Twitch. You think I'd know how to spell Twitch by now. Submit report. Uh, don't do that, by the way. If you are a streamer of any level, it is not worth it. Like, just don't. It might look like growth, but Twitch will be able to see the jump. Um, they're not stupid, and you will you will either be banned, or you'll just be shadow banned from ever being able to join the affiliate program or the partner program. And, you know, you, your account will still be there. You'll be able to stream, but you'll be blacklisted from ever being able to do anything. So don't, don't buy shit. Just be patient and grow yourself the normal way because it is it is so not worth it. So not worth it. Uh, okay, where is the last one? It's up here. So what's that? Vindicar? No, not Vindicar. Veiled Den. All right, let's go there. Good. Have you tried making a lemon and honey drink? Yes, I have. And they help for a little bit and then they stop helping. I've also got strepsils with an anesthetic in them as well, and they help, and then they stop helping. And it's it's okay, like, I, I get that. My, my symptoms are strong as heck, and so, like, it's a thing, and that's okay, but it just kind of sucks. <laughs> um, but yeah, clearly I, um, I, uh, this is the point where I realize half the people I'm talking to are new viewers, and also I've just got an ad in progress, right, damn it. When the ad is finished, I will explain my whole autoimmune history bullshit and why me having a bacterial infection is a really bad thing. Um, uh, people are getting smart now, look at that. I know, right? Find the source of this insidious They're realizing link protection. So many of my kinsmen uh, general and antibiotics always finish the course as prescribed by the doctor to help reduce the growth of resistant bacteria. Yeah, absolutely. 
Um, so tries, exactly. You've got to, even if you feel like it's working, it's because you've killed like 80% of the bacteria. But do you want the 20% that's remaining to kind of just marinate in the antibiotics, get all strong like, and understand how to fight it off, like how to, how to resist it? and then grow back to 100%, but now it's all the resistance, and then you've got to try a different course of uh, antibiotics. It's just, it's not, it's not worth it. Oh, there's somebody else in here. It's at 88%. Holy shit, there's someone else in here. Wow, this will be fun. I'll actually finish faster. Um, can you add the phrase by followers to the banned phrases list? Would that work? Um, yes and no. It'll still do the same thing. It won't report them. Like... I mean, I guess I could get it to automatically ban them, but I might not see them, and I like I need like I like to report them as well, so that Twitch can see the evolution of what's going on with like the, how they're putting in the messages and stuff like that. I don't know. I feel like I feel like it's helpful to Twitch to see which accounts are being hacked and used for this crap. I don't know. You mug Banzai, indeed, indeed. Uh, hey Naga, um, so I understand that you're you're saying that you're not being rude uh, and that you're just complimenting. Um, it still kind of makes me uncomfortable. Um, so what I would recommend moving like in, in future, if you want to compliment, because complimenting people is fantastic, right? Brighten people's day, make them happy, all that kind of stuff. That's great. That's a good thing, right? You want to be able to keep doing that. Um, but in order to not come across sort of mildly creepy and, and all that kind of stuff, the best bet is to compliment something that the person can control. I can't control my looks. It's genetics. Some, some like, you know, nature, there's a little bit of nurture in there, I guess. I don't know. Um, but, like, I can't control the way that I look unless I go get plastic surgery, which I haven't done because it's fucking expensive. Um, but what you could do, like, things like, uh, I love the way you've done your hair, or I really like your makeup, or I love the shirt you're wearing, or I love your headset, or like, it, there's, you know, things that they have made a conscious choice. Like I've chosen to put these clothes on, or I've chosen to apply this particular lipstick, or I've chosen to tie my hair up in a bun because it's really shitting me and I couldn't figure out how to do it otherwise. Um, the choice, like complimenting a choice that they've made rather than something they have exactly zero control over. And that goes for anyone of any gender, not just chicks on the internet. Um, but yeah, that that's a way you can do it so that you don't have to put in the whole, I'm not being rude, I'm just complimenting you, blah, blah. Like, you don't even have to do any of that. Just like, hey, cool shirt. How are you? How are you dealing with the floods? <laughs> you know, I mean, I know I'm not wearing a particularly cool shirt today. It's just black. But um, that's a much easier way and a, like less likely to get you like bonked with a band hammer elsewhere and, and things like that. Cool. Awesome. Um, yeah. I hope you're doing well. Um, our parking in the apartment building is completely flooded. Uh, our lifts have been manually shut off. Uh, I live in an apartment building. The, the lifts have been shut off uh, to avoid damage from the, the massive amounts of water. However, I still have power and internet. Uh, and I can leave and enter my apartment building freely without drowning. So that's really good. That's, um, that's how I'm doing with that. I'm also really sick. <laughs> but that's totally a different thing anyway. But yeah. Welcome on in. Hot water, fresh ginger, mint, and honey is my good comfort drink. Oh, yum. Somebody else in my MMO. How do they know? I know, right? But, like, seriously, that's awesome. I was like, ooh. Men's I didn't have to do that whole bar by myself. It was great. Pretty quick at banning them. First time chat messages, eye catching. I know. It's so good, isn't it? It's super awesome. Super, super awesome. Ah, uh, showing you this is my health save money, especially in this economy. Well done, Kaz. Well done. Well done. General rule of thumb is if you have to follow or start a sentence with not trying to be rude, maybe refrain. Yeah, that's that's also a really, really good point. If you feel like you're going to have to justify yourself, probs just don't. Which is also pretty good at banning them too. You report them five seconds later, they're gone. Yeah, it's all, like there have been times when we ban them and I'm doing something and I go, okay, now that I've done that, let me scroll up and I click their name and it's like account has been suspended. I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> cool. Can't even report them because they're already gone. They are really, they're really, really good at that. Um, 
But I think it's because they get banned from so many channels at the same, because they jump in and they just post, 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 post. So because they get so many bans in such a short period, even if they don't get reported, I feel like Twitch would have some kind of thing. Like if account gets banned by X number of channels within one minute, probs should terminate the account, you know? <laughs> like Do probs something not quite right here. I will oh, good Lord. <clears throat> Upstairs inside the Vindicar. Uh, do I need to go to this Vindicar? Am I going to disconnect? No. Amazing. Fantastic. My faith is my shield. Um, Time is of the essence. You have to start we your sentence with no offense. You know that it's going to offend the person. It's better to keep your trap shut, IMO. Not trying to be rude, but is that an alliance tune? No, it's not. It's a horde tune, actually. But thank you, Jack. Thank you, Jack. Um, I love the Fugreal. Gosh, okay, yes, me too! Remind me the card game set. Wait, hang on. Chat went too fast. Uh, that nobody will ever play with me. Oh my god. No, I loved them as well. I actually, when I saw them, everyone in chat was like, oh my god, these suck, they're so hard. I'm like, click, 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 done. So I said, with the, with the Fugreal ones, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm just winging it. Um, I actually kind of said, okay, this is what it's telling you to do. This is how, so because of this one and this one and this one, see how it's got this and this, that's one set. And then this, like, and I went through and explained the whole thing. I, I think we might've gotten a couple of clips of it, um, but I hope, hopefully we did. And I can go back and like highlight the section if I need to. Cause I, I felt like I gave a really good, I know that's kind of tooting my own horn or whatever, but I feel like I gave a really good explanation. And a lot of people in chat seem to be quite happy with it. So. I love puzzles. Puzzles are my jam. Yo, I've been playing Heaven's Vault. I've been lying on the couch, dead, playing Heaven's Vault. It's so much fun. Genuinely, it is such a good game. And it's beautiful too. Absolutely gorgeous. Actually, when you do. You do. Really pretty. And recognition friends yes why did jess have exactly 5k and shiba 10k i don't know i didn't give jess any extra i gave shiba and seeker 10k each check up what are you really what are you writing a book um she's just trying to get out of the manually i didn't add any to jess though card game set is the same concept like color number shape and shade you have to make so it's three. Oh, cool maybe cause an issue you didn't cause an issue naga you inspired a conversation we stand together the army of the light oh, it's beautiful. Ready. It is gorgeous. I'm really enjoying it. Got so good at nobody ever play. It was obvious when I saw sets and wasn't taking them to make the game more even. Aww. Oh, I'm still earning coins apparently. You're earning them. Maybe everyone else is too. That's so super odd. The light prevails. <clears throat> they have not yet had a chance to Maybe me assigning some manually has like kick-started it to start, like, doing them properly. There's Barat. In darkest night, we still shine. I have a I also found another game for you. Frozen codes, as the name suggests. So that phrase is too much code. It's inclusive. Got the phrases from the clues. Oh, it's a cold nano. Honestly, I'm kind of like, I, I pulled up Heaven's Vault because I'm like, God, I, I've, I've wanted to play this game for such a long time and I have it. I'm just going to do this while I'm sick, right? And I'm kind of, this is, it's the streamer's I fucking difficulty. Is that I'm, now I'm like, I should have played this on stream. Because it's so good. And sharing it with you guys would be awesome. But I know my numbers would drop if I streamed it. And I know it'd take weeks to get done. And I know it wouldn't be super chat involved. And like, do, and y you know, like, but it's all, like, so now I have this, this stream, uh, Steam library of like 400 plus games and I'm afraid to play any of them because what if it's super good and I wish I had streamed it? So yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit shit. Um, and I don't always have the ability to sit down and record every game I'm playing and stuff. Like it's just, it's not, yeah, so. Yeah, I'm kind of. I'm gonna have to just get over that. <laughs> Telemon must be nearby. I'm a WoW streamer. If I want to play other games, I've got to do it off stream when I'm sick, apparently, because I don't have time otherwise. Uh, 
what am I doing? Okay, um, where do we live? Things are going well for you. Uh, yeah, they're, they're traveling. They're going. We're getting there. How are you, Orion? I hope you're doing well. Please let us over I think my green sword never the full set. Yay! Pros and codes. Right, okay, sorry. I totally missed that. That's entirely my bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, wait a second. Um. Is it on Steam? There, yeah, yeah, okay. And there's a free to- ah, oh, Okay. There's a demo. Ah, uh, add wish list. Perfect. Done. The only thing I've seen has I got. Excursions, keep things. So great, full of puzzles. How many remember what you've already been told? Working these out. Oh, that's awesome, Kim. I'm so happy to hear that. That's wonderful news. How did you transfer with the cool swords? I got the Tazabesh one super early when I saw the new ones. I was super hyped for the new colors. This is it. Right. Hey, X. What's up? I've right, been busy with school my last semester. Oh, congrats. You're almost there. Such an awesome journey. Look at that. I'm gonna go immediately head for map crafting or go for more esoteric treasure gathering. I mean, don't you have to get some of the schematics to be able to craft the mounts? And some of them come from treasures? Well, Another hydrate! Forgive me, my son. Fine. Are you hurt? I am unharmed. Your arrival is timely. We must find you can't the get first the of knowledge before yeah. Talgath takes yeah. it beyond our So you got to do the research, but then you've got to farm so stuff rather than... Here. And that is crafting, technically. I was afraid of this. Technically. We must the light welcomes you to region. <sighs> Will you join us? We stand together. I'm at 77% of the way to the crest. through the Argus campaign, by the way. Very it's soon I'll be able to actually go in the goddamn dungeon I'm supposed to be going in. Through. Very soon. Crushing Goodwick team. Thank you, X. Mm, I can't. You should be able to get enough to unlock both, though. Are you all safe with the flooding? Yes. At, at, as it stands at the moment, Gita, I, I'm safe. Um, uh, basement parking lot in the garage in the garage in the apartment building is flooded uh, the lifts have been manually turned off they haven't broken they're just they've been manually turned off to prevent them from being damaged um, and all our grocery stores in the area closed super early to allow their staff to get home safe so we weren't able to get any food um, we have we have enough like tonight and tomorrow um, and probably we could stretch it for another day or two I reckon um, but we're just, we're hoping that they'll be open for at least a short while tomorrow, just to allow us to get some emergency stuff. Um, but we should, like, we'll be fine. Uh, Dano, Koala, V, Ali, Puma, Draz, Thor, and Zam, congratulations on your bonus shit. Well done. Hop, we in to the next one. Um, but yeah, the, the water, the, what, hang on. I haven't checked the Brisbane warnings again since a few hours ago. Where's the... Oh. They... Oh, Brisbane River. There we go. Okay, so... Uh, Brisbane River in Brisbane City is currently at 3.17 metres with moderate flooding and rising with the tide. Um... Uh, may reach 3.2 meters with the high tide during Sunday evening, uh, and they're expecting major flood levels are expected with the high tide on Monday morning. River levels may reach 3.7 meters, and they're not expected to drop below moderate until uh, during Monday, and will remain high for at least the next few days. Um, so it's yeah, it's at 3.17 and rising still, and that was at 6.06 p.m., so 45 minutes-ish ago. Um, that's a lot higher than it was last time I checked. Uh, last I checked, at 2, 2 p.m., it was at 
2.65 or 6.7 or something like that. So it's gone up a fair bit over those four hours. Um, but as far as I'm aware, we're still all good. Um, our building management's been really good at keeping an eye on everything and sending out, like, you know, this is what we're doing with the building. This is what we're doing with this. Um, we've moved Jas's car out of the basement. Um, they got an email this morning saying that there was some water in the car park and he went down there and it was up to his ankles. So I'm like, I'm moving the car. So he moved the car. Um, so that's the car is at high ground. Um, <laughs> So we're all good there, but yeah, it's just, um, this is my first Brisbane flood that I've, like, I've lived here when we've had some heavy rain and, like, up north has had some flooding and stuff like that, but never when it's been here, like, where I'm living. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous, but I'm just sort of, this is what it is, and we're just gonna keep an eye on it, and we're gonna do what needs to be done as it needs to be done. Um, and just, you know, respect it for, for the serious, um, thing that it is, uh, but also not get too panicky. <laughs> yeah, 3.7 tomorrow, Jas, is what they're reckoning. It's 3.17 currently, but they reckon it's going to probably hit somewhere. It, it may hit 3.7 tomorrow. So, yeah, we're, uh, <sighs> yep. But you get, if if we have like I'm not just gonna not rock up. Um, I've got a bunch of actually. Jas, do you want to go grab the power banks out of the? Um, I think they're in the storage cage, in the box, in in the tech box. Um, you might want to grab those out so we can charge them all up tonight, just in case we have some issues. I've got one here somewhere that's like half charged. Um, but we might just just so that we have phone stuff so that we can get in contact with you know our parents and stuff like that but also letting stream know if we've got no power that there's not going to be a stream um so that people don't worry because i know that so like not all of you give a shit and that's totally okay you're you're not under no obligation to care <laughs> like none at all um but if you do i want to make sure that you don't worry unnecessarily ah <clears throat> oh, go find rose and treasures yeah yeah, Argus campaign, three or four, one more type. Yeah, only one more after this. This is, so I've done cloth and mail. This is plate. I'll still have leather to do. Um, yeah. Same here, just waiting to see what happens. Friends in Brisbane who have gone under. Yeah, we're, uh, we're safe at the moment. Um, we've got the, like, the river is very, very close to us. Don't get me wrong. It's very, very close to us. But we've got a cut, like, we've got enough of an incline between us and the riverbank. Um, that it's taking a fair bit for it to actually get to us. Um, but we do have a bit of dip, of a, a bit of a dip in the road. So, like, if it makes it over the two crests of hill and then gets like, wait, yeah, it's gonna be a time. <laughs> it's gonna be a time. But given that the top of our street is on a hill, like it's on an actual hill. Um, we're probably like even if so Jas was telling me that with the with the 2011 floods the 2011 flood level got to the back end of our building like it would have touched it would have been lapping against the the wall of our building that's closest to the river that's how far it got so it's going to have to get worse than the 2011 floods for it to prevent me from leaving my home does that make, yeah. So I'm pretty sure that we're gonna be safe, but we are still filling up some jugs of water and we're still gonna charge the battery packs and we're still gonna keep an eye on bomb and we're gonna still listen to the flood warnings that, you know, we're, we're gonna be responsible adults, uh, but we're also gonna try to take some deep breaths. Okay, it's the hydrate. I know you care, cause you care so much about my hydration. We need not I'm flattered. Alone. It's wonderful. I offer you one Sounds like chance. you're in a good position. I think and I think we are. Down. I'm I'm pretty thankful. Still um, but I've not lived through a risen flood before. I've not li like I've not lived up here during flooding like this, so I'm I'm scared. I'm not gonna lie. I'm scared. Uh, but and I'm like. What do we do? How do we prepare? What do we do? We need a full drugs of water. How many drugs have we got? 12? Let's fill all of them with water. Do we have more? Can I get jars? What if what if the jar is this big? Is it worth filling it with water? Like, I'm 
I definitely have the anxiety voice kind of <laughs> going in my head. But then there's Jas, who's like, Fear, it's okay. You don't drink 12 liters of water in a day. We're going to be fine. <laughs> so yeah, it's, you know. I'm learning. I'm learning how to how to deal with this. Keep an eye on bomb. Ah, oh, B O M, Bureau of Meteorology. Uh, in Queensland, it's just referred to as bomb because it's the Bureau of Meteorology, and it's the website is literally bomb.gov.au, B O M.gov.au. So yeah, yeah. No, it's um. Yeah. yeah. Uh, fair. What they really don't need right now is more water. Yeah, look. We, we need drinkable water, potable water, not muddy water from the goddamn Brisbane River. You don't want to drink that water. <laughs> you don't want to drink that water. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a few rivers, flooding happens a lot, anxiety isn't helpful whatsoever, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is my first time, so I'm just kind of learning what I can do, what I should do, and what I should probably wait to do, and yeah. I'm just really, really frustrated that we didn't go to get food earlier in the day, because then we would have been able to get it, because the grocery stores shut early to send their staff home, rightfully so, and I'm thankful that they did that. But if we had gone one fucking hour earlier, we'd have food. But it's fine. It's whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Makes more sense? Good, I'm glad. I'm glad. Um, do you want to know what the bacteria in that water is? This isn't it. Yeah, look, look. I need I need clean water to be able to take my um my antibiotics. I've identified a safe extraction point northwest of your current location. There is a teleporter mm. inbound. Come, I dare not tarry here. What are we at? Eighty percent. God, we're almost there, you guys. It's only taken fucking three hours. No, less than three hours because we had the two runs of Barrett and Hold first. But still, this is shit. Where are we going? Return to the Vindicar. <clears throat> Two hours worth of questing for seven pieces of transmog. It's fine. Everything is fine. Oh, there's an airlift KFC option. I don't think so. I don't think so. We still we still have access. It's um. I the only hesitation is that we'd have to walk a handful of blocks to get to the car and then walk the handful of blocks home with the food as well to like you know um by the sun well that's okay Down there. hey Val we're just saying safe we are we are we're safe um basement's flooded no parking Jas has moved his car no lifts they're out uh, and the water is rising, um, but no, we're fine. As as it stands right now, we're totally fine. Thank you for the resub and thank you for your concern, Bell. I hope that you and Mel are doing okay as well. This is this is not a fun time. I think this is probably Mel's first flood as well, right? Because I've never lived through a Brisbane flood before, so I'm terrified. But like restrainedly terrified, like I'm dealing with it. I hope Mel's going okay too. Yeah, where's the chicken at the store? Are oh, you trying to complete certain transmog sets? No, um, so what I'm trying to do is get transmog from dungeons and raids. I know it doesn't look like that, but I have a spreadsheet. If you type in exclamation AT dart, A-T-D-A-R-T, which stands for all the dungeon and raid things. Yeah, uh, you get a spreadsheet that I built. Um, and that spreadsheet has a couple cells down the bottom left that Jack was kind enough to program for me that tells me what my lowest percentage completion is out of the whole spreadsheet, everything from classic through to and including Legion. No BFA or Shadowlands because I can't really solo them too easily yet. Um, but it tells me what my what the lowest completion score out of all of that is what it is, like which dungeon or raid, and what class it's on. So like which name. So Repressly is, is a DK, for example. Um, and so the lowest one was DK, Seat of the Triumvirate. And I was like, okay. And then I opened it up and it's because I don't have the ensemble, which makes seven out of the things that I'm missing. And so there's there's four different ensembles from seat, cloth, leather, mail, plate. I've got cloth and mail. I'm working on plate now. So it once I've done this, you know, but it you get it from a short quest chain that starts from an item that drops in the dungeon. 
but it can't drop from the dungeon unless you've completed the Argus campaign. It's just, it's a pain in the butt. So that's what I'm doing. I'm completing the Argus campaign so I can do the dungeon and get the dungeon drop, so I can do the quest chain, so I can get that ensemble. It's just a nightmare. <laughs> but I only have to do it four times, and this is number three out of four. So I'm, I'm going okay. I'm going okay. I know it's a, it's a cluster, but um, we're fine. We're fine. Once it's done, it's done. I said my second one for Trevor and the it's not looking good. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, be safe. Be safe. <sighs> yeah, it's looking like Jazz is not going to be able to work this week either. So that's, uh. Uh, the insult to injury. But that's okay. We will do what we can do and just get there. Get there. <clears throat> uh, it's a team of ensemble your ultimate goal, if you don't mind me asking. Uh, this particular one is called Ensemble Venerated Triumvirate Battle Plate. Um, but that's one of the four of them. Um, it's only going to show me that one because I'm on my DK. Yeah, so it's the Ensemble uh, Venerated Triumvirate Battle Plate. I found a survivor. Come to me. I'm looking forward to crossing it off though, because that'll that'll bump up the percentage completion for all my plate wearers, like not just the D. You know what I mean? So it's um. It is a good thing. It just hurts trying to get it done. <laughs> Use every weapon at your disposal. Come on out. We mean you no harm. A voice. Archon has never heard this one before. We found your messages. <clears throat> yes, Archon did call. He was not expecting. We're definitely getting there though. We're getting really close to the actual dungeon itself physically on the outside. Which means we're probably getting close to heading into the dungeon as part of the quest chain. We're at 85% completion for the entire campaign. And I'm pretty sure the quest I'm looking for, it's not the very end of the campaign, but it's pretty bloody close to it. So, and I think when we started we were on like 4 or 5% completion. So we've done a lot today. Done a lot. Hey Jas, are you getting hungry at all? You ask to be class specific instead of archetype. You are not bloody wrong, Kaz. You are not wrong. And I'm experiencing that on um like when I go and do molten core and, and stuff like that back in vanilla, everything was class based. No tokens that could work for three classes or four classes. It's just, nah, screw you. Have all of these priest drops on your warlock and have all these warlock drops on your warrior and have all these warrior drops on your mage. It's like, fuck. Oh, it sucks. Those are probably going to be some of the last ones that I complete, honestly. But we'll see. We'll get there. We will get there. If anything. Got back from putting the food in the- Ah, oh, as in in the- Cool, thank you, uh, Jas. Oh, yes? Can you tell us what happened you to your people? Archon knows. I appreciate yes. that. That's awesome. Oh no. I have to follow. Am I? Go back here. Paladin drops on your hunter. All these hunter drops on your paladin. Exactly, it's like- And it'd be, I mean, it'd be kind of cool to be able to take like a 12 man group through the content, one of every class, so that nothing that drops is wasted. But like, then when a, you know, when a back piece drops. <laughs> yep. Broke it. Archon listens. This way, Archon has a plan. Could you elaborate? Even a little. <clears throat> 
Perhaps with some idea of what you hope to achieve. We will stop the whispers. Pointy ears should know. I must confess, Archon, that does not put me at ease. Look, the way is closed. How will we go to Isalon now? Oh, these creatures. My people. Once. How is it you do not share their fate? Archon forgets. Wait. And then you got all the bop trash drops. We still hear their prayers. They're fun too. Rest hey prayers. Nav, welcome back. Rest. How you doing? At least their suffering is over. Zone drops. Yeah, zone drops can just like go away. Or they can drop and then go Quiet. away. Quiet. <laughs> BOE ones are fine, because I can eventually just buy them from the AH. But bop stuff that doesn't that is a singular is a appearance, Where no shared appearance. They want God, they hurt me. They hurt my heart. He Feeling better today? Them. Miles better. I'm not super awesome, as you can probably tell, but I am I am miles better than I was yesterday. I couldn't speak yesterday. I had to have a phone consult with a doctor, and Jazz had to do most of the talking because I just could it hurt so much. It felt like I had a razor blade or five lodged in my throat. Um, but I'm on antibiotics now. Um, which is good, and they're obviously working. I've taken three doses, and I'm feeling miles better. I'm really, really run down. Like, I'm exhausted. Basically, my body's just like, oh, damage? We're going to use all of our energy to heal that damage. What? You need to do other stuff? Nah, we're just going to heal. Like, thank you for healing me, but seriously. He crossed over. Into the void. You know, I'd be fine with the old gear we being glass specific be as long as it was BOA, that'd be awesome. BOA, like old raid drops, would be phenomenal. Even if you can't use them, even if it's like a cosmetic replacement of the of the item, that'd be awesome. Like, super great. Uh, do you know what it was? Uh, a bacterial infection of some kind. We're not, we're not like, sure exactly what it is, um, but we're not at the, like, it's just, it's too expensive to like, take a swab and send it off to like culture it and figure out what it is Thank when you. I can just take a broad spectrum antibiotic and it's probably going to work. Um, but yeah, bacterial infection, basically. Um, yeah. But the void. So you've had a nasty infection? I have. I have. Um, I am more susceptible to bacterial infections because of my autoimmune condition. Like bacterial ones in particular. Last time I got food poisoning, I ended up in hospital. So I'm just really thankful that this just got, like, to the point of no voice. Um, it could have been a lot worse. Like, a lot, a lot worse. Um, two, two attempts. No pond nettle. Oh, Zam, you'll get there. You'll get there. Some mum voice. No more 12-hour streams. No, none for a while. I couldn't do it yesterday. I had to cancel yesterday. Um, because I couldn't talk. Uh, so we're going to do it next week instead. Um, the celebration, the six year celebration anniversary stream. Um, but it's likely going to be a chill stream, but a long one. Does that make sense? Not like, not super duper freaking hype, but like, wait, yeah. Lots of giveaways though. Lots of giveaways. So you guys can be hype and I'll just kind of be calm. But okay. Aw, thank you, Lander. No other stuff, only heal. Exactly. Exactly. It's like, you asked it. Why? I have to do other things. I have something I want to show you, but we mustn't be seen. Follow. Explain yourself first. <laughs> I'm Such ready to be invaded bacteria. I can only imagine, um, like, I don't know how my body, like, actually stomach. feels about it all and stuff, but it, it sucks, and it just, it gets real bad real quick, is the other thing. Like, um, I had, so I think, I'm pretty sure it started off, it might have started off as a cold sore, it might have just been a split in the, like, the angular chelitis we were talking about, but then it got infected, right? Um, so it got a whole lot bigger and it got really crusty and then it started spread spreading across like the little, you know, the, the juicy bit of your lip, the wet part of your lip, the mucous membrane. 
Um, so when I would wake up in the morning, my lips would be sealed together because overnight the wound had weeped and then it had dried and got crusty and the crusty had like attached to both of my lips. Um, and then a day after that, my throat started getting sore. And then the day after that, I couldn't swallow. No, like I, I couldn't swallow. Um, so yeah, it just, it was, oh, it was horrid. But, um, yeah, it's, it's getting under control now. Um, the, the, the infection on the corner of my mouth hasn't, it hasn't shrunk. Um, as far as I can tell, it's about the same size that it has been, but it is a hell of a lot less red and it's a lot less angry. Uh, it's not getting crusty anymore. Like there's a, there's a scab because it's an open wound, but it's not like yellow and, and obviously infected, if that makes sense. My lips are totally fine again. Like my lips are 100% okay uh, now. And um, my throat's getting a lot better. It's obviously still not quite there. I still feel a little gravelly or whatever, um, sound a little gravelly, but it, I can, I can take my pills. I can swallow a mouthful of water. I, I can eat food. I um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing a hell of a lot better than I was. A hell of a lot. Attachments. Um, did you open the box? Was it like, I haven't opened the box yet. No, cause I haven't seen what Ali. I saw, I saw Ali in the, the bonus shit. Um, but. I'm not sure if they're actually like here or if they're just doing that like while AFK or something. So yeah, but I've got the box here, um, ready to go. And if if Ali hasn't had a chance to pop up in chat before the end of stream, I might just crack it open then anyway because I I'm impatient. Um, uh, I must be missing something during you said you can't Oh, I, yeah, sick. I was sick. Oh, I am still sick. But yesterday I was really really bad. Um, to the point where yeah, I couldn't even take pills. I couldn't swallow cold water to try to soothe my throat. It just, I couldn't, it, it hurt too much. Um, so I'm doing a lot better, like a lot, 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 lot better now, but I'm still not totally great. <laughs> but yeah, um, feeling like you're swallowing razor blades is a terrible feeling. A terrible thing. Ah, look at that. Someone catch <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 don't, don't apologize, Ali. No need to apologize at all. I just didn't want to, like, firstly, if you were lurking, I didn't want to, like, call you out. And because it's not, you know, we don't do that. We don't do that. And um, I didn't want you to miss out on the unboxing. So I was, yeah, I was just patiently waiting. No need to apologize at all. Yeah, really, yeah, really bad bacterial infection. So I'm on antibiotics now and they seem to definitely be working. So that's good. A lot of Pokeballs. I might have some some Ultra Balls around here somewhere. Much excited. Thank you for waiting. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. So for those of you who missed it, um, I had a delivery to my pure box. Um, and I've blanked out any identifying information. I haven't blanked out my pure box number because I don't think I care about that, but excuse me, there was a phone number that I assume was yours. I've blocked that out and I've also like crossed out any QR codes and, and barcodes and stuff like that. Um, but it's a large box, um, like, like, large, um, but it has, like, there's, there's, sh there's movement inside. So I think it's a smaller box inside, but they just couldn't fit it in a smaller box. I'm just not too sure. So, here we go. And we've had some, we had a discussion, and we think maybe it's, oh, Toys R Us is like a toy store in Australia. I'm not sure if it is elsewhere, I can't remember, so. Uh, it's kind of like a department store that's all toys, uh, but lots of different types of toys, so it could be anything, really. It's Lego. It's Lego. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is so, so beautiful, holy cow. It's adult Lego. Not like adult, as in like 18 plus, but like, but like, look at this beautiful thing. Look, look at this beautiful thing. The 878. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And it, oh, fuck. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is freaking gorgeous. This is beautiful. 
Thank you so much, Ali. Thank you so much. This is gorgeous. Yeah, so it has, you can change it from like cherry blossoms to, to greenery. And it ends up being 20 centimeters wide and 18 centimeters tall. That's 7.5 inches by 7 inches. This is freaking gorgeous. Hold up. Oh my god. I'm not sure if you can be able to see this, but like... Okay, focus on that. Do you see what the little pink things are made out of? Yep, little froggos. They're, they're little froggos. Little tiny baby froggos. I have to put up a poll. Hang on a second. I have to go back to this, but I have to... Um, The answer is yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I now owns an army of mini frogs. I do, I do. So glad you love it. I, I adore it, Ali. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's, that's, that's art, literally. Soft toy ultra wall on my desk. I love that, Nutty. Unboxing, yes. So you always clip the opening center in a DM just in case. I could, I could, but like, it's so much more fun when the person's there. I know, like live streaming. I know how it works. I sure you won't resist the antibiotic you gave him. Yeah, me too. Me too. Um, but yeah, the the doctor I spoke to was like, you know, you should start to see a change after a couple of days, and if you don't, give us a call back, and um, we'll, we'll see what we got what we got going. But yeah, I um, I don't tend to get too many bacterial infections. A lot of my a lot of the issues I have with problems with my body and stuff is just my body attacking itself. I don't tend to get infections too often, which is good. Uh, so yeah, whatever I manage to pick up um, is responding to the antibiotics, which is great. It's the frog tree, yes. It's so awesome. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. I come. Is my desk going for me? Oh, no way. Such an amazing build. Oh, that's so good. So good. How much is it? Um, I don't know. There's no price on here. Um, but it's 878 pieces, uh, and the kit, the kit number is 10281, in case anyone wants to look it up. <clears throat> I love those Lego plants. I have not seen them before, I have to say. I've not seen it before, but that is freaking gorgeous. And it, I can't kill it because I don't have to water it, so it's phenomenal. It's the frogs, it does have the frogs. Changes the seasons or can be changed, yeah. Yep, exactly. Be a 12 hour stream to build that, really? Really? Because it's so, but it's so many fewer pieces than Grogu was. Because Grogu's estimated build time was two and a half hours, and it took us five and a half because I kept getting distracted by chat. What's the estimated build time on this one? Beautiful collection. Frogs and flowers. Yep. Yep, so you can fear now in a minute. Yep. So glad you love it. I do. I really do. Whatever the question is, we're all saying yes. I've seen once I trail over Tumblr TikTok for a while because of the frogs. They are super cute. They are super adorable. Very much yes. Uh, I have the Bird of Paradise one as well. They're just the best plants. Oh, amazing! Frogs be going to transform into Rex Joy. Ah, oh, they're super used about to mention though. Story goes, Lego didn't want to make any new molds of botanical garden builds. So they repurposed existing parts. Also, the green parts are made from plants. Yeah, it says it's got like a little logo on here where it has like a little green, like a leaf thing next to it. So, I mean, they're, I guess they're like a plant based plastic, which I am here for. Uses as much as it can. Yeah, I, they've got hundreds of thousands of individual pieces at this point. I would imagine they'd try to reuse as much as they could. I would. 
so 800 thought it was massive. Oh, no, it's it's like a little, it's like this sort of size. Smaller, smaller than Grogu in both number of pieces and in physical size as well. Doesn't mean it'd take me two hours. But if the if I can get an idea of what the um what the estimated build time is, then I can extrapolate from there what I think it might take me on stream. Do you think they were trying to reduce their environment impact with these builds? Yeah, well, I mean it makes sense. They're literal plants. It's a good time for them to do it. <clears throat> so the other one in beautiful stuff. Thank you, Ellie. Greetings. We're re-killing plants of a high success rate for killing gifted plants. Can't do that with Lego. No, you can't. I represent Well Wind Runner. What say? Move to Discord. What is this battle I'm seeing? Oh, this isn't Discord. This is um this is Stream Raiders. It's like a side game that we switch over to every roughly half an hour. Um, when we have when this battle finishes, I'll start up a new battle and stream Captain Bot will drop a link in chat. You can follow that link. You can log in with your Twitch credentials, so your Twitch username and password, like log in with your Twitch account. And then it'll take you through to my battlefield. There are hundreds of, if not thousands of captains out there, but it'll, if you use my link, it'll take you through to my battlefield. And then you have some units that you can use for the battle and you can drag them and drop them onto the battlefield wherever you want to place them. And you can do that every five minutes. And then at the end of the 30 minute placement period, so you can place up to a maximum of six, it does that. I press a button and it, sorry, it does that. Um, it goes through and, and the battle plays out. And yeah, and we'll get things like scrolls and coins. So these are scrolls for different units to help level them up. You also get gold, which you can use to, again, level up your units so they do more damage and they're more powerful, they last longer, all that kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, it's just a cute little fun thing. Uh, and there are skins that you can purchase that will support your favorite streamers if they're, obviously, if they play Stream Raider. So I've got, you can see up the top there, um, in the top corner there next to where it has my profile and then Fiamma, there's a selection of the skins that I have. Um, and if you purchase them in-game, I get a 50% share, revenue share. Uh, so it helps me pay currently, usually I'd say like for my bills and food and blah, 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 blah. But at the moment, all of my Twitch income and my affiliate program incomes and stuff like that, all of that's going towards my dentistry because I have $23,000 worth of dentistry to have done for medical. Like it's not cosmetic, it's all medical purposes. Uh, my next stop is surgery in, no, it's not, that's a lie. Uh, Mid-March, I have an orthodontist appointment to finish off a complex root canal. That I had like I've had the first step of it done they have to go back in and take out the temporary stuff and put the permanent stuff in uh, and then I have a surgery uh, about a in pretty much exactly a week later to put an implant in my bottom jaw uh, I had a tooth taken out and a bone graft put in and I'm now I'm getting an implant and then I go back to my regular dentist to get grounds and stuff put on everything which would be great fun uh, but yeah so that's what all the all that all those funds are, are going towards at the moment but uh, fairy seeker koala t7 Dan, Ali, and Zam, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Uh, and on to the next map. <clears throat> going the fifth trial. We're going to go top level because there's still, I think I actually need, yeah, I need one of the skins still. So we're going to head up there. I know you guys probably do too. Um. Uh. In the long run, yeah, absolutely. 90 AUD from Big W. Wow, there you go. There you go. Estimated build time is two hours, so it'll take about five hours. Four to five for us. Well, for me, I should say. Yeah, perfect. Sounds like a plan. That's okay. And then we can do some, some transmog farming or something afterwards. Um, so I just thought it was massive. Very true. I think was trying to reduce beautiful stuff. Two hours is a fair amount of time. Absolutely. Lego does a Super Nintendo with Mario, it's so cool! Oh my god, that's amazing. Amazing. Mario even. It's like a change, my bad. Uh, no, no, it is. It's just because we were still in a battle. That's the message it posts when it ha when I haven't chosen a new battle. If you do it again now, it'll it'll print um, the right thing. It's a, it's a contextual message, depending on where the battle's at. Um, yeah. It's kind of cool, hey? Fancy bot. Notable retro TV. It's a situation with Xerath Mortis, by the way. Situation? What do you mean? I've done everything that can be done at the moment. Like, I've done all the storyline that I can do. Uh, and I'll do the same thing on Wednesday. Um, it can be more if you don't follow the instructions correctly, of course. And having a disagreement with the dirt, which took some time to fix. 
yeah, I um, it'll probably take me a fair bit longer just because of chat and stream readers and all that kind of stuff. Um, but that's okay. It's fun. More fun? More time having fun? Oh no, how horrible. What about root canals? Yeah. Yeah, I've had, um... The, the tooth I got pulled out, um, I had to, it was a failed root canal. It failed like five times, four or five times I think it was. Uh, and so in the end there wasn't enough natural tooth left for them to do another root canal, so they pulled it out. And um, I'm getting an implant. The top one's failed. I think this is the first time it's failed, I think. Um, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna fix that one up and pop a crown on that. Mmm, don't miss my orthodontics. Eight years voluntarily had jaw broken plates inserted. Oof, youch. Yeah, I'm I'm really lucky in that although my teeth themselves are pretty terrible in terms of like alignment and stuff, they've been pretty good. Uh, but this the top tooth that I have to get done um, with a crown on. The crown's not going to fit because when the root canal failed, part of the tooth broke off, and the tooth next door shifted into the gap. Because, you know, screw me. Um, so, I have to get dental alignment, so, you know, think Invisalign. I have to get that done. So that's four grand. Yes, oh my god. 93% of the vote was yes, oh my god. Good. Brilliant. Alright. Noted. Um, so yeah, I have to get something like that to, to move the tooth out of the way so that they can get the crown on. And because with those kind of treatments, you have to do the full set of both trays, you can't just get Invisalign for one tooth, it doesn't work like that. Um, because they have to do the full set, there are a couple of little imperfections. Just a couple of little imperfections that, you know, where, where teeth are, instead of perfect like this, they're like that, maybe a little bit. Um, so we're going to fix those up as well, because we might as well worry in there. It doesn't cost any extra. Not going to make it take any longer. So we're going to do that. Um, all right, here we go. Seat of the Triumvirate, Crest of Knowledge. Here we go. 95%. This is this is the quest I needed, so we're actually going to do the dungeon now. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we're going to fix up all those tiny little, teeny tiny, unnoticeable wonky bits. Uh, and you can also put whitening gel in the trays. So at least after twenty-three thousand dollars worth of medically necessary work, for free, I will also like no at no additional cost, I will also have um perfectly perfectly straight teeth and uh, white teeth, which I like to refer to as an influencer smile. So look where. It's gonna, it's gonna be a thing, but it's gonna be worth it. Uh, so for a while. Hello, Yelth! Welcome back! Welcome back. Actually, so happy with the end. Me too! I'm really enjoying it. Her chapter 4 won't come out until Something reset after next. His raid comes out next reset, maybe. It down uh, and I don't think it did. I thought it came out, like, I thought raid was two weeks away. Ah, uh, my bad. I have not really been paying attention to much of it, to be honest. Um. A bunch of optional stuff. Yeah, I'd like you know, I was just going to turn a bonsai Lego tree video come up. How do they know? It's terrifying. Best one. Oh, fear. Yeah, chapter four isn't next reset. Oh, okay. Well, whenever. Yeah, whenever it is. Um, well, boss on reset and season three stuff. Cool. Problem drawer is forward. Would have had to have my jaw broken and moved back into place. Ran out of that room as fast as possible. Yeah, that sounds terrifying. Good lord. Uh, next reset for normal and heroic until Anduin. Oh, okay, cool. Interesting. Fun times. <clears throat> right, so from what I recall, I need to clear this killing as little trash as possible. And then backtrack. Once I've done the, the quest, I can go back in and start killing trash and the, it should drop pretty quickly. The, the quest item, that is. Mm, careful with spoilers. Yeah. Just, yeah, do do be careful with spoilers, but, um... Cool. Uh, enjoy your luck, Ali, and thank you so much again for the birthday present. So generous of you. 
so kind. And hey, free content for fear. Because apparently I absolutely have to stream the build of that, so there you go. Noted. Oh, no, all good then. All good. one of the things I needed. So it's now 14 out of 34. Champions, over here. I think in order to Follow save engine, I think you need some come help out. Yeah, let's um let's not discuss that any further. We'll stop that conversation there. Thanks all. The Shadow Guard is building up its presence. Like I figured Andon was gonna be in the raid, but I don't know anything beyond that. It's so we're just gonna we're gonna stop like all. right also, there. Their commander here has um that's right, you mean you put Lego be... shell on your throne list. <laughs> Look, I mean I am enjoying Lego. If I had to do a new build of Lego every month, because people kept sending them to, them to me, like I would not be upset with that. That is just freak that is a work of art. That is freaking gorgeous. Like, good lord. Like, Grogu is adorable. That is art. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, we're good. We're fine. Everything is good. I can smell nugs, and I'm very hungry. This is great. This is wonderful news. Should be sitting the Titanic, but, oh. And mm. stop to their efforts. There is a feature that has been heavily requested on Throne. Heavily requested on Throne. And that is not purchasing a gift outright, but contributing towards it just as a heads up. So, um, yeah. And I have voted for that because I think it would be fantastic for people to be able to chip in towards that kind of thing. Um, so there's, there's that. It's kind of like, think a donation goal on stream. Like I want a new desk. And so putting up a donation goal for that and people can chip in towards it, except it's literally on there and you chip in towards it and then it just gets shipped and sent on set whenever you, you know what I mean? No accidentally spending the money on groceries. So yeah, that is uh, that is a feature that has been requested. Um, and I'm keeping a close eye on that one because I think it'd be fantastic. Oh, hello. Is it food time? Food. Yay for food. Thank you so much. I appreciate it muchly. Do you see? Yeah, you got a tree. I did get a tree. It's a pretty tree. And look, they're froggos. They're so cute. They're so cute. Oh, I'm in combat. Thank you very much for dinner. I'd be like, oh no, Leo to do, woe is me. <laughs> yeah, basically. Thank you, Giant. I'd love that feature. Me too, right? Contributing towards a gift is infinitely better, I feel. It means you also don't feel weird about putting figure things. Yeah, it's, I mean, look, I'm not, I've got bigger things on there, but they're not there because I want people to buy them for me. They're there because, like, I've, there's a fucking iPhone on there, right? It's not because I want someone to buy it for me. It's because I kept doing the re every time I'm like, I could use a phone upgrade after my dentistry. And I'd do the research and figure out which model I wanted, like what size and color and all that kind of stuff. And then I'd fucking forget. So I put it on there so I would remind myself. Same thing with the Fitbit. And then Zarin goes and buys it for me which I'm very appreciative of, but also, oh my God, how dare. <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy. I'm really, I'm salty that I haven't been able to use it properly because I've been so sick, but I am, oh, I'm so excited. Like, yeah, so yeah, it, it like having that contribution, contribution style thing, I think would be really, really useful. And I think Throne would see themselves getting a lot more use out of, uh, like get, you have, Throne would see their platform getting a lot more use because like, you know, not, not everyone has 30 or 40 bucks to spend. And if they've got five and they want to contribute, they'll buy a sub or they'll, if they've got an extra five bucks, they'll donate. But if they had that extra five bucks and they could contribute towards a gift, they'd probably go through Throne. 
like, I mean, not everyone, obviously people have different ways that they want to support streamers and that's totally okay. But do you know what I mean? So like, yeah, it, I, I feel like they'd see themselves turning a lot more of a profit if they enabled that. But there's also, I'm sure it's got to be done mechanically from the other end, like figuring out how to have that money come into their account and be there for that gift. And maybe that gift won't be paid off for a year or two. How do they manage that? For, do you know what I mean? Like how do they manage that on their end business-wise financially? So I get it. It's not going to be an easy thing to do, but um, it would be great if they could. It'd be good. Ah, oh, such a smart feature. Maze is not a thing. Yeah, I, I imagine, like, they are a very new platform. I'm not, like, I'm sure that you guys have seen that they've changed dramatically from the from your end a couple times, just over the time that I've had it. Like, visually, things have shifted around and they've implemented a few things. I have a feeling that they are a very new platform because there are some things that happen super quick and other things that take a long time. To, to happen and that there are quite a few buggy bits on from my end and I'm obviously doing what I usually do and I'm, I'm telling them every time there's a bug I'm reporting it opening tickets and all that kind of stuff uh, because I want them to be like I want them to improve I, I think they've got a fantastic uh, business idea here and I would love to see it thrive and succeed and all that kind of stuff but and I'd love to see them expand into things like Uber Eats you know buy your buy your favorite streamer a meal or dinner on stream or something like that but it's um kind of yeah it's it's the obviously the easiest way to do that at this point is to send a uh, like an uber eats gift card or something to to a streamer that you uh particularly enjoy but um it, it would be really cool for them to be able to expand their offering but i think there are a few kinks that they need to sort out before they can go ballistic with the expansion um, they all spend a thon so for like, each person for five dollars. If we could buy these things, yeah, exactly, exactly. I can't activate donations. There's some things I'm trying to buy. It take infinitely longer to purchase. So I gotta wait for paychecks each month. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, is there a refund for everyone if the goal is met? Currently, there is a refund if if there is an issue with the purchase and you can't get it for whatever reason. Um, then you can refund the person who has purchased it. Um, maybe having a goal with a deadline, that might be a good idea, Nab. Like if, if the, if, you know, this is a, a gift and it has to be reached by X date, or maybe they have a limit, it has to be X number of months after the first donation towards it or something like that. Like the first person to chip in kicks off a timer and then that, you know, once that timer expires, if it hasn't been fulfilled, then everyone who contributed gets a refund or something. That might be good, but again, would require a ton of programming on their end. And that's that's where it's gonna be sticky, I think. Um, um, so sweet, Jas is amazing. He's super awesome. Our contributions in Throne would be cool, agreed. Agreed. Uh, maybe make it like the GoFundMe things. Yeah, but that's a whole separate business idea. So like, you know what I mean? They've got to figure out how to make that work for their business strategy, their business plan, and their their uh, infrastructure as well. Mr. Shazer and the not here for purchase message on throne. <laughs> to be clear, I very much appreciate it. I just feel kind of guilty sometimes. Screw issues would be my concern. Consuming, assuming they can figure that out. I agree. Like you'd be popular. Yeah, it's. But yeah, they've got to. We can want it as much as we like, but if it's not something they can legally do or not something that they can find space for in their business plan, then they're not going to do it. It's just, you know, it's like you can request that a streamer play your favorite game as much as you like. If it doesn't, if it's not going to suit their business strategy, their their stream plan, then they're not going to play it. Like, same thing, eh? Or if they can't afford the game, etc. If these are cards, we topped up, would be effective for them. Managing the back end does have overhead, obviously. It does, um, and there are a lot of, um, a lot of, retailers that may not take it especially if they like i don't know it, it could be it could be sticky it could be sticky uh, whereas just as wishless just doesn't have a wish list i mean if he wanted stuff i'm sure i could make a jazz category on my wish list but he'd have to be comfortable with that, of course. A fine hunt, heroes. 
Mm. Wait for it to cool down a little bit. Too hot, it's gonna burn my throat. <clears throat> my throat's feeling a lot better, but it's still not quite there. Just needs a wish list, please. Oh, it's up to him. It's up to him. He wants to add stuff to the wish list. He is more than welcome to do so, and I can put a, a jazz category on them. Um, but yeah, he he needs to consent to that. Which I'm sure you all understand. Cooking things. <laughs> That's hilarious. No, the darkness must be mine. I sense great despair emanating Echo from this bar. Nora. Yes, the Naru. We must get inside. Illyria, the skills you have learned can open the way. How do you set up the All the Things mod? Understood. Um, Champions, you just the install open, All the Things the and... We will be right behind you. There's options if you right click on, on the top thing. There's a whole lot of options and you just kind of click through and the tick the ones you want open. and untick the ones Hello, you don't. Heroes. And that's it. It doesn't take too long, just a whole bunch of checkboxes. Uh, hey Dunno, how are you feeling? How's ATT going? ATT's going okay. Um, I'm still feeling a little bit wobbly, but mostly pretty good. Um, how are you? How are you going today? Definitely a lot better than I was yesterday. I'm trying to Google other things that look like plants you can make. Aww. I wonder if like the Lego Australia page just has like uh, a whole um, Such what's chaos. it called catalog of everything that you can just kind of never flip through. Anything like it before. Improve going. Okay, thank you. Glad to hear it, Dano. Glad to hear it. That's a pretty plants that can't die. I'm not sure that they have. I think they've only got a couple of plants. Um, but mm. that would be super cool. This entity must die. of the portals, Illyria. It can become your weapon. Look out! She didn't even stay up so long. What? Oh my god, Shiba. <laughs> Why? Thank you. Oh my god. Good lord, you guys are just so unbelievably generous, and I'm so thankful for that. Like... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm feeling better. I'm, I'm on the mend, nurse. I'm definitely on the mend. I'm not, like, super duper done yet. Um, but I can speak, which is a lot better than yesterday. Um, and I'm on antibiotics, so, um, hopefully that'll kick the rest of the bacteria's butt for me and I'll be back to normal pretty soon. Great to hear it, good. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely getting there. <laughs> definitely getting there. You survived. Interesting. How do you feel? Mm. 
voices so are louder now, more insistent. So can I go back here and get the? Oh, I don't think I can yet. I think I have to half out and go do the rest of the quests, and then I can come back in on Mythic and grab the. Only one. I think I only got one as well. But I'm about to get the ensemble, so. Mm. Hey, Koma. The lucky chosen one. I wish you get a display shelf for stream one day. I would love to. I can't put shelves in the wall over the bed because um, rental. But you bet your butt one day I'm going to have a place that I have like a literally a stream room. I've actually thought about this. I want to get a stream room and I want to get, um, like I've got some shelving here, um, like in, in my apartment that I would love, I'd move that to the, to the stream room and have all the bits and pieces. But I also want to get, not a bed, but I would like to get one of those. Have you seen from Ikea? They're like the kids beds, but it's not actually a kids bed. It's kind of like a, a thing that changes between like a sofa lounge, like a lounge chair and a bed, not a pull out, but like, it's kind of bed sized, but it's a couch because, and hear me out, that way I can do couch co-op in my already, like all I'd have to do is move the camera closer to the, or pull the couch, like pull the, the sofa chair couch bed thing closer to the camera and I can do couch co-op and then have like the, the shelving either side and then have the nano leaf panels above the, the couch bed shelf, the couch bed thing magic. Yep. And then I can have all the toys and stuff on the couch bed thing as well. Like, yeah, that'd be kind of like, that'd be the dream. That'd be awesome. That's what I'm kind of hoping for. But um, <laughs> it's a while away, but that's sort of what I would like to do. That is what I would like to do. Um, just ask Blizzard, they seem to be quite hospitable to you. What does that mean? Oh, well, there we go. Okay, so Blizzard and I, like, Blizzard features me on the launcher because I'm, like, super consistent and stuff like that. And they do have other streamers they feature and, and like, I, are you, like, I can't tell if you're, like, trying to sling shade or if you're, like, I, yeah, that's not, that's not how my relationship with Blizzard works. They're not going to give me a house. <laughs> That's not how a relationship with any company works, unless they're literally a real estate company and they want you to make 70 bajillion videos about the house they've given you. Because, good lord, that is a lot of money to give somebody. You'd need a lot of, like, return on investment. Like, a lot. <laughs> um, well, you don't want to give, have something that over time could give way, fall in your head while you sleep. I know, right? That would be terrible. A fusion on daybed. Daybeds are basic. I think it's a daybed. I think it's a daybed. Uh, yeah, not not everyone is supremely consistent. But um, there are, yeah, look. There's, there's a whole range of reasons why Blizzard has asked me to be on the launcher. And a whole range of reasons why I've said yes. Um, there are other people out there who they have approached who have said no thank you. And they are always on the lookout for more people. If they don't know you exist, then they can't ask you. So like tag them when you go live and stuff like that. If you're in the ANZ region, obviously it's blizzard underscore ANZ on Twitter. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so stupid. What's stupid, Nick? Um, I wish my new stream is World of Warcraft themed house though, it would be pretty amazing. Maybe. Maybe. Not sure I'd be okay with all the blue. What brought them to you last time I checked you said enthusiasm? Everyone's enthusiastic. So, uh, I streamed for a long time. Uh, first of all, when they approached me, I'd been streaming for five years. Um, so I'd built up that community and I'd built up all of the, the internal influence and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I was tagging them when I went live. So hashtag Warcraft at Blizzard underscore ANZ because I'm part of the ANZ region. Uh, and after a long time of me doing that, I'm assuming that someone from their team started popping by stream. 
because eventually, after again, after a long time, uh, they would drop a slash host uh, or they would retweet my go live tweet. Uh, and then again, after a long time of doing those little things, they followed me back on Twitter and they sent me a DM and said, hey, we've been watching your channel. We like what you're doing. Would you like to be featured on the launcher? And I said, yes. So I don't know exactly what it was that drew them to me. Some of the things that they've said over the year that I've been working with them, I've had three sponsored streams. Um, I'm not sponsored in general. Uh, I would have to disclose that legally if I was, uh, but I'm not. I have had three separate uh, sponsor streams. There was one for the Burning Crusade Classic launch. There was one for the launch of 9.1 content patch, and there was one for BlizzCon Line last year. Those are the three sponsor streams I've had. Um, they've they've spoken about my consistency, the fact that I can give them a schedule for my entire stream a month in advance, and they can plan out what they want to feature, what they don't want to feature, and kind of go from there. Um, they've cited the positive attitude that I have, uh, that when I do criticize the game, it's from a point of constructive criticism, not just this is shit, this sucks, I hate this, this is so annoying. I do absolutely talk about the aspects of the game that I don't enjoy and that it is in parts that are frustrating, but I talk about it from the perspective of this is what I'd do to fix it if I could. Um, and, and they've said I've been good to work with. I'm not sure what that means, and I'm sure that means something different for every single company out there that works with people. Um, but I always try to be polite. I try to respond to emails and messages as soon as I possibly can. I keep them massively up to date. Like if something does change with my schedule, they're the first people to know. Uh, before I even post like cancellation tweets and stuff like that, I tell them before I tell anybody else. Um, and yeah, I, I beyond that, I don't know. I don't know, <laughs> but my, my big advice is to be consistent. Like if you want to do something, if you want to have a, a, a partnership with a company such as Blizzard or someone who makes the game that you play or something like that, make sure that they know you exist. Make sure you tag them every time you go live, use any applicable hashtag. Sometimes games have official hashtags they use. Make sure you use them when you post your go live tweet. Make sure you post a go live tweet, have a, a presence on social media outside of Twitch. Um, tag them, uh, don't be, like, d think about what a company is going to, like, if, if a company is going to put you on, like, if they're going to advertise you, think about what they're going to want to associate with and not going to want to associate with. Um, like, there have been a lot of people lately dropping a lot of misogynistic comments. I work with Blizzard, who is a company who is currently having a lawsuit against it for being internally misogynistic they're probably not going to want to feature creators who are openly misogynistic on their fucking social media or on the forums. Hot tip. <laughs> not directing that at anybody in particular at all, but like, if you're gonna complain about somebody being featured and you're not, maybe don't make comments about their breasts. Um, so like, think of those little things as well. Like if you are, a, if you have like a brand friendly image, if you do, like have aspects of the game that you're playing that you don't like, don't just shit on it. Like actually approach it from how would I fix this? If it was up to me, what would I do to change this? Um, do, like, yeah, be be brand friendly. Um, I don't know how else to explain that. Um, yeah, that's kind of what, I, that's my advice. Like if you want to, if you want to get to a position where you've got a working partnership with a company that makes the game that you love, how to do it and patience obviously patience is always going to be a really big part of it because um they have limited budgets and they have limited uh things that they do and you know they're they're human you know they've got a every single person who who tags them and all that they have to go and inspect every single one of those streams individually for a like a determined period of time not just for two minutes they need to get a sense of what the what the vibe is like and what the community is like and how they choose to moderate their chat and the kinds of things that they talk about outside of the game and and just they've got to get a sense of who you are uh, and they've got so many people who tag them and they've got to go and check out all those people so patience is is a big one a really big one again it took five years of being annoying <laughs> five years before i got noticed 
yeah. Also, t- talking about, you know, people sending nudes to companies to work with them. Remember what I said about the whole misogyny thing? Being misogynistic is not going to get you company things. Unless it's a company who, like, you know, is is proudly and openly misogynistic. In which case, best of luck to you. <laughs> Mm, okay, Lego plants. I want Lego plants. They're gorgeous, aren't they, Seiko? Um, congratulations to Zam, Fade, Mine, Ali, Z, Fairy, Thor, Dan, and Koala on all your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Um, but genuinely, uh, apart from, you know, obviously, the trolls. Um, I hope that there are people, even if you're lurking or whatever, if you're, uh... Uh, a streamer who's starting out or is getting to that like growth stage and stuff like that. I, I really hope that some of this, if not all of this, has been super helpful to you because genuinely I want to see people succeed. Like it is it is awesome to see people like rocking their shit and just enjoying themselves and having an absolute blast and winning at life. It's great to see. So yeah, like if you have questions, please don't be afraid to ask. Like genuinely, I want to help as much as I possibly can. I don't know all the answers, clearly. Um, the, one of the answers there was, I don't know. Um, but I would very much like to be able Must to help be if I can. So, yeah. Once more. Now we take the fight to the burning Where did throne. that? It must not have registered as... Ready yourselves and Taurus All right, awaits. so we're going to go back to the dungeon on Mythic and see if I can't get that trash piece to drop. Which may I would say no because of the fear everyone watching me thinks, but no, yeah, one of the things when when I agreed to it, they did say, look, when when this starts, this is the date that it's gonna kick off. Make sure you do have active moderators because, you know, as I'm sure you're aware, on the internet there are trolls, and the more exposure you get, the more trolls you're gonna get. And so that's why we brought on a handful of new mods. Um, like when when that kicked off. Uh it we didn't get too much of it. Uh, we absolutely did get some, don't get me wrong, uh, but it wasn't nearly as bad as I was thinking it was going to be, which was really good. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, some people don't feel comfortable with that kind of exposure, like legit, and that's totally reasonable, that's 100% fine. Mm okay. Mm, that was exciting, mm-hmm. It was super exciting. I'm like, hang on, is that actually like, oh my god, seriously? Jim chill out times. Look, I enjoy it too. It's not for everyone, and that's totally okay. Totally fine. Oh, fantastic. Angora is a beautiful place. I always found it really tricky to like navigate where exactly I was. Like, I'd be like, oh, I just have to go a little bit over here. And then next time I open my map, I've cro like next time I'd open my map, I've crossed half the bloody zone. I'm like, how did I do this? But yeah, is uh, it's a beautiful place. The feel is people watching me. No, thank you. Yeah, it's uh, it's a different kind of feeling. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Good question for stream. Angoro, I loved the crystals. Like having to get like ten of each color, or whatever it was, to do all the different pylons around the place, and like just finding them in the most random places. And back, you know, when I was doing it, they didn't sparkle or anything, so you just had to look for these little glowing pockets of shards. Yeah. Good fun. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I'd rather live in a jungle or a desert. Probably a jungle. But I'd probably have to do like a whole lot of research on what exactly is poisonous because I'm pretty sure most everything is. <laughs> I'm worried the dino is the scene of music. I really, really love Skolazar. Yeah, Sholazar. 
The music in Shola's Eye was awesome as well. I was not a fan of getting those eggs from, was it the oracles? And having to crack a mount out of them, and it, god, it took entirely too long for that to happen. Um, but that was fine. I saw that. I never got a Harry. You're always the ones using their body to advance on a similar streaming, but it really receives, receives dick pics daily. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's the, the issue is, right? I'm doing everything I think I can do. I'm doing everything that I know how to do because they're like, potentially there's a lack of research there or they haven't found the right resources to like, you know, give the right tips and stuff like that. I'm doing so much work. I'm working my ass off. I'm not seeing any success. Here is this other person who appears to be experiencing what I would define as success. What are they doing differently to what I am? Clearly, I must be working just as hard as they are because I'm working so very hard when they don't realize that I literally work 180 hours a month. It must be the tits. This is the only difference between me and them is that she has boobs and I don't. Therefore, it must be the boobs. Obviously, that's massively oversimplified, but, like, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I, I work my fucking ass off. Regard I, don't, I don't care what anybody thinks of whether or not I work hard. I know I do. So, you know, wouldn't be seeing this success if I didn't. I didn't see this success back when I wasn't, once I kicked in, once I, once I got my game on and and decided okay i'm going to i'm going to actually do this and this and this and this and then the hours started ticking up i saw more success like i can directly correlate increase in all these different stats with when i started putting efforts into for example social media it works it's fucking hard but it works ah whatever if they don't want to be successful, then that's okay. They can not listen. <laughs> but pretty much any other streamer out there is going to tell them the same thing, regardless of their, their genitals or glandular situations. Um, uh, I'm assuming this is hard. Can't be consistent with time. You have to run if they wake. Okay, that would be a no-no, but I think I'd enjoy it. You can absolutely give it a go, and you can absolutely... There are different ways to do it. But it's, um... Yeah, it's... It does demand quite a bit of attention. It's supposed to be a six week one now. She's best boss mod. Correct. Correct. For funsies, not funny. Yeah, of course. Totally valid. Trolls on the internet in this economy, indeed. Love chatting with people. Think it would be nice to play in chat? Yeah, for sure. For sure. No harm in giving it a try. Like, literally no harm at all. What? No one shows up. Oh no. You are, you are, the only thing that is different is that you are using another program when you are gaming. Like, no difference. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna base the memorize at this point. Amazing. Gotta go. No worries, Dan. We'll see you next time. Next million is heck. One of my favorite, top favorite quest lines. Love that. Still not a sparkle, if I remember correctly. Oh, don't they? Ah, uh, was Dan a man in this position? Hard worker deserved it. Woman in this position. Who should she sleep with to get to this spot? Yeah. But the problem, I think the biggest problem is that the. Like, the small, so let's say they have seen Dark Mech on the launcher, and they've also seen me on the launcher. Dark Mech raids, Dark Mech does Mythic Plus, Dark Mech plays at what most people would consider the, the higher end, end game of the game. But then the chick does collections. Because they have such, because they've only seen such a small subsection of that, they've kind of, they've, they've, gone, well, he's obviously on there because he has skill and talent as a player. Sh like, collecting shit doesn't take skill or talent. Why the hell is she on there? It must be the boobs. Must be because she's a busty redhead. <laughs> oh, Lord. I do not have enough to be considered busty. Um, but, yeah. So, like... It is unfortunate that that is the way that the the split has panned out. But, um, yeah, look. Whatever. 
Hey, it does. How am I feeling? Uh, look, better than I have been. Still not great, but better than I have been. I can talk today, which is an improvement. I couldn't speak yesterday, so that was fun. Yeah, the way out versus people in power withholding promotions without abusing the position. Yeah, there's also that. But let me be incredibly clear that has not and will not happen. <laughs> hey, Abud, how you doing? You can do my C pluses, Busty. Fair enough. Fair enough. Sitting on something in the launcher, I can check if I've activated. I never see anyone on my launcher have tried to find it, but no luck. Uh, it's to do with the region of your account, Fall. Um, it's not a, there's no, there's no, if, God, if it was a setting they could take and make so much easier, because I could just tell everyone, just uncheck this. Um, but, no, it's due to, it's, it's based on your region. So it's not the region that you're actually launching your launcher in, it's based on the account region. So, like, my account, my address on my account says Australia, so I get the Australia New Zealand launcher. There we go. That's what I wanted. <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, so that's, um, if, if you're not seeing anyone, it's because wherever your account is based isn't showing people in the launcher. You're very welcome. Not a problem. Sorry, just reporting that bot. <clears throat> I just realized most of us play well, just like you and not high key pushes. Well, that's the thing, right? We have, like, in terms of, like, collectors and stuff like that, they tend to be a higher proportion of the player base now. I mean, maybe not right when a patch hits. A lot of people do dive into all that kind of stuff, but it's the collectors that stick around right until the end of the patch. Uh, I don't know why Blizzy US doesn't feature streamers. Mm, good question. Some future people not trolling is a gender-based thing. Nah, I, I don't think that it's gender-based at all, but um, I can I can understand why people would assume so. Talking about you know misogynistic crap, usually people assume you're talking about males. Oh well. Bubble tea. I like a bubble tea. Oh, it's a tie! Yes. Thank you so much. Chip tax? Uh-huh. That's okay. Nug tax? Mm-mm. No nug tax. Okay. Ooh, white pearls. Yes. Not the moldy ones, right? <laughs> Jazz. 
A little more common to see men shitting down at females or smaller creators, at least in terms of boldness of it all. Yeah, that's- I have- I have noticed that myself, but, um... Yeah. Then again, a lot of the messages in chat could come from anyone of any gender, to be honest. <clears throat> I curse out of date black pearls. No, 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 those are- those are well and truly gone. We had a jar of white pearls that when we cracked open, they had some, like, some, like, mold slime growing on top. Um, but I sent a photo to Bubble Tea Club, and they not only replaced them, but sent me a 10-pack of strawberry tea, fruit tea, with strawberry popping pearls, uh, to, to apologize, basically. So, like, yeah, super thankful for that. Super thankful. Oh, hang on. Is that... One key fragment to Captain Faria. Where is Captain Faria? Up top. Okay, good. Ah, uh, long may we reference it. Yeah, look. Uh, not to say they aren't female trolls who talk down and shit. Uh, they're far more show-offy about it, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, curse worthy. Chip tax, love it. Dad, you just take a bite of our stuff and call it dad tax, yep. Yeah, it's a delivery fee. My point not to dismiss anyway, you're saying general and gendering things to me. I'm helpful. Yeah, of course. Of course. Greetings. That's all good. Be on your guard. And the blacksmith gall. Really Twitch chat breakdown stats, you get do country but not gender. Yep, they do country and that's literally it. That's it, which is supremely unhelpful. Um, we get country, we do not get uh, gender, we do not get age, we do not get any of that. All, the only thing that we get is country. Um, so when you're trying to approach a, for example, when I'm trying to approach a, um, where is this? Ah, oh, okay, that's, that's why I can't find it, because I'm not... Uh, when I'm trying to approach, for example, a makeup company, to say, hey, here's my pitch deck, I'd like to, I'd like to be sponsored by you, or I'd like to become part of your affiliate program. Here's my demographics, and all I can tell them is that they come from Australia. It could be 97% male, and that's not their target market. I mean, makeup is for everyone, obviously. But, especially Australian makeup companies, their target demographic is female. And if I can't show with, like, evidence that I have a decently female audience, they're not going to give a fuck. Yes, so yeah, it's really frustrating. The Legion will pay. Okay, so I need this one and I need this we one. Will Where do I go for those? North. I would love better demographics from Twitch, personally. Would absolutely love it. Um, I get them from fucking Instagram. Instagram has fantastic demographics. Come at once. But it's because they know that advertisers need it. Maybe I can tax it. So taxes work? Sure. Probably not, but sure. Let's go with it. Make sure it was suitably tasty. Exactly. Exactly. Ah, uh, so you know mama. Why no mama tax? That's really cute. They're offering you tax. Take it. <laughs> you miss me every time I'm allowed to pick her up and hold her so long as I smooch her forehead. Love it. Fantastic. I'm gonna smooch tax. I feel when we go and pick her up a best smooch for her and she's like, yeah, I'm good with being held now. It's probably kind of like a... Seven. Yep. Or at least that's what I'm thinking in my head because cats are like that, you know. Touch them in the right spot and they just 404 cat not found. <laughs> don't remember what my Twitch profile says. Do they even collect past birth date? They, they don't. They, there's a few, they do collect like um, address uh, and stuff. Um, and they do collect birth date, as you said, so they could give us an age. They don't ask gender, which is why we can't, we cannot get a gender breakdown. Um, I would like it if we could, if Twitch recognized, you know. Um, but this is why, this is why social media is so fucking important for, for creators. Like, you need to be able to tell a company that your viewers are their demographic. It's all well and good having a bunch of viewers, but if they're in the wrong country, or they're the wrong gender, 
or the wrong age group, not that any of those are wrong, obviously, but for a company they can be, if they're targeting 50 to 60 year old men from Germany, that's a hella specific demographic. Can you fulfill that? That's, that's what, 1.5% of your viewer base? Then they're not gonna care. You know what I mean? Like it's, yeah, so having that information is supremely important and because we cannot, literally cannot get that from Twitch, we have to provide it from our socials instead. And we kind of, basically what I do is extrapolate. I say, this is what my demographics are on Twitter. These are what my demographics are on Instagram. I assume there is a hell of a lot of crossover between my Twitch channel and my social media. Therefore, I would assume that my Twitch breakdown, here's the country breakdown to show that there's like, you know, they are quite similar because like social, so I can also assume that the age breakdown and gender breakdown is gonna be similar too. Um, so we kind of have to convince them that our demographics are in the right place. It's, it's really annoying. So summary of the story is, follow your favorite content creators on social media. Every single platform that you have, throw them a follow, it's free, and it helps them more than you will know. The last sane moments of their troubled lives, but it is the best more than you will know. way to honor them. Ah, uh, okay. For your help. Uh, feels like I'm pre-chewed or source covered when they offer it. Me, you know, like yeah, that's why you got to take it at the beginning. Now that they, now that you're, now that they know it could be a thing, they'll be more open to it being a thing. So you take it at the start. Baby birds, where you can set it up? They provide you those analytics where available. Uh no, Twitch doesn't make them available. The only thing you can get from Twitch is country. That's it. That one is one singular shape. I hate to break it to you this way. <laughs> Uh, that's good news because hey, there is a singular shiver. Indeed. Indeed. But yeah, no. Fun times with fear. Factual information about content creation and how annoying it is sometimes. Fear talks, gotta love them. Absolutely. I'm for watching them from the International Space Station. I'm not sure they'll let you set that as a billing address. They might tell you put your home address in. Like where were you where you were living before you got onto the space station. and it was covered up. Ooh. I imagine that they'd probably go with whatever nationality one of your parental units is. <clears throat> and with the, the nationality would actually depend on, um, cause some, some countries do, uh, some countries do nationality like citizenship matrilinearly, so through your mother. And some do it patrilineally, so through father. Um, which I am curious about how that works now with like adoptions by same-sex couples and stuff like that. Um, and which are now legal in most places, I think. And which is good. And um, like surrogacy and stuff like that. Like maybe you just get both, regardless. I mean, if they're not the same. Because like, um... I can get an English, I can get a UK passport. Not that it's fucking worth much now. Um, but I can get a UK passport because they do it patrilineally and my father's English. But I can get an Australian passport because I was born here and also mum. So yeah, it's, it's interesting. Company, do you have one singular Shibasu? Is that is our target audience? Why, yes I do. Company, please take this one million dollars. If only seeker if you if only <laughs> Can, oh, good load good load oh, uh, so geographically but was born in germany was considered a citizen even though both his parents are us yeah a lot of them if you're born in the country then yeah they'll they'll allow it 
Uh, no, the new citizenship. Well, no, that's because that's the thing. Like, there are very, very few people on the planet who have no country. Like, most people are claimed by someone. Like, most people have a citizenship at least, like one. Very interesting. It's easy to verify matrilineal heritage with no question. Yeah. Yep. Unless it was some kind of, you know, ISS experiment with implantation and things. That could be interesting. You're born in a vehicle outside of any national borders. You're considered born in the country where the vehicle is registered. Like, 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 um, how the embassy is, is that country's soil, technically. Even though it's in a different country. The vehicle's registered to Australia, therefore it's Australian soil. That's really funny. How much documentary about a dude who was claimed by no country and just lived in an airport? Yeah, um... Wasn't there a movie that was fiction about that? Some issue with a with a passport or something. They couldn't go back where they came from, but they wouldn't let them go on on their next journey either. Drive them out. Hmm. Was Tom Hanks in this? Yeah, there you go. That's what I was thinking of. Hmm. So technically it depends on where you're born in the ISS, right? So if it's in like the the US wing, then it's this, you know, and then all the the Ameri uh, that's America, uh, Australian wing and etc etc. So like whoever built that bit of the ship. Together. It's against international law to make a person stateless. Interesting. So it's like it's like it's like all the countries going, not it! And the last person's like, damn it! And they're stuck with them and they can't make them stateless. Sorry, my brain is an interesting thing. You didn't come this um. far to falter now. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Maybe it was based on real events. Ah, there you go. That makes sense. UK decided to do it anyway. Ugh. The terminal, Tom Hanks, perfect. Uh, his country suffered a coup while he was in transit. They revoked all passports pending the resolution of the government. Ah, I could have requested asylum, but would have had to avow fear of his country and he wouldn't. Right, that makes sense. So basically he was just waiting out the coup kind of thing. Interesting. The man who lived in an airport for 18 years. Okay, that's a long ass coup. That's happening with Ukrainian folks. It shouldn't be because it's still Ukraine. Like there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with their government at the moment. It hasn't been dis dissolved. There's no like the short one issues with you in this passports or anything like that. That sounds good. Oh. And it won't, they'll be basically guaranteed asylum. Yeah. There's been, like, um, I know Poland, for example, has said, uh, I think Poland said all you need is your passport. You don't need a visa. We're suspending visas. We don't care. Just get here with your passport. And there was somewhere else that said, if you can get here, don't even if you don't have your passport just come here we will work it out we will we'll figure it out to get you out of here which i think is really awesome opening themselves up to that kind of you know potential danger really um but like just to get people to safety and then sorting it out later i have to leave the airport the whole time he was stuck inside people were buying food he basically built this fake life for himself that's so interesting so interesting i greet you um all right so i'm gonna turn He's in. Farewell. What is it? Wait as the key is reforged. We Good. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be back. Endure.
Ugh. We need this button. Go! Um. <clears throat> I'm gonna give me a push. Here's what happened. That's a spoiler, Nano! You don't wanna know the end? End of the movie documentary thing. <laughs> Chickens, we're just close to do this. Much all EU from Iceland, Netherlands, to Romania have said, yep, if you get here, you're safe, yeah. And my autocorrect capitalizes chair now. I love that too, Kaz. Oh, Seeker, thank you so much for plugging the Insta. Oh, good lord. Chair's a silent type and conveys his feelings with eyes and tilt, indeed. He was allowed to leave, no one knows what happened to him. Interesting. Yeah, isn't the UK pisses me off so much? Yeah, that's, um. Ah, oh, dear. I have seen entirely too many photographs of Boris lately. I would like to see fewer. Ah, ah, 921, thank you so much. Much appreciated for the new followers. Just saying, not in the good way. <clears throat> Brexit. Not the real person, not the movie. No, I know, still a spoiler for the documentary. Miss Johnson's in the inbox? Yep. Or on the news feed of Reddit. Would be good. <laughs> Congratulations to Dunno, Z, Fade, and mine on your bonus shit. Well done. Mm. I love bubble tea. Okay. Has the key been made yet? Yes, good. We will not fall. Here we go. The Legion will pay. So we're gonna go hop on in on normal oh sorry, heroic. There's no there's no normal for seat. Um But I've done mythic. So we're gonna hop in on heroic. <clears throat> To see if I can bump up that completion number at all. Brisbane City's at 3.46 meters. They reckon it's gonna hit 3.7 tomorrow morning. Not to say anything for Ipswich, who's currently 16 meters above regular water level. Um, good lord. But yeah, that just that number keeps going up. I don't like it. <clears throat> Solicited Johnson in the box. Solicited, totally fine. No kick. No, absolutely. Solicited is perfectly fine. I am not soliciting shit. Um, I'm almost scared. To, no, you know what? I'm not gonna ask. I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. I'm gonna talk to Jazz later. Good. I like chips. They're delicious. Especially when they're coated in chicken salt. Mmm. Fun fact, chicken salt's vegan. I know, ridiculous, right? conditions. Thank you, Seeker. Yeah, no, look, um, I'm sure it'll be fine. I just haven't been through this before. In all the years I've lived in Brisbane, I've never actually been in an area that has flooded. So I'm just kind of nervous. Nervous. Let's check if he's like, yes, so a bacon chips. Yep. How do you get salt from a chicken? Good question. 
Give me out. Okay. You go and start talking. Boil them. What if everyone gets a straw? You do not want to drink the Brisbane River. You will die. Do not drink the Brisbane River. You will die. So we shake it upside down. Yeah. <laughs> Coward. Shiba, I'm already on antibiotics. Like, God. Do you want no more fear streams? Because that's what'll happen if I die. And that's what happens if I end up in hospital. I'll be there temporarily. <laughs> Better. Excuse me! <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the headlines. Those of you said you're already on end, but I, I figured as much. I figured you're currently experiencing just a touch of lag. I had to live stream it? No. Good god. Sometimes, Shiba, you concern me. Like ending all coverage restrictions in England? Yeah. Yeah, look. This is on cooldown, please don't die. Yeah, exactly. Let's see? Short turn our taps on help lower the damn levels. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Don't they just, like, let the water out of the dam? Problem is, it then goes into where all the rivers have already flooded. So for sure the streaming is of course in Australia. Not to mention it's probably illegal. Follow me. A violation of privacy while people are getting treatment and stuff. If I had a private room, maybe. Like once I was in the room. But for for like poisoning by Brisbane River drinkage, they probably wouldn't give me a room. They'd just roll their eyes and stick a saline in me and make me vomit. <laughs> um the shadow guard is oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. My condolences. Disrupting their efforts would benefit so us sometimes I'm glad that at least some of your faculties are intact, Shiva. would be useful to me. What's that movie where there was a person whose life ticked based Just on how many people the word were watching? Heroes, and we can begin the I've not heard of that one. That sounds like a horror film. Um, stressed, overtired, underpaid medical staff. Yep, the finger. They would give you the finger. Correct. It is a good day for Correct. For example. Also, see most other recent examples. There's been some good examples, e.g., free tests, but they're exceptions. Figure out their motives. It is a horror film? Good, okay. I was about to say that sounds terrifying. Can't remember the name. That's right, I probably wouldn't have known it. Anyway, I don't tend to do the horror genre. What if you just got a pooly floaty and had a big city wide body? Well, I hope you don't have any open wounds or paper cuts anywhere on any part of your body. Because the Brisbane River water gets in there and you're gonna be you're gonna be in trouble. <clears throat> Natural selection pool party edition. You do realize that if natural selection was actually a thing, I would be dead, yeah. What with the autoimmune and all that? <laughs> bullying. We are bullying a river. This is stinky mirror for the best of times. I would be dead too, yeah. Well, it has it a guess that a lot of us would be. Maybe, like, Jas probably wouldn't, because Jas is. Good forward. He's young and youthful. He brings with him the health that that, yep. And when sewage plants covered in water, yeah. Yeah, that's not a good thing. Not a good thing. Look, um, just to, to clarify, I understand that, um, I'm pretty sure this is, like, trying to, to make me giggle to lessen the anxiety and stuff like that. 
but I also do want to make sure that people understand that this really is a serious situation. Uh, and I, I appreciate the laughs and all that kind of stuff. Like, it's good. I know it's good for your health and all that kind of stuff. But it is also very actually scary and very actually dangerous for a lot of people out there. And please, if you are here, please do take it seriously. Um, it's not something to be messed with. <laughs> um, so yeah, I high, highly recommend um, being safe, keeping an eye on the weather alerts and stuff like that. Cause, um, and, and if you're asked to evacuate, then probs do so. Uh, but yeah, follow follow your own safety plans and stuff like that, but yeah, just uh, appreciate the attempts at levity, but just to make sure everyone is on the same page. This is serious shit. Uh, evolution isn't a thing. Uh, in humans, not really. Um, some things, sure, but um, in humans it's been mostly eradicated by this thing we call modern medicine. Um, you're either totally very much understands really rough. Oh no, of course, just just being clear to anyone else who's hanging out here and is like, you know, horrified by the humor or anything like that. We are absolutely not making fun of the situation. Um, it's, yeah, it's an attempt, you know, lo lots of people deal with anxiety with humor and sometimes that humor is quite dark. Um, and that's, that is what is going on here. Just to, to be clear. Um... You see, if it was around like November, we're still recovering. Yeah, I can imagine. Imagine. Yeah, I knew, I knew you'd understand, Shiva. But just uh, in case anyone out there was like, "What?" It was like forever. It's because of how much has happened since then, Zika. Uh, the world needs to stop doing things and stuff. It seems this nuisance requires a more personal touch. I shall handle you myself. <clears throat> Plus I'll switch to the range and hit 2007 levels out. Yeah, that's good. The movie I was talking about is called Untraceable. Interesting. Okay. Top it all off, we now have chip shortage. Lay's wanted to raise the price of chips. Canada said no. Now Lay's isn't shipping their branded chips to- Oh no. I mean, good on them for like- Putting their foot down. I'm I'm guessing that the price increase was going to be exorbitant and not at all justified. Um, obvi Look, guys, it did it again. I got double up of double up of the boss. Um, I imagine like if the price increase was justified, that the country would have been like, yeah, okay, I see that. That's fair. But um, just for the fun for funsies, yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, we, we don't, we're not liking our profit margins. We'd like them to be bigger, so... Yeah. Shimmer, this is my favorite. Com it's my comfort, comfort chip. Did not uh. Oh! This. Nice! Thank you for removing the obstacles between me and this staff here. As much as I hate to say it, Shiba, it yes, might be worth, if they're, be if they're nice. being a shitty company who's trying to do that anyway... It might be worth trying to break in. Um, eliminating him will give us an opportunity to get in ourselves. Oh, I'll and then defeat Laura. Okay, that's why. Once he's taken um, care of. It might be worth finding, even if they do start shipping again, it might be worth finding a new one just to kind of, you know, sock it to him for trying to be a dickhead. I know it's hard, I know that's a lot easier said than done, and it will depend on your personal values, absolutely, but it might be worth it. Um, uh, just really as simple as, may I box of chips, need to find the person to blame for this millennium so far, some fucker found a genie and wished for an interesting life, right? Ugh. Yep, they just, someone, someone done broke it. Someone done broke it. Not silicon. No, potato chips. A much more important kind. I love that. Yep. Living interesting kind. 2007 was bad. Time my dad worked. Normally took him 20 minutes to get home. It took me two hours. I mean, to turn back and try to raise Jesus. All right. Out. I would like to live in unprecedented times again, please. I would like to stop living in a textbook. Yeah, like fucking history textbooks. My God, they're going to be super interesting. 
Wait, so there was a war. They they invaded this place. Yep. Weren't they all still sick though? Yep. But what what huh? Yep. <laughs> like, fuck man. Thick ass books, yeah. They're gonna have a whole new subject, 20th century history. Uh, century's a lot more bugs in the code at the end of the previous one. Obviously there were some massive bugs last century too. Why are we repeating those? I'm not sure. Those who do not understand history, or those who do not study history, I can't remember which word it is, are doomed to repeat it. That's gonna be weird. History textbook's gonna have screenshots of tweets. Don't eat- don't! No! I don't want to know that. That's bad and stupid. I hate that. You're right, but I I hate it so much. Here's new going in 2020. I think of COVID-19. The book of our own. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be an interesting time. Oh no, Jack. And, um, the, the photos they have of famous people aren't gonna be paintings of them sitting there like this. It's gonna be them going, yeah, I hate my life. I hate the future, I hate everything. Can we just, can we reboot? Is that an opportunity, like, is that an option? <laughs> like, um, Hey, Lucky! No, oh, no need to apologize. Hello, I hope you're well. Suki. Who's Suki? The Kim Kardashian. Oh yeah, there's uh, there's gonna be a whole last chapter on the Kardashians. There has to be. So much of what happens on social media is because of what they have said or done. Like. The Kardashian effect will have to be explained. Hmm. The devs done gone fucked up, they have. They did an oopsie. Some Jersey Shore Spring created an orange and was famous for something. Cannot oh. stop it. Okay. I Sorry, I don't know who you're talking about. Ah, uh, can't actually speak for now. So my okay. Ah, you're doing better. You did a little pleasure mention earlier in Discord. Yes, um, the, Bris the Brisbane River at Brisbane City is now at 3.46 meters. We must get inside. Uh, and they're anticipating it's going to hit 3.7 by tomorrow morning. Um, basement's out, lift is out. Understood. Uh, Champions, once yep. the door is open, clear the way to Lura. We will be right behind. I'm definitely doing better though. Um, miles better than I was yesterday. It's still not great. I'm still pretty blech. The way um, is open. but uh, a lot Hurry better than I was heroes. yesterday. So, yeah, getting there. <clears throat> Hope you're feeling better soon. Yeah, it's real bad. Such that was not chaos. Though. Such anguish. I have never sensed anything like it before. It is rare that a Naru falls into void this way. The few cases I know of have occurred when mortals were involved. What fascinating implications. Okay. Such so, can wait, though. This entity must die. The peak in the 2011 floods in Brisbane was 4.46. And we're looking at hitting 3.7 tomorrow morning. <clears throat> Did you randomly fix on the stream? Oh! 
That's really odd. It's very odd, Zia. Are you back here? Like, what? Did anybody else experience that? Energy. The Naru's weakness will become your weakness. Okay. Mm, it was odd. I didn't have any, like, there's no disconnection issues on my side. It doesn't say that there has been anyway. That's so odd. That is really strange. <clears throat> the power of the portals, Illyria. It can become your weapon. Incoming! There we go. So that's my two runs of seat. It only took that long. Uh, <laughs> Interesting. <clears throat> How do you feel? I need to go turn this in. The voice get turned in. Okay. Louder now. More insistent. Can't tag anyone now. That's really strange. Is it clipping? That's fact. Three minutes watching Fears TikToks. Oh, Scarlet. I hope you enjoyed them. They're just they're just clips. I don't think Achieve runs for the BFA raids at all. If there's enough interest, we can absolutely do that. Sure. Mm. Maybe I should stick it up as a, um, a channel point goal. <laughs> Lazy Lou Ben, love it. Shall I be down for a shape runs? Awesome. Okay. Okay. So I'm turning this in. Devils are alone. Yeah, absolutely. I would hurt you. Yes, outsider. Take caution. Mm. And it's cleaned out the rest of it because they all they all have the same appearances. Uh, okay, so I'm now at thirty out of thirty-four for seat of the triumvirate. Good. Uh, oh God. And my next lowest is Sunwell Plateau on the Demon Hunter. So I'm going to head back to the garrison and then I'm going to jump onto my Demon Hunter and give it a go. I love Sunwell. It's my favourite. <clears throat> At least I think, I think it's Sunwell. It says 11 out of 40, so I'm going to go check that. Hmm. So you can up when you aren't expecting them. Yes. It wasn't a problem. You just became Dino Lunch. It's a little comic years ago about it. I so vividly remember it. Oh, dearie me. <sighs> Alright, let's have a look. A bit of food. I'm, look, I'm getting there, Apathy. I'm still not feeling super great, but I'm definitely getting better. Um, the antibiotics are helping, so that's a good thing. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back. Is he time at work? Very fair. Very fair. 
Uh, I'm gonna be back in a second. Um, I'll be. Run away, little girl. Run away. Baby tune da 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 baby tune da 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 da
Apologies. Um. Oh, I got into sun well. What did we get to? Um. Didn't play. Oh. That's odd. Maybe it's not registering you in chat, Seeker. Who knows? Um. Little coins. Huh. You know, like maybe I'm maybe I'm the only one, but when you have antibiotics and they give you a bit of an upset upset tummy, yeah. Just like all of a sudden out of nowhere it's like, by the way, pain. And I'm like, oh good, thank you so much for that. Um these guys are like antibiotics, they're just they're because of, especially the broad spectrum ones, they can't really tell the difference between like good bacteria and bad bacteria. So I think it just throws my body chemistry out of whack a little. You body biology. Are not Jared! Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. I hope you had a fantastic stream. Oh, have I DC'd? No, what the hell was that? Oh, okay. Uh... There we go. Um, so what just happened there was I lo locked up for a second. Then both of my screens went black as though I'd lost power. And then they both came on and then like flick it a couple of times as they were sort of getting the various- Almost like when you update your graphics driver. Yeah? And I'm like, excuse me, very rude. But I seem to be fine now. Uh, I should have a little bit, but it's all fine. Freezy time for a second. Yeah, for me too, for me too. Um. Thank you for the cast of command, Shiba. Hello, Jared. Hello, Rinda. Welcome on in. Hello, Desia. If you crash as I was running. Oh, no. Maybe that's what. Maybe you passed the crash on to me. Don't be feeling bad. Look, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I remember the pain. I was wondering if you'd forgotten your own pain. Mint, I guess. Not so. Oh, I'm like, mint the fuck? I remember that now. Uh, it's part of the Christmas in July set they sent me. It's a peppermint. Isn't it adorable? It's a little peppermint. So many redemptions, I'm gonna get through them. Uh, so only a power fluctuation, most likely? Yeah, I'd say so. But it isn't flickering, never welcomed. Yeah, I mean, I get it. I'm just glad I still have power. Like, actually, like, power, power. Um, once I heard from my abscess. Oh my lovely, what do you have? If the swelling goes to your throat, go to A&E straight away. Yeah. Yeah, was it really that long ago? It's really even that set. Yep! July last year. Okay. Oh. Snap, crackle, pop. I'm guessing you thought it was like a mint leaf. I had a something off. Um, I had a, a character limit for the description I can put in there. Mm, I'm going for being out of power flutter, such a. Mm. 
I can imagine. I mean, it's a general strong antibiotic on steroids. Who knows what happened to my face? Yeah. Ah, oh, dear. Ah, oh, dear. Okay. Let us try that again. Okay. If it's confused that I redeem more to understand, of course, of course. Well, there you go. Now you know. Now you know. All right. So we are doing Sunwell Platter. Oh, hang on. Sunwell's is thirty out of forty, not eleven out of forty. Oh, good God. Okay. I should have checked this before getting all the bloody way out here. I'm a silly. Uh, you're really broken. Day. No, totally fine, Kaz. I look. Just consider yourselves lucky that I am speaking and not typing. Yeah. Stealing Trevor at Chainmail. Get yay, Zam. Well done. Well done. Is that your last one? I don't think it ever will be. Bodies are weird, hey? Like, they can recover from the most interesting, terrible shit. And yet, sometimes not. Like, it's just so strange. Ah, fantastic. It's just that I wanted to do different sides to hold up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ugh. Right, so Forge of Souls is apparently 10 of 36. It is actually... That's fine. Uh, what that does mean, though, is I'll probably go through all three of them because otherwise it counts towards like silly things. Excuse me. Um, so I've got so it goes from Forge into Pit of Sauron into Halls of Reflection. That's Forge of Souls. I'm trying to get up. But that's okay. So we'll do them on heroic first. Sorry, drops. Wait, why are there so many things? Oh, because the enormous loot tables. That's right. I forgot how big their loot tables were. Okay, this is fine. That order updated. Look, maybe, maybe. I don't. I'm not, I don't hold it against you though. Are we? Are we? It's super early. When you know, completely shuts, I can't open it. Left some of my tongue's a bit weird regarding taste. So so weird. I know, right? So much can go wrong, and yet they can overcome the most ridiculous injuries. And you know what I mean? Like far out. Out. So, Forge of Souls is 1036. Pit of Sauron is 
Pit of Sauron is 12.38, and then Halls of Reflection is 21.47. They're all correct in the... in the thingamajig. It is indeed bonkers. Hey, Rump. Welcome back. How are you going? Is it recovered? Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. I am and I can't sleep. Good. Well, here you go. Here's some here's some information. Um 3.46 meters above regular river level in Brisbane City, the water, the flooding. Brisbane's flooded. Three and a half meters above regular. Yep, good. Um Yes. Wonderful. Um, apparently, in the tw in twenty eleven, in the the really big, bad, really nasty floods in Brisbane, the peak was four point four six. So we're literally just we're one meter below, uh, and they reckon it's going to get to three point seven in the city as of tomorrow morning. Um, it's huge. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of not great. These dungeons that came out, it was good to get actually hard dungeons. Yeah, for sure, which was rare in those days. It, it was. Like, I mean, we still have that whole thing where, you know, it's it's difficult for, like, the first three or four weeks, and then we get gear, and then you can pretty much ruffle stomp it. But we also have Mythic Plus, so it still can be difficult. Um, but back then you didn't have that. The, the dungeons just didn't really have replayability. But I think it was because these ones were introduced, pretty sure they were introduced later in the expansion, weren't they? We've had this discussion before, um, and I cannot remember for the life of me, but yeah, they're, um, they're an interesting set of dungeons. They've got massive loot tables, heckin' massive loot tables, uh, and they drop nothing that you want, so it's great. Break records here, gonna get those rookie numbers up. I'd really rather not, because people will actually literally die. So there's that. So the ICC, yeah, 5.3, there you go. 5.3, good lord. We're sitting at like 9.2 at the moment. Talking about patch 5.3 is just a little bit ridiculous. We are the Forsaken. We will slaughter anyone. The Argent Crusade and the Knights of the Ebon Blade have assaulted the gates of the Ice Crown Citadel and are preparing for a massive attack upon the Scourge. Our mission is a bit more subtle, but equally as important. With the attention of the Lich King turned towards the front gate, we'll be working our way through the side in search of information that will enable us to defeat him. I really him. hope some things drop once and I don't have to run all. this more than one, once through. Our scouts have reported that the Lich King has a private chamber outside of the Frozen Throne, deep within a place called the Halls of Reflection. It's the ice cream that is our target, champion. for a long time. Yeah, we right, ice. It's like, oof. Destruction through this cursed oof. place. 15 years for me. find a way to enter the Halls of Reflection. Almost half if my life. If there is anything of value to be found here it will be found in the halls the dark lady watches over you make haste Imagine 60 below sea level jesus ah uh, i'm just gonna just voice something better just scratches my brain real good you know she also records, um, like the, the voice artist records music as well, yeah? Um, there's a Christmas album. And she sounds, and, like the recordings sound almost just like Sylvanas. Like think Sylvanas without the, the, the death echo, the banshee echo. So Sylvanas singing about having a, mer a very merry Christmas and stuff. It just, it, it hurts my heart in the most beautiful way. Like thinking about how Sylvanas will never really enjoy Christmas because you know she she has all this shit going on in her life. Do like, you know what I mean? Like it's this, yeah. The Christmas album, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thanks. No worries, Sika. We'll see you next time. Last golden egg. Hey, well done. Time to go bribe a chicken. Congratulations. Deborah, I miss her and I love her. Will do. Will do. 
if it's one as audio, but brilliant. Fantastic. Of course. Go on to Spotify. Yes, do the thing, Kaz. Do the thing. I just get revered with Horde Expedition. Oh no. Really? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We have more opportunities. It's gonna be okay. We there's no world drops in here, so I'm just not gonna care about the extra trash. problem with these loot tables being so enormous is that you cannot get what you need from them. You just, you, it's so difficult. Love the Spyro music. Look at look at all those drops. Twelve drops total, and I've got four of them. Sixteen out of thirty-six. Good news is I went from ten to sixteen in one go. My magi will get the scourge transport device working shortly. Step inside when you are ready for your next mission. I will meet you on the other side. Actually, do I want to do that? Because I just got that above the thing. What's my next one? Forge of Souls on a different tune. Okay, yeah, now we're out. So Forge of Souls on a different character. We're not going to talk about. But I'm going to jump on there because I bet you that's going to jump to, to 16 out of 36 as well. It's like three bosses in one. Not when I one shot it, it's not. How do you find the cups from Little Tea Club? A bunch of roommate mugs I use. I don't use pearls. I wondered if I'm missing out. Honestly, they're really, really good. Um, the cups are fantastic quality. They're super easy to clean. Um, they've got the little thingamajig on the top here to like seal and it gets like it seals. It's watertight when you put that plug in the top so you can travel with it as well. So if you're someone who like uh, takes your bubble tea with you on the run or out to, to like, work or something. I'm not a I know, I know. Um, like it's a really good option, but if what you have works for you, then that's okay too. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not the kind of person who's gonna pressure you into buying something that you don't need. They are incredibly good, like they're really, really wonderful and they make for a great serving size as well. But if you have something already that works for you, I'm not gonna pressure you into that. Hello Lion, how you doing? Welcome back. Pretty from Brumate right to be honest, totally fair. Totally fair. Yeah, you gotta go with what works for you. Like it's they it's good that they offer for everyone, but you gotta go with what works best for you. We sealed it anyway. Perfect. There you go. There you go. Alright, Forge of Souls, yeah, 16 to 36, so I can update uh, that one. Trial of Valor. Trial of Valor on the Warrior. That's an interesting one. I haven't seen that num that one come up yet. Thirty-four out of one hundred and twenty-two. I wonder if that's accurate. I can't see the. I know you can't take those beautiful Instagram photos. Hashtag see the tea. Correct rump. How are you going anyway, apart from not being able to sleep at 5 a.m.? How are y'all doing?
I'm gonna be my new friend, not sure Mythic is sold, but we'll be in for the first mini bosses. Mm. I've managed to do it in the past because each of them at different times like stops to, to cast something. If you just keep running, you'll be fine. But we'll see. We'll see. Probably start with the LFR anyway. Asked for initially asked for three, they were afraid I'd delegate out my job. That was the point. They're still making me do two people's jobs instead of four. Well, I mean, look, you get that's a start. It's a start. 34 out of 132. Yep, this is it. So, oh, there's quests for an ensemble. Where? Call to action. Provider Moonin. Moonin. Alright, let's go to Dell. <clears throat> Inside from Odin. Lady is sick. Boy was. He's getting better. Good to hear. That's so good to hear. Day. Good to see you streaming. I hope you feel so much better. I, I'm feeling a lot better than I did yesterday. Still not all the way there, but definitely better. Shall is doable. Good. So all the ways we can improve is they are not immune to danger. After you kill him. There's a call to action. And then poor Harvey some grog. You've got it. There's like a whole quest chain. Keep in mind that I've not done this at all. Like, this is an alt, so I haven't done any of this. It's cold. Lost army. <clears throat> okay, newbie in the trailer already. Gotcha, okay. And then tell I was fighting a fight in your name. So I can turn in Odin's favor, but I haven't. I don't know if I've done the prerequisites. I haven't. All right, so I need to do the prereqs. That's okay. We can do that. Just double. Greetings. That's okay, we can do the prereqs. Three things after to click the stuff, I believe. Well, lucky we have that, but how many how many we've got four difficulties? Someone doesn't have prerequisites, it just needs to be picked up inside. Click the quest, it becomes Odin's flavour. What would Odin taste like? I imagine like one of those, you know those like cinnamon candies that are really burning hot? I imagine that's what Odin tastes like. Burnt, yeah. Garden tastes like burnt. <laughs> Lemon for lightning. Ooh. I'm loving these, like, this is awesome. I like this. Beardy. What does beardy taste like though? Just like, like when you get a mouthful of hair when it's windy. Or I imagine if you, like, your mustache is growing too long or whatever. I don't know. I don't have facial hair. At least not long enough that I'd eat it. <laughs> it doesn't. It's all right though. These ones really don't seem to be too um, long. You just gotta kind of go and talk to a person. According to Google, Odin drank only wine and was the god of alcohol, so I'd imagine he'd taste like a drunk. Yeah, that makes sense.
Let it touch your tongue to a nine volt battery feel. Good. Brilliant. This land is ancient. See you again soon. For eons, Helia has been building an army, stealing the souls of fallen Drykul to oppose the Valajar. I suspect the sea which grows Everybody's the done that right. Ah, uh, maybe? I don't actually remember whether or not I have. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Helia's foul magics trap Odin and hinder the Valajar. We need champions like you to stop our advances. Helia must be stopped. The time has come for our reckoning. I've been expecting you. This way. Like Erden? Yes. Many times. It's in college. It was a long time ago. No judgment here. No judgment here. I'm in Legion. Music, the law. Agreed, Ophi. Agreed. The music is just. Oh, the music in WoW in general is amazing. But, like, yeah, there's. Oh yes. Very tasty. Welcome on in, by the way, if you hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh, excuse me. Your corpse is another gift for Helia. You done the battery thing before? Noted. Best playlist for like WoW classic or music we played in the land cafes when WoW dropped. Oh my god, Ali, that's a fantastic idea. Enjoy your relaxing stream. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Ophi. Glad to hear that. You are here at for the last. feedback. How dare she so brash? So long until my daily research completes. <laughs> oh, I have had enough oh. Of so large. Oh yeah, by the way, hi. <laughs> that sea witch must learn the price of her defiance. Listen well. Okay. Alright, here we go. In we go. Oh no, we wanted to do I think I wanted to do um uh, I think I wanted to do uh LFR. So, um, not half back yet, so I'm just gonna, the LFR queue will be down, so let's, let's auto run. Made you want to collect all the things, I assume that's what the add-on is for. It is, Ophi, that is correct. Um, I like, I like collecting stuff. Uh, I'm a bit of a completionist. I started off with like mounts and battle pets and um, then I started eventually doing toys here and there. Uh, I never really used toys very much so I didn't really feel the drive to collect them. Uh, and I never did transmog either. Like I have a set that I use on fear all the time. And so I was like, why would I bother doing transmog? And then I discovered data for Azeroth, which I found to be a really helpful tool for like figuring out what to farm next in terms of mounts. And then there was the toys on there and there was the transmog on there. And I was watching Kuhn, another, uh, another WoW creator. It's Q-Y-U-N-E, Kuhn. At least I'm pretty sure that's how he pronounces it. Um, and he was doing all the things challenges and I'm like, And then I made the biggest mistake of my life and downloaded all the things. <laughs> Simultaneously a blessing and a curse. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm, I don't know, it just, it's fun. I'm having fun with it. 
having fun. Um, what I do, what I tend to do on Sundays is what I call AT Dart, all the dungeon and raid things. So I'm trying to, because all the things is like a lot of things. It's a lot of things. So if I like narrow it down and it's something actually doable, uh, so that way I actually make progress and it makes me feel better about like I'm actually making progress and stuff. So yeah, it's, um, it's good. It's fun. I enjoy it. Enjoy it. Clearly, uh, 8.5k animal. Well done. Kin is terrible for it. He's an enabler with a cute cat. He is such an enabler. Such an enabler. But he's also, like, his spreadsheets and stuff like that. He's, um, like, again, doing all the things is a little bit too much for me. I don't have the time to be able to feel like I'm making meaningful progress on as much as Kuhn does. Massive respect for the guy, but I, I just couldn't do it myself. I need to be more targeted um, to be able to feel like I'm making progress. Um, so but his spreadsheet is phenomenal um, if you're looking to do a much wider challenge. Uh, I just wanted to kind of just narrow it down a touch. Some of the things, correct Rump, some of the things. So I've got all 12 classes from classic to legion up to and including legion. I excluded BFA and Shadowlands because I can't really solo either of those on all my ca all my characters yet, uh, whereas I can solo most stuff from legion on all my characters. Um, not all, but most, so uh, that's where I drew the line. I have thought about going like one one expansion at a time, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Trial of Valor. Perfection. One wing. Many of things. W is a really chill streamer. Great attitude. Oh, Q. I was like, who, who is W? <laughs> but yeah, Q's, yeah, he's, he's super chill. Super, super chill. And really encouraging as well. Um, like, kind of in the same that we do here, like, we celebrate all the little wins, regardless of how small they may be to some. Um, 32 has been on my cybers. Yay, Jack! What was the add-on name again? It's called All The Things. It's just over here on my screen. All the things. Like, all of the things, except bad grammar. Welcome on in, by the way, play. You get ATG from Keen and mentioned at one point Transmog so that it helped. Yeah, ATG streams are my favorite. Look, I resisted. I resisted for a while. I saw Kuhn using it and I'm like, Champions. and I resisted and, I, and then I didn't. So, <laughs> wouldn't be here much if it wasn't for Q. Oh, brilliant, Nutty. Yeah, it's one of the really great things about like the WoW community when it comes to streaming is that so many people are just really lovely to each other. Um, even if we do different types of content and stuff, it's just, it's really nice. I must be certain they possess the courage and skill needed for what is to come. Shall we be lenient with these pets of I thought this was spam. I got a message from plus six one. It's the Australian code. Four four four. Four four four. Four four four. And I'm like to spams. But it's actually what from Brisbane Council. Begin, Brisbane City Council advises, major flooding likely on the Brisbane River. Evacuate if required. Stay out of flood water. Check roads and plan your journey if evacuating. Fuck. Refer to link below for council's evacuation shit. No, that's not what they said, but you know what I mean. <laughs> They've cancelled all the buses. <clears throat> They've got an evacuation centre in Shamside. And one in Chandler. Ferries have ceased. Brisbane City Council advises residents to avoid driving, swimming, or wading into floodwaters as it is unsafe. Yeah, brilliant. Okay.
Sorry, guys. Um, give me a minute. Usually I wouldn't let a text message interrupt stream, but this is... There's, there's flooding at the end of my street, and it's rising real quick, so this is actually kind of important. I'd like to not die if that's cool. Um... <clears throat> Perfect. Let's do that while I read this information real quick. It's really cool. They have like a section of their website where you can select your address and it'll tell you uh, whether or not y'all going to be fucked. Oh shit, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Website's not working properly. Besides, um, there's a host error on, like, a Cloudflare host error on the fucking council website. That's useful. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, congrats to Fade, Ali, Echo, Thurling, Puma, and Draz on all your bonus shit. not the right thing I'm supposed to be scrolling on. Um, let's plonk you down there. back in a second.
we're fine. It's okay. Um, the the text message from council uh, had a link to a thing. Uh, basically, there's a website where you can type in your address, and it tells you based on the projected um, rise in flood levels and based on historical data, like where it got to in 2011, 2013, 2007, like we've had floods, Brisbane is prone to flooding. So using all of that scientifically, they can figure out how likely your property is to be underwater in the next kind of few days. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Jas is now looking into an like a proper evacuation plan. Like where we're gonna go, what at, at what point we need to leave, all that kind of stuff. Cause um uh we are we are not a hundred percent safe. We are now, we are fine now, but we may not be for the next couple of days. So uh that's gonna be fun. Assume streams will be as scheduled, usually. Uh I will let you know if anything changes, but this is not a fun time. But I am safe at the moment. That is like right now I'm safe. They're anticipating it's going to. So looking at flood maps prior, uh, Jas had a, you know, had a look and stuff. And in 2011, the the water line basically hit the side of our current property, like the apartment building, hit the hit the river most the, the closest wall to the river was hit. That would that was where the water came to. Um, and that was at 4.46 meters. Uh, and it's currently at 3.46. It, they're looking at it getting to 3.7 by tomorrow morning. They don't know where it's going to go from there. Like, we, we just don't know. It depends on how the, the fucking rain goes. <laughs> um, so if it gets any higher than that, we're going to have to look at evacuating. Um, so that is what all the distraction and me leaving. And so I, I'm sorry, like, apologies. But this is more important than stream. Bluntly. <laughs> if I die, if the building goes away... They won't be a stream anyway, so, um, fun times. Anyway, uh, let's go smack some things in this thing, the game. Uh, oh, good mum's here. Fuck. Shit. <laughs> okay, um, that was good. Wonderful. There you go. There's the information. Uh, <laughs> um... If switches on notice for potential evac, no shit they are. Last time I looked, uh, last time I looked, if switch was at like 16 meters, 15.02 meters and rising. Yeah. Um, you're very welcome, Play. Someone worked really hard for that number. I know, right? I think it must just be when all the numbers are the same, you can have it for emergency stuff. But it's still spam, it's just a council spam. You that's not spam, that's actual informative shit. Because buses were cancelled, they're about to be floating. I know, I know, but it's just funny to see it. Like, you know, it's, yeah. Buses and trains are cut, yeah. Saw the top off the buses become boatses? No. <laughs> no. Oh, I used to try reserve magic numbers at work, which are numbers where you have more than three consecutive digits, either the same or in particular orders. Ah! Uh, big combination purely watching Q stream to begin with, checking out some recommended one being haughty and aiming up in Apple's stream. Were you rated a few times? Yeah, Apple's lovely. Apple's fantastic. Life or flooding is greater than the Yeah, basically. That's sort of... What's the address? I'm not telling you. Oh, to check our Indra. Oh, look good. That's a very good question. Um, Hang on a second. Let me find out. I'm like, I'm not telling you where we live. But no, that's fair. Uh, okay, so it's... It's the Brisbane.Queensland... Like, QLD.gov.au forward slash community hyphen and hyphen safety forward slash community... I've, whoa, oh, Jesus Christ. There's a, God, I hate what they do with this shit. Um, let me just copy this and paste it into a, a fucking notes app because I'm not going to be able to read it through scrolling because it's bullshit long. Uh, good. So, brisbane.qld.gov.au slash community and safety, like community hyphen and hyphen safety slash community hyphen safety slash February hyphen 2022 hyphen severe hyphen weather hyphen event hyphen council hyphen updates hyphen and hyphen impacts slash Brisbane hyphen river hyphen flood hyphen forecast. Feel free to clip that and play it back if you missed any of that because I ain't reading it again. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, I think that's what I was after. Good. Likely in the bomb. Nope, not on bomb. Uh, hi, mum. <laughs> uh, what am I actually buzzing about? Can you tell me what Adam that is? L-V-I. E-L-V-U-I, Wolf. I hope you have a wonderful day. Welcome on in. Uh, thank you, Sheba. Much appreciated. Um... It is for your mum. That is actually my legit mother, just before anyone. Yep. Ah, uh, you good. They're awesome. I like them a lot. Um. I will, absolutely. It would have shared a link. There you go. Uh, so I'll ask you if you've ever been an actor. No. I have not. I've done, like, performing arts and stuff like that, like, in school and when I was younger, but I've never, perf I've never been paid as an actor. No. Time to move. Are you gonna, are you gonna pay for all that? <laughs> Because I can't. I don't even log in my crafting. Exactly. Exactly. Jesus Christ. I'm using emergency alert. Not just a council thing. Yeah, you go. Perfect. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Sorry about, like, it's a long ass. Yeah. Anyway. Need to do a shortened URL. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, make it for easier sharing. Uh, so they should be able to go to brisbane.qrd.gov.au and find it on the homepage. Yeah, it should be right there. But nope. Makes it into Discord. Damn. Yeah, look. Comments love long links. They do. Links types longer to type than the floods might last. Here's any electronics and things you want off the floor. Um, yeah, we are we are in an apartment building. So when I say the building is possibly going to be flooded, the apartment will be fine. Unless the whole building falls over, in which case obviously it won't be fine, but it doesn't matter if things are on tables, it's all fucked regardless. Um, the water will not reach our apartment. Like it would, it would require like if it hit four point four six as a peak in in twenty eleven, it'd have to like reach at least like sixteen to twenty, maybe more meters tall to be able to hit the apartment, and that's just hit it, not actually flood it. So like the stuff in the thing will be fine. It's more a matter of us being able to leave to get things like food and medical equipment and and shit like that. Um, yeah, you can't, like, being trapped in a place is not good. Um, flood.gov today, you address or something? Yeah. Discord? Awesome, thank you, Duke. Thank you. This one should be a VIP. She's not here often enough. <laughs> uh, yeah, K, K, uh, link protection, but thank you very much for that, Shiba. Appreciate. Appreciate. Uh, yeah, I can make you, I can give you a VIP badge. Um... Uh, no, I don't want to block you. Where's the... Is it just slash VIP? Or... It is. No, I don't want to make myself a VIP. <laughs> there you go. You have a special badge now, Mum. Hi, the There's also that. Up. Thank you, Rump, for the gifted sub. Much appreciated. None can stand against Ayer's chosen. <clears throat> Okay, so now this is what we do. Only cowards fear the call of battle. <laughs> it's LFR, I'm pretty sure you just have to yank them apart. And then you can. And they don't get buffed back by the looks of it. Revivify, you didn't die though! Oh my god, that was not my intention. Am I in prot? I am, aren't I? God damn it. That's right, close enough. Well done so far. But I will uh, to it. First VIP indeed. Damn, plus so sort of isn't even included. They're flooding this year again. Well, good. I'm glad it's not included. That's awesome. There's no doubt that badge. Brisbane, Brisbane River for related flooding only. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, Brisbane River's pretty big. It covers a lot of people, eh? I'm pretty sure at this point, though, that entire list of places, like, even if you don't filter by address, it just, everything just says likely to flood, likely to flood, likely to flood, like, it's all just, yeah. 
<laughs> I have been too gentle. Have at thee. Oh crap, where's the... this is gonna kill me. Everything is just listed as likely to flood. I think they're just kind of blanket warning everyone. Yeah, the PDF map, if you try to click the PDF map thing, um, it was having cloud flare issues. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Yep, so now I can, if I can click it. Hey, there we go. Uh, sorry, big birthday. I sleep now. No worries. Rest well. I will. I will message you with updates. Like anytime I get an update, I'll message you. Yeah? Um, if Jas did what I asked him earlier, we've got a bunch of power bricks on charge too, so we should be fine. All right. So we turn in Odin's favor. We get the other two. Okay. Hello. Okay. Okay, um, are you gonna take the umbrella? Thank you. Please do. <laughs> oh, please be safe. Yeah, don't go anywhere near it. I know, just, just, it's dark out there, so make sure you can see what you're doing, right? Thank you. Got the PDF map. My address is covered by the um, large word that represents my suburb. Good. I don't like this. I uh, do not like this at all. Anyway, we're fine. Okay, so we got that. Um, and then, don't we fight her in your name? Yeah. Uh, boy, what's Jess doing? Oh, he's just, he's going, ha like, what? oh, right. Um, he's going for a brief stroll down the street to see whereabouts, because he got a water, he got a water. He got a photo of where the waterline came to earlier today, and so he's just gonna go down there and see how much further up the street it's come, just to kinda, so we've got some rough estimate of how bad it's looking. Um, but I know he'll be safe. Like, he's a Queensland boy. He, like, this is what he does. <laughs> um, floating device, he ain't going nowhere near that water dress. <laughs> he ain't gonna need it, because he's not gonna be anywhere near the shit. Nowhere near it. Can I just like... Get past all of this. I don't care about any of the trash. Let's just run straight through the funnel. It's an island boy. He has common sense. Uh, look, Nutty, I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to agree with you on that point. Look, I'd rather he did, so let's just say yes. What's more important is that I have told him to stay away from it, and maybe he'll listen to me. Just has a rare sense. Ask him for photos in Discord, don't want him to talk to you guys. Yeah. Yeah, that's, um... He, yeah, he's taken photos, and we did, we're like, oh my god, you know, we, we should, we should show the people, and then we're like, uh, maybe not. 
We we kind of had the right. Hang on a second. Um, yeah. Like honestly, I would love to show you guys why I'm taking this so seriously, but I don't think it's the best idea. Um, no common sense until common sense is needed. Yeah, I think more likely that. I think that sounds about right. He's got uncommon sense. Watch Jess come back with just a bunch of selfies. He doesn't. He doesn't do photos of himself. He doesn't. He loves taking photos of other people and things and landscapes and stuff. He does not do photos of himself. Be okay with the flooding? I'm sure we will be, nurse. I'm. I'm absolutely sure that we will be. Um. I'm definitely a bit nervous because I've never been through flooding like this before, ever, um, in anywhere that I've lived. Um, but excuse me, that is extremely rude of you. Uh, but I am like, you know, as long as I pay attention and, and take the, the emergency warning stuff seriously and I do all the stuff that they recommend and all that, I'm sure we'll be okay. It's just um, a bit nervous. Yes, people can visit the Brisbane subreddit for pics of the flooding. Yeah, r slash Brisbane will get you a lot of shots. A lot of shots. Are you in Q's Discord? Uh, possibly. I am in a stupid amount of Discords. I, I need to do a I need to do a clean out, honestly. I'm in too many. I can't keep track of them. <clears throat> I'm that's why I'm dying. I'm drowning. Oh good lord. Zoom in 200 discords just for the fun of it. I can't keep track of that though. I cannot keep track of it. Google image search for Brisbane. Brisbane flood shows the size of this event. Just be careful because Brisbane floods like a lot. Um, so you might want to pop in like Brisbane flood 2022 or something like that, or go to somewhere like the subreddit where it's like, you can see when it's been posted sort of thing. Just because Brisbane floods a lot. Like a lot. <laughs> Another hydrate. Uh, I was flooding you from last week. I shot in 2007. I, yeah, for sure. Oof. He goes, nope. Mum said yes to you asking if she'd pay for the move. She'd take her up on that. Uh, I I know. We've we've had discussions. We've had discussions about it. And she knows it's not a good time to move just yet. Um, she was here, like, a week ago. <laughs> and, um... We, we had a, a big long discussion about it. So she knows what the plans are. Um, and she knows why I can't move right now. I mean, moving halfway through having, like, the, the dental work I'm having, it's, it's surgery. It's serious business. It's serious work to be done. And moving halfway through all of that happening is just asking for trouble. Like having one surgeon put in the bone graft and a second surgeon go in and put the, like a different surgeon putting the actual implant and stuff in, it's just not the best idea. You're better off having like that consistency of care, especially when I have comorbidities. Um, she gets it. She just, she wants her daughter home. And I get that. I totally get that. I want to go home, but not, not just yet. Soon soon. But I will, I will absolutely take her up on it when the time comes. Be like, hey, you remember what you said? Speaking of drowning Kappa Hydrate, please only drown in game. Yeah, no, I don't worry. I will absolutely be taking care of myself. Like, this is serious business. So I don't know if you have a drown, so we play next with the floods. All those hydrates. I don't know, maybe? Searching for Brisbane flood is like searching for California sun or Hurricane Florida. Oh, that makes me feel really bad. What oh, the wetlands? Because it's very wet indeed. So I still don't. No, of course, of course. Yeah, but she she does get that. She's um, she's trolling, kind-hearted trolling, like most of you do. Drag Jess with you when you move. Oh, I plan to. And with his consent, like he has, he has explicitly I consented to this. Up. So yes. What was that? <gasps> Mum found the uh, the merch link. <laughs> oh my god! 
when she realized that she, I didn't, I mustn't have told her that I had merch. Um, and so we were wearing our masks when they came up to me. She's like, where did you get that from? Isn't that your logo? I'm like, yes, I have merch. And she's like, where do you have merch? I'm like, it's a store. And she's like, do you like, do you run the store? I'm like, no, I put things up and people can buy them and they just make them as they're bought. And she's like, why don't I have one? I'm like, I don't know. Do you want one? <laughs> so yes, apparently yes. Hey! New stuff. New stuff. Tropical Queenslanders Tropical. Correct. Correct. Totally entries last day. So pretty current. Yes. Yeah, fair. Fair. And uh, then you watched Aussie Gold Hunter yesterday, which is pretty good areas with snow and stuff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Up in the mountains. Like, we have literally have a set of mountains called the Snowy Mountains because we're very creative. <sighs> I kid you not. It's called the Snowy Mountains. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's a thing. It's a thing. We, uh, we get snow and stuff. Occasionally, we get snow in places you would not expect Australia to get snow. Uh, not often at all, but very, very rarely, and it makes the news because it's like, what? Ah, oh, did that once Dad was living in China, asked when Mrs. Hillary were gonna visit him. When you pay for it next minute, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, here's some flights. See you soon. Uh, do you also have a sandy beach? Oh, Probably. No. Oh, it would not surprise me. Have come to end my reign. Whatever shall I do? Australia is a land of many terrains and climates. It is, absolutely. So Pretty much think alike. So do you have a watery lake? Possibly. Not New South Wales, <laughs> Of course it's in New South Wales. Fuck. Do you know they have a beach called Shelly Beach? There she oh yes. Yeah. We haven't- so you know how there are some beaches around the- hang on. I did a mute. No, I'm safe, everybody. Don't <laughs> worry. Drink your bubble tea. I am working on it. I'm Drink stressed. Yes, this is bubble tea. It helps <laughs> with stress. So, can, can we, uh, like, turn this way? Show that. No, no, no. This is this is dry color. And then that's... Wet. That's... Yeah, he's... Yeah. So he's soaked. Um, mm. um, I was telling you guys before that on our street there's like a little hill and then another hill and then like the rest of the street and it's broken the first hill um there is another hill left but um apparently because we've got two levels of parking under the building the bottom level totally underwater completely like to the ceiling water flooded 100 percent done gone um that is where we park car has been removed were there any car oh i wonder if there were cars probably were fuck I ain't going swimming now. <laughs> no, no, not that I would recommend. I, I just, um, the the bottom level of apartments are all evacuated. They're gone. No one's in them at the moment. They're gone. Oh, they're empty. working on them. Apologies. They're working on getting rid of everyone on the bottom floor. Um, so that's fun. Uh, we're gonna wait till morning and see where it's going. Um. We don't, luckily, we don't have kids, we don't have animals, we don't, like, there's no, like, 
tiny creatures that are relying on either of us to um, to like survive. It's just us. We have to take care of ourselves, uh, which means that we do have a bit more leeway in terms of getting out sort of not last minute, but like closer to that. Like if, if I, if I had kids or if I had pets, I'd be out of here by now. I'd be gone because like trying to get anxious animals into crates and children with pink backpacks and, and like trying to get, no, fuck not at last, fuck no, no. <laughs> um, so if I had any of the, any of the smaller animals under my control, I would be gone by now, but uh, I don't, so I'm here. Uh, there is, I would say, probably a really good chance that we, there won't be a stream tomorrow um, if the water has not shown any signs of slowing by tomorrow. We'll probably be evacuating, um, but I'll keep you guys in the loop because uh, shit's fucked, yo. Um, have, did you grab the bricks that I asked you to grab? The power bricks and charge them. What? Like three times during stream today, I've asked you to go. The the tech tub that's in the storage cage yeah, has like enough. seven or eight power bricks in it, and I think it might be a good idea to charge them just in case we lose power overnight or something. Which you know what? It's highly likely, especially if the basement's flooded. I'm surprised we have power and internet, honestly. But you know, here we are. There's no water in the walls. Yeah, but there's there's wires in the walls that contain the rooms full of water. Yes, but those are concrete walls. Yeah, fair. <laughs> yeah, but concrete, like, and especially concrete in this fucking building, has faults. Um, why is Jess always damp? Because there are floods outside. Because it's wet and I went It's raining heavily. It is green, yes. I walked three meters down the street when, nah, fuck that. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. This is great. Oh my god, stop drowning me! Why- how do I get rid of the drowning? It's You're magic. Worried? Yeah. You can't get rid of it. Um... There's a beach called Dude Chilling Beach and a beach called Barge Chilling Beach. Like, no joke, that's hilarious. Chilling Park. Beach is called Dude Chilling Park. <laughs> Do you float? Oh god, I don't want to find out. Probably not, honestly, because it's really quite heavy, and it's not... It's not, um, like, if it was PU, I guess it could trap a little bit of air, but it's not. It's fabric. It's fabric. Um, I don't know, someone to help cool down. Just had this street and that street and the other street. Jas lives. Yay, Jas is back. Uh, Fiendish, Echo, Moo, Draz, Thurling, and Apro, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. We're not going to be doing another battle this evening because um, it's getting, it's gone just past my usual finish time and um, <laughs> I've got some shit to do after stream. Uh, so I'm going to try to kill Helia and, uh, and see how we go. Um, park is too chilling, park beach is barge chilling beach. Wouldn't it be great if the beach was Dude Chilling Park and the uh, the park was Barge Chilling Beach, though? Really? Jazz is a dampy boy? Indeed. So it's green, right? It is. Why did Jazz go swimming? He didn't go swimming. He got rained on. It's really bucketing down. It's flooding! <laughs> it's bucketing down outside. Why is Jazz always damp? Yeah, look, this time he has an excuse. This time he's checking up on the flood levels to, to help me with my anxiety levels. So he has an excuse for being damp this time. So free food on the bottom floor or n no, no. Uh, don't know if I can go bags. Yep, that's what we're going to be doing. Oh, that's a really good point, actually. I wonder if he has his phone on him. Or do we have bags in here? Uh, loot all the things, not really, no, loot all the things in game, then go pack a go bag, and yep. Insurance from backpacks into crates is red, one the rest is <laughs> I'm so glad that's how my sentence worked out. Just charge the power banks, yep. Yeah, I feel like that's an important thing to have, right? I mean, it's not like, usually, I think each of my power banks can probably charge both of our phones once from zero to full. 
with maybe enough charge left for a 70% charge for one of our phones left over kind of thing. Like I've got some pretty good power banks that I've picked up over the years. Um, so I feel like it's a good thing to have in case the power does go out and we need to contact, like his family live up here. Like I don't have family here. I'm by myself, but uh, Jas's whole family lives up here. Um, so if we, <clears throat> if we end up having to evacuate, we'll be staying with his family. So it's not like, Financially wise, thank God, it'll be okay. Um, I mean, in terms of having to leave, hopefully the building stays standing. We'll see. We'll see. I make March for bitches before the first week of March. Yes, Scarlet. Just charge them. You guys have somewhere safe to go. Yes, we do. Yeah, Jas's family. Power at evac centers. Yeah, we won't be going to evac centers. Uh, I mean, we if we have to, we will obviously, but um. I would much rather th those resources be used for people who have nowhere else to go. Um, if, obviously, if uh, we get to Jas's parents' place and they lose power, um, then we'll probably take a trip there. I know that there's an evac center pretty close to them because uh, they're in a pretty big um, suburban uh, population center. Does that make sense? They live out of the city and there's a lot of people there. Um, so, I'm, yeah, they've got, they've got an evac center somewhere near them. Uh, so if, if power fails there as well, we'll be able to go there just to make contact with the outside world and then shuffle off and stuff. But yeah, this is, uh, this is fucked, guys. Um, I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. Usually you get plenty of notice. Highly recommend bringing as much as you can from the fridge if it's easy to do. <laughs> It's funny because we have nothing in the fridge. Yesterday was shopping day and I was sick as shit. So and so and it was raining like hell. So Jas didn't really do much. He just kind of stayed home and took care of me, grabbed a few snacky bits, and then today he went to do groceries to pick up some like non-perishables and stuff. <laughs> and uh and he and he went down and Aldi was closed. And so we couldn't get any food, so the house is pretty much empty of food. We have a couple of things of leftovers, but that's it. Um the what we do we what food we do have is in the freezer uh, and we do have a chest freezer um actually that's a really good question um small top of fridge freezer or chest freezer for retaining the cold for longer in terms of like if the power goes out and we can't come back for x amount of days where like which one if we put the meat in it is it less likely to be spoiled when we come back <laughs> for a few days yet, I haven't cleaned it out. Chest freezer. Even though it's really, really big, it has next to nothing in it. It's not very full, so there's not much in there to keep each other cold. <laughs> Colder takes longer to unfreeze. Okay. And I'm imagining it probably has better seal and stuff like that as well. Fill with bucket of water. Okay. And then keep everything lifted up off the bottom, obviously. Space more cold items in there to cool the space and other items. There's not, there's nothing in there, though, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's nearly empty. It's almost insulated due to cold attempts. Okay. Leave it in the bucket. Also, like, freeze it in the, in the frozen water. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. All right. And then I can just, like, if the power stays on, I can just unplug it and let it defrost. When, I'm, when we get home kind of thing. That makes sense. Okay, thank you guys. Look at this knowledgeable shit. These half-fill containers, yeah. Mm, there's something in there like a tub of water that can be cooled. Yeah, sink for heat, okay. Will never be free. So put, get, I've got a bucket. So fill the bucket halfway or like three quarters of the way full. Put it in the chest freezer and then just leave everything You'll else in there as is. Plastic bottles and let them freeze. I don't have plastic Free bottles. I've got a few spare. glass jars, but um, not quite the same. But yeah, I I don't have plastic bottles unfortunately. I've got so many fucking like metal drink bottles and stuff. But towels also work. You. Freeze them. Okay, yeah, I've got plenty of towels I can do. All right. Sounds good.
All these little weird tips and tricks that you're never going to find on a council website, hey? No glass or shadow? No, I know. I know. I'm very well aware. All of the fucking bone broth in the bottom of my chest freezer in glass jars. I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, okay, cool. So that's hell you're done. And I can turn in this one. Um, but I need another shitload of soul fragments to be able to get to the, the next bit for the quest. That's okay. Alright. Um, but I did increase the number, so it was... That's 42 out of 122. Brilliant! And now I'm supposed to do Trial of Valor on the Paladin, which I'm not going to do because I'm going to go and prepare for the worst case scenario to these halls. instead. Remember. Um, better to prepare and not have to do it, not like prepare and not have to use the go bag and all that, um, than have to use it and not have it prepped. To march on the gates of the Valor. And I can very easily just put clothes back in the cupboard. <laughs> um... Mm, I cannot be this on the other end, of course. Of course. Uh, solids or liquids at a high volume. Because so the more stuff that's in there, the longer it'll take to warm up. Plastic bags work, just tie them off good. These heat sinks remove mineral oxygen, not included. Don't use your favorite towels. Favorite towel? No, I, I would like to buy some favorite towels. <laughs> Someone who has camped his entire life, definitely bulk up the space and freeze jugs of water if you can. Try to crowd everything around the frozen water and do not open the freezer at all. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, you know the smaller ones, not the ones you have for shopping. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I know what you mean. Men are saving as much bottled water as you can, treatment plants are the risk zones, yeah. Which is such a great idea. How it comes to it? Little electric gen, or did you keep it? I, I don't know. I don't think I've ever had a generator. Ah, uh, if you saw freeze your towels on a council website though, would you believe it? Yeah. For sure, if it was under, like, literally flood, like, if you were evacuating, do this with your home. Yeah. Especially if it said, you know, soak your towels and put them in the freezer to keep the area colder for longer to try to preserve your frozen goods in case the power goes out, then yeah, I'd believe it. <laughs> uh, hey, Venti. Uh, apparently I keep four liter jugs of milk filled with water in the chest freezer at all times. There you go. Interesting. These also stays around the outside. Newspapers on the outside would help. Well, that's running into overkill for stuff like that. Yeah, I think they'll be okay. We are, like, this is, like, we are up off the ground. Um... But, like, it's just it's just making sure I don't come back to a container full of rotten meat because that's not going to be a fun thing to deal with. <laughs> um, right, okay. Uh, I'm going to leave you guys with all these wonderful... Oh, there's an ad. Okay, never mind. Hey, Venti. Um, right, I have... Let's do some of these hydrates with the bubble tea. Mm -hmm. Gentle and loving reminder that Kaz, Kay, and Yori all have uh, mp3 files that they can send to me for your sound command redemptions. No rush in your own time, uh, but those are things that you have there that you can send me. Um, if you if you don't want them anymore, you can always let me know and I can refund them to you and that's totally okay. No judgment either way. But any of those Amazon style big filled airbags like the ones that came with my Lego. <laughs> How do I fill them with water? I just like cut the top off or cut the corner off and fill it up and then tie it off. This is ready-ish. Okay, awesome. Not a worry, Kaz. Just thought I'd let you know in case you'd forgotten because I know some people do tend to forget. And that's okay too. That's okay too. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh, brilliant. Okay, gotcha. Definitely want that one to be done. Oh, okay, good. Wonderful. Well, you know, obviously, you know, take care of yourselves first. Um, all that kind of stuff. But uh, I'm gonna... Sitting on the freezer. Ah, cool. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Um, 
más. I think we might go here. Brilliant. Um, okay, so Maybe good for me if you have boxes to spare, you can toss them into the service also. But the space app, gotcha. Okay, I think we will. I think we'll give a bunch of those. Thank you guys so much for all of the advice and things like that. Um, I'm sure you're probably feeling a little bit like I do sometimes, where it's like, I need to help. How do I? I can't do anything from here. How the fuck do I help? And so here is your outlet, and you've all like outpouring of help, and I, I really appreciate it. Um, as so, I'm assuming. I'm gonna just plan that everything's gonna be fine and that there's gonna be a stream tomorrow and everything's gonna be golden. Um, if that changes, I will let you know. There'll be posts on Twitter, posts on Discord. Um, keep an eye on those ones in particular and I'll let you know if we have to evacuate. Um, yeah. Yep. I'm trying to remember what I usually pack for like a four day holiday. <laughs> um, uh, a couple of really good for that. Yeah, basically your entire goal is fill up as much space as you can in that freezer, of course. Absolutely. If only I had more food. <laughs> okay, totally all right. All right, so I'm going to go pack a go bag and I'm going to go bulk up my freezer uh, and uh, and try to get some rest. Fill space next to foods, high density, with solid liquids that are frozen cold, fill it in between the edge. There is very preferably sealed stuff. Okay, perfect. Will do. Will do. Alrighty, guys. Uh, thank you all for the well wishes and the uh, concern and the the all that kind of you know keeping me company and making me not lose my mind. Uh, I really appreciate it. I'm sorry that I wasn't as high energy today as I usually am. I'm still feeling a bit shit, and then all of this anxiety inducing flood bullshit is just really adding to that, and it's not super pleasant. Um, but that's okay. Uh, take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. Drop your copy paste in Kent's chat when we get there. And I hope that I'll see you tomorrow. But if I don't, you will hear from me. I will let you know that I'm safe and uh, if there will not be a stream. But um, otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. I hope I get to see you tomorrow because I'd like to do some mount farming. Uh, yes, you guys stay safe too, all of you, regardless of where you are. There's a lot of shit going on in the world at the moment. Just stay safe and I will see you Hopefully tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. All the love. Bye, guys.